Well, let's see. Well, let's see. Well, let's see. How is everyone doing? I think some people might have seen us something a bit naughty last night. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Hello, you scallywags. Doing great, good to hear. Afternoon, afternoon. How's it going? Say it side. I'm not going to call you Say it side. That's your name. Just to watch an American go into it. Yes, Norway. Yes, yes. Um, what an amazing turn of events. I'm, I'm assuming this is what people are going to talk about. So uh, that's not what I expected. <laughs> the idea was to have a nice recap. Let's take that music down a bit there. We're going to have a nice little recap about the shoot that we had yesterday. It's going to be lovely. It's going to say, oh, yeah, what did you think? What did you think about being in a share house? And then something else happened. Have you talked with him since? I have talked with him since, uh, Fabricio, and, to and Connor, for that matter. Um, Pete's all right. Connor went to the gym today. He worked out after and had meetings. He's fine. But uh, Pete probably woke up at around four with a headache. So... <laughs> I'm sure Pete's probably in chat. I'm sure he'll be able to tell you more. Um, but yeah. I didn't even know what was happening until the Discord started. Yeah, I know. So I, it's... Ugh. I think it's just got a bit out of hand. And I blame Connor. I've, told, I've said this to him. He was egging him on, bless him. Al Alex is fine, I'm sure, as well, yeah. Connor was like, chuck, 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 chuck. So I was like, god damn it. <laughs> Bearing him on, I think Connor had a beer. And everyone else was drinking something with a higher percentage, was it? Was it high chew? Is that a higher percentage than beer? Anemic, that was the end of the stream. That's where Connor thankfully took the initiative and said, you know what? This is getting a bit leery. Highball jugs. I, I, see, is a highball really a high percentage? I can't tell. Connor assumed Chris's role. You're damn fucking right on that. I can never, I, I can never know with the uh, highballs because technically they're they're watered down right by tonic water. So are they really more percentage or less? Louis, I've never seen him that drunk. Um, I guess me neither. I mean, we have drunk a lot on some nights, but yeah. Take you, thank you so much. The streaming arc is here. This is the last stream where I am a peasant, apparently. Well, might, maybe not. I don't know how long it takes to become affiliate, but yeah, this is my seventh stream, which apparently is the requirement before you become an affiliate. And then we can start sharing some fun emotes that Sam, God bless him, has been getting Kai to do. If you don't know them, you can go and check out on the Discord. Uh, if you do an exclamation mark Discord, there's an unofficially official Discord that they've made for me. And uh, they're sharing some suggestive ones alongside some fun ones. Hey, Jenny, how you going? How's it going? 84? I'm assuming that might be the birth year. I'm 82. It's a good year. It's a good time. Apparently we're millennials. We found that out on the last stream. I never knew that. I thought millennial was someone that was born like in the 2000s. Hence the millennium. Millennials. But apparently not. You are close to getting partnered to be... Really? Takey? I don't know. Because to be partner... I have everything but I need to do another five streams. And I don't think I've got five streams in me before the next Cyclophon starts. I've got at least two shoots next week. I don't think I can do five streams, and then I think there's a cutoff, and then they reset or something with Twitch, so... I don't know. We'll see. Damn, I'm only a year older than you. Well, Kevin, it's fine. I'm forever 21, though, so haha. -ha. Hello, Elder Millennial. Hello, Copper Boom. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Chop, chop, get to it. Oh, yeah, I'd rather. Why are you talking to me like Chris? <laughs> yeah, the Millennial range is a bit weird. It is, right? I mean, you're a statist, statist. You would know statistics, right? I mean, you know that's weird. Yo, Code Star, hey, how's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. This is your first stream, right? Awesome guy, makes some great artwork. And just overall, I think you're doing a game at the moment, right, Code Star? Highly check him out. We was hanging out at uh, Artedly the other day. Good day, y'all. Good day, Blackfoot. Hope you're doing well. Hey Paul, I missed your stream the other day about the cycle form, but I saw the VOD. Oh, that was a long one, I think. Did anyone say to have the current donation amount next to the distance each day at the VOD, the vid? Um, I think I have it at the end of the day. 
maybe at the start of the day. And whenever the boys mention it, I bring up the amount. So that should be fine. I don't, I don't want something slammed in the video constantly. The incline, unfortunately, though, like no one ever mentions it. I, I realized that on the first video, they mentioned the incline quite a lot because I think it was the first time they've reached hills. Um, enjoying this rainy Sunday. Well, yeah, I had to go out and get like, food before I, I streamed, so it was annoying. But unfortunately, uh, Sokovon 2, they don't mention the incline at all, so I have no, no reference for what the incline was, unfortunately. And those hills were massive. <coughs> Can you open a stream on the sec a second phone in the van or better? RE transmit the... I, 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 I don't know yet, Fabrizio. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do that. It would literally be, like, just a camera pointing straight forward. I don't think... Neither Ian nor I have the, the the strength or will to be able to entertain for eight hours straight. So it would literally just be like a tri on like a little tripod in front of the car. Um, my only concern is I think um, the guys use something that if the stream goes down, which I'm, I'm sure it would in tunnels, it like completely knocks out the stream. I have no way of like making sure that it just goes to a be right back screen without, I think you've got 90 seconds before you reconnect. And if you don't, it, I think it just kills the stream, which would suck. I have not aged mentally past 18. Well, there we go. You beat me there to it, John. <laughs> With the internet and mobile phones have, happening now growing up, everything just, I know, right, Statist, it, it is nuts. We had this conversation last time about mobile phones when I was growing up, like it was a brick with a green screen. You only had 32 letters that you could type for a text message and it would cost you like 30p or something in England. It was nuts. And now you can just fucking write an essay as long as you want. Whoop, send it off. Wasn't it 30 hours last time I checked? Hey, is that, is that, what's that for? You mean for a stream? Oh, well, I'm, I, I'm not sure if like, if you lose a connection, if it, if they take it down, like if you can't reconnect in time, I, I'm not sure. I've, I've seen a setting in, in the, um, the stream manager that says if you're not doing it within 90 seconds, it's going to just log you out. Good morning, Sam. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. Connor mentioned it a lot after it. A lot after. Well, that doesn't help me, Norway. Fuck's sake. I need it in the video. Last stream before Cyclethon. Probably Rich saying, I will. Uh, no, 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 no. I'll do one more, definitely. If not two before the last Cyclethon. But I, I feel that um, I do want to do a gear list because people have been asking for a gear list so people know what I'm using for the Cyclethon. So I will do another gear list with my Google Sheets. Paul, I have a question. Is Paul going to edit the video from yesterday's share house and where can we watch it for video? Well, Lord, <laughs> um, I'm too busy. Literally, um, I've got Cyclophone 2 to do, which is still not done. And I haven't had the narration yet. You can bother Chris with that. Uh, Cyclophone 3, Chris wants to be getting on it as soon as we finish. So I think the share house is actually going to be edited by none other than Ian. He has said he wants to learn the ways. So we'll see what happens there. I think he's in for a big surprise. <laughs> Because we didn't shoot it in order, but we'll talk about that in a minute. I want to go over the, uh, the shoot and how it went. I would happily watch the road on the stream. It can be a two monitor content. I, that's what I'm thinking, Soup, because I know a lot of people seem to like it when they can just have a car view. And it would just be a shot in front of the car. And then, like, if the boys are in front of it, you can see it. I'll obviously wave at you if I'm in the front or something. But other than that, I, th I don't think, because the focus for me is work and Ian's work. And I would probably need another a phone. Um, because I think uh, I need my phone to see their stream because I often film, watch their stream to make sure everything's going okay their end. What was in your front bag? Well, very boring name. Was it to balance front back? This is a very interesting thing to talk about because I kept trying to bring it up and then people kept butting into my conversation so I never got to clear it. But uh, let me find out where it is. This old thingamajuggy. Oh, this is a new addition to my gear. I covered up the name because it, it, it's not nice, but this company has been bombarding me with their online marketing and I thought, fuck it, I'll just buy it and try it because it's not that much, it's on sale. It's called a sack. <laughs> what a name, but it's a sack to save your back. And basically what it is, is it's full of uh, beans. Like, you know, uh, when you sit on a beanie bag, uh, it's full of them. 
and it's to alleviate that weight. So it, it goes around your neck and then all of the weight of the camera sits on it. So if you're somewhere that's got dirty floor, you can put it there, put the camera on that, or if you can just like walk around. Um, it's a lifesaver. I was filming Connor the other day, as I said, and I was like, oh my God, this is killing me, just standing here with the IRL with Chris. And um, so I decided to get that and it's been a godsend. I've done two shoots with it now and it's just so much better. So yes, Paul's got the sack. There you go, sack for the back. It's originally, it's it's stolen from another company. Well, not stolen, but it's inspired, I would say. Um, it's a very old product, actually, by a company called Cine Saddle, like Cinema, Cine Saddle. And they've been using them for years. The difference is that one's a lot more expensive and it's like this weatherproofed leather. A lot of people use them on film sets instead of using like the uh, gimbals and stuff. Beanbag as in beanbag statists. <laughs> As in the one you sit on and, and mope about watching things. Nice sack. <laughs> it's like those baby carriers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it feels like that. It's super lightweight. It doesn't weigh anything. It's just a pain in the ass. It's so bloody big. Hello, Sam. How you doing, mate? I always knew Paul had a big sack. Thank you, Chop Suey. That's very kind of you. Also, sorry I missed you there. Living the support life. Hi, Paul. Glad to finally watch your stream. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy to have you here. My last stream as a peasant, apparently. After this, I get upgraded away from you lot as an affiliate. Yes, rather. <laughs> so, can't you just improvise a similar one with a generic? Yes, you can. You can. I just couldn't be bothered. Um, I was searching for... You could probably use a pillow bag. If you can get a pillow bag that is able to adjust the height, you could probably use that and just fill it with, like, the beans from a bean bag. I just like, fuck it. Just let them do it. Couldn't be bothered to wait. I would have thought one that's fastened to your waist would be better to relieve strain on your shoulder. You'd be surprised, they're a very boring name. Most of the time you want the camera eye height. So you want like you want it eye level, because that's like the line of sight, that's where the person looks most natural. So if you have it around your waist, a lot of shots look weird, and plus that's not a very flattering angle because you're gonna get the double chin. Um, so most people want you to film that, or some even higher if they're really uh, diva-ish, shall we say. Sorry to rain on your parade, I'm gonna fill it. All right, Sam. Well, how long have you been streaming, huh? Huh? I've been doing it for what, two days? I think I'm doing all right. <laughs> Salvina, thank you so much for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Obviously, I've missed some of these. Code Star, Mihol, Rems Ramses, Tyne Skipper. Thank you all for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Let us know how you're doing. Don't be shy. They do grow oh so quickly. We are not worthy, Lord Paul of the Sack. Lord Paul of the Sack, good Lord, what have we started? There's no subscribe function because I'm not an affiliate yet, bang. We're working on it. Glad you got affiliate. Well, oh, thank you very much, it's very kind of you, Mez. Do you have to put in an application for Twitch affiliate or is it, I would have, look, ask Sam Black. Ask Sam. Old Lord, this guy knows what it's all about. All I know is that whenever I open up my Twitch, like, thing, it just says, you've reached this target, this target, but you need to stream more days, and then you can reach it all and go up in the ladder. I'm like, okay, okay. The shit chin angle. You say that side, but he fucking uses that angle all the time. I call his shot the nostril shot, because he always wants to fucking go up him. And to be fair, the reason why that's an interesting angle and it, people think it's cinematic is because it's not a, it's not an angle you often look at, right? You never let low looking up, so it's always a unique perspective. I've seen a waist belt type thing, the camera stays at eye level. Oh, you're probably talking about the thing they used on the RV, um, which is like, you have to have it on a gimbal and it sticks up like a stick and points out, is it that? Yeah, yeah, with a monopod style, yeah, that's that. That's like a pain in the ass, mate. You've got to have a gimbal, so you need a battery. It needs to be powered. It needs to be put in your crotch. Your your line of your view is not it's not great. And like when you walk, you have to take it out. It's 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 not worth it. I think putting a bag on easy. All hell to a fleet of leg pool. <laughs> By eye level, you mean the eyes of the subject in the middle of the frame? Yes, for every show, yeah. Generally speaking, with interviews, like I've said it before, but you have like the rule of thirds, which is like two lines here and then two lines that go across there. And you normally want to put the, the subject's eyes around here, not here, usually around here, one of these sides or in the middle. A bit like me where I am around there, although I'm slumping down today, not good. 
Will sub get you to affiliation? Uh, no. You get subs, subscriptions when you become an affiliate. Until you're an affiliate, you don't get anything. But to be fair though, it's pretty, pretty nice of Twitch when you think about it. I mean, I'm not paying for this. None of us are really paying, right? That's pretty cool of them to do that. Play to have all this technology and create things. Well, I suppose OBS as well. It's pretty cool. Don't be a dick. Thank you so much for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Let us know how, how everything's going. Hopefully okay. <laughs> pretty soon Paul will be getting that Twitch money to buy his own family chicky pog. Hey, that's a good idea, Chop. Don't let Chris know that. You get invited to be an affiliate automatically. Should be within an hour of reaching the requirements. Oh, really? Well, that's interesting. Unless you're short. Well, side, yeah, I know it is, yeah. Unless you're short. Well, then you get, like, the cat angle. Now you know how it likes, how it feels to be a cat. Ogdus, thank you so much for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Let us know how your weekend's going. How is, how is everyone's weekend going, by the way, guys? Did you uh, do anything for the weekend? I know what I did. I know what I didn't do. <laughs> I know what someone did. <laughs> it's bloody hot. Yeah, the only thing Paul was basically missing was the 10 streams. That's right. Affiliate is three average viewers. We are basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it keeps reminding me that I'm all cleared for all the other partner stuff. It's just the, um, that bit. I'm currently working out while watching it. Well, hey, get to it, mate. Give me another fucking five reps. I can't do the, 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 the loud voice because my neighbors will complain, but yeah. Can you be quietly angry? Is that possible? How do you be a sergeant without that voice? No football this weekend. It's all in international games. So I watched a drunken American. <laughs> yeah, whoa, Kevin. Oh dear. I showed around a bunch of relatives who were in town and now it's back to study. Oh, studying, Greg. What are you studying, man? What is Paul drinking? Oh, I knew you was going to ask that, Sam. It's pronounced Michael. Gotcha. Augustus Michael. All right, let me, I'm gonna try and remember that. <laughs> it's just gonna come up in exam later. Augdus equals Michael. <laughs> don't, don't question me. Uh, yeah, good. It's not been bad weather in the Southeast of England. Oh, good, okay. It's been a bit funky here in Japan. Like we had like, today was I think, did it go up to 17 degrees at one point? It's crazy. I got sick again, thanks to the weather. Ah, sorry to hear that heavy. A lot of people have been getting sick because of the temperature changes. I watched the Iron Claw in the movies. What's the Iron Claw, Collie? What's that film? Is that a, is it a new film? I've not seen that. I had a good weekend, tried Japanese beer for the first time, you know? Really, Norway? Well, what did you think? How does it compare to the usual? Studying for university entrance. Oh God, that must be a pain. Almost, all right, well, ma ma Masaru, make sure you do your stretches, all right? That's just as important as the workout. Otherwise, you'll end up like me, groaning whenever I try to get out of bed. <sighs> Apparently, I'm a zombie. Doing great, glad to be able to catch this through. Hey, well, glad to have you here. Hope the gang is feeding you well. The gang does not feed me. I have to feed myself, but uh, actually, no. They give me the option, at least. <laughs> they give me the option. Hey, Nippuccino, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a nice weekend. Zac Efron is in it. Okay. I'm surprised that didn't get on my radar. The Iron Wheel. Is it? It's not that one where he's a wrestler, is it? Zac Efron. Why is it when I type Iron Zac Efron, it comes at the Iron Claw? Tells the story of Von Erich brothers as they make history in the highly competitive world of professional wrestling. Oh, it is the wrestling one. Okay. Yeah, I saw pictures of him for that. His face has gotten a bit like, what's he done? He's done something, right? Every time you leave the van, you hunt for your meal. I should, Fabrizio. I need to bring an arrow with me to the next cycle thumb. Like fucking deliverance. <laughs> Good to hear, Masano. Ma Ma Masaru, good to hear. Mas I just realized, is your name Muscle? Masaru? As in Masaru? Kiniku? <laughs> ah, yes, it's re it really anno annoyed the, uh, the other day when Connor, Chris, and Ryotaro wouldn't allow you to eat. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Jenny. Uh, if you do watch the stream fully, Ryotaro very kindly did try to offer me some, but he made the mistake of offering it to me in front of Chris and Connor, which is just not dumb. 
But the owner of the place behind the camera, he was like offering me drinks at least. Obviously, he can't cook it and then give it to me, but he was um, he was offering me water and stuff. So that's very kind of him. <coughs> his, jaw, his jaw is all weird now, right, Kevin? Something's got something's up with his jaw. I mean, when a man looks as amazing as that and he feels like he has to have surgery, what the fuck is going on with the world? Would you ever do any music streams? You have a great voice. Unfortunately, Copper, I don't live in a place that allows me to. However, I have got an idea for a music stream. Um, but I'm not sure when I'll do it. But it's an interesting concept that um, I I'm going to do at some point. At some point. I'll just say that. Jaw surgery, maybe. I don't know. I mean, people have said that he had an injury, but that was like fucking years ago. Yeah, look. Collie, they said that, right? But he he had that injury to like, we're talking like 10 years ago. This jaw thing has just happened quite recently, though. That's what, I'm like, hmm. I'm like, because I remember, I remember seeing that he did a Netflix documentary thing, right, at one point. He looked great in that. Mind you, he had a beard. Maybe he was hiding it. I watched this stream when we all asked Feed Paul at <laughs> It's just a nickname, gotcha. Obviously, and oh, your parents are going to call you Muscle. That'd be great. Can you imagine that? Oi, Masaru san! Hotchkoi! The peasant doesn't eat with us, thank you. This is true, Kevin, you know it. Sing the music backwards. Good lord, can you imagine? Just do over at Pete's. Do what over at Pete's? What am I missing? I'm missing. I have to. I, I constantly change my fucking topics of conversation so much that I forget what I talked about. You can eat now, Paul, it's your stream. This is true, but the idea of eating while talking sounds horrible. If I was, like, reacting to something that's different, you know, we can just, like, you know, watch it and fuck about and I can eat something, but I'm not, so it feels wrong doing this. Right? Just dead air. It doesn't feel right. Crazy, cra yeah, all right, crazy, crazy, crazy. Apparently he didn't like his face solo. What the fuck? What the hell, Papu? That's that's insane. Karaoke bar stream when jeans. Welcome to the stream. Oh, karaoke. But that would require me to do IRL, and that ain't me. I'm not an IRL person. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I might try and trying to do a van cam for you guys, but other than that, that's where we leave it. One King Oreo. Thank you so much for the follow. How's your weekend doing? Let us know. It's an excuse to get a Giga Chad jaw. Yeah, but his Giga Chad jaw looks a bit funky. A music stream. Hello, hello. Oh, hey. MBK, hope you're doing well. How's your weekend? Paul, is your JP better than Chris and Connor? Um, it's better than Connor's, but obviously, you know, I've been here 10 years. He's been here for four. I think Connor's doing amazing considering how fluent he is. Well, not fluent, but um, confident. Especially you saw last night in the bar. I think he did say last night wrongly that Rainin Seikuru Suru. I was like, no, you're not doing it next year. You're doing it next month. <laughs> Yeah, I think he said that. I, I remember hearing that. I was like, oh, I, I know what he means, but yeah. But I mean, that woman was already wasted as well. I think it was Sayaka, that girl. I think he was talking to her. She was wasted too, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> you get sidetracked so quickly. I do, Sam. I do. I really do. That's my ADHD kicking in. His face looks weird as hell. All right, Collie. His acting's amazing. He's always been an amazing actor. Hassan eats five meals during his stream, so it's perfectly fine to eat on stream. Yeah, but he's reacting, bang. He's sitting there watching, like, letting someone else... Or does he literally just sit there and look at his stream and just do that? Is that what he does? Just let Connor and Pete take you out for an IRL stream of bar jump. I would never want that to happen in my life, Norway. The idea of, like, after seeing what I saw last night, I don't think I want to be embarrassed on the camera. <laughs> Although I will say, God bless him, Pete does feel a bit bad. Um, <laughs> there was some crossed wires. So Pete packed up as we packed up. And I remember Ian did say to him earlier in the day uh, that we was going to get a bunch of B-roll once we finished with them and they didn't have to worry. That didn't end up happening because I was getting B-roll throughout before we filmed him. So I think he assumed that we were going to continue filming. So he went off with his camera to do to do like a thing at Nakano. And um, there was a crossword with me and him because he told me he was going to call me so that we could hang out after. But I think he meant to call him <laughs> after. And obviously we didn't. <laughs> um, 
So eventually, obviously, Connor, Connor called him and was like, let's hang out. And like, yeah, you should bring the stream, whatever. And um, yeah, the next thing I know, he's out in a, in a bar with Connor and Alex. And I'm like, oh, OK. It's a good thing I didn't hang around and wait. <laughs> Hello, Paul. My weekend is good. That's good to hear that, man. I'm working a night shift. Oh, night shifts. I remember them. Oh, I, I had a Red Bull once. Three of them, four of them in a night. And that was the biggest mistake of my life. Regretted that. And I was vomiting so badly. Documented travels. Thank you so much for the follow. How's your weekend? Let us know. Hope you're doing well. The temperature's been quite high in my country. 37C. Good lord. Oh man, you've been here 10 years. You got PR. No, I do not. That's, um, I tried to get it and I couldn't get it because uh, I had one month where I was late paying a pension. I paid it, but I was late paying it. So they said no. So now I'm on a, what they call a Tejukin, which is a long-term residence. And I'm hoping that eventually I can get a three-year one because then I can apply again. Because I'm all clear now. Normally the drinking streams are a bit more responsible. This is true. Well, well, Javori, I think that Connor, I, I'm still holding holding it on him. And he did laugh when I told it to him. He was like, ha oh, ha yeah, I did do a bit. <laughs> he was egging him on. He was singing fucking chants about downing things like with a fucking giant jug. So naturally that's going to cause that. Obviously Connor's really good at drinking. So I thought Pete was as well. But then again, Pete, remember guys, you was with him all day. We didn't have a breakfast. You saw his lunch, it was tiny. I don't know, did he eat anything in, in Nakano? Did he eat anything there? I am well, thank you, Canadian, currently visiting. Oh, hey, welcome. Hopefully, you, hopefully the UK is treating you well. Look after your belongings, don't be like Pete and uh, lose anything, hopefully. The funniest part was Connor tried to make Pete say bye. I thought, yeah, I know. I was a bit worried about that, Norway, because like Pete was a bit too loud and I, I didn't like that he was swerving into the road when cars were coming. That worried me a bit. Um, I'm glad Connor just went when he started talking and didn't say it right. It was like, okay, time to leave. That was the smart thing to do. He turned the stream, but yeah, he did. Because look, Pete's Pete. You know, he wants to like say thank you and show his appreciation to you guys. So yeah, he didn't eat. So that's why. Like he didn't eat. I just find it funny that Pete did the usual chat. You are so drunk. Pete, you want to see the real? <laughs> Let's learn to pretend it's been... <laughs> well, <laughs> I think Connor was tipsy, though. Connor, like, I've hung out with him a few times, and any time that he says, I'm not drunk, I'm like, oh, okay. He's one of those guys that when he gets a bit tipsy, he'll say, I'm not drunk, don't call me drunk. He can hold his liquor, but still. It takes him a long time between jolly and drunk. I don't think I've ever seen Connor drunk. Sad I missed tonight's ending. While I, for some reason Pete still has it on his Twitch channel, you can watch it. I don't know why it's not been trimmed or taken down, but you know. To be fair, nothing nothing horrible happened. It wasn't that bad. It could have been a lot worse. He drank a lot before meeting Connor. Okay, that's why. Pete also almost got isekai Yeah, that damn right. I, that, that truck came a bit fast. He ate, but nothing that would help to... Yeah, we're drinking. Oh, okay. The lady doth protest too much. Arix was the most sober out of the... Well, he arrived late as well, if I recall. And he was being responsible with his uh, chugging. He, he didn't down anything, so I think he was smart there. I was curious, though, if he needed those glasses indoors or not. Was that was that a stylish choice, or was that... Does he need it? Does, he, does his eyes get hurt with low light? After ending the stream, Alex told chat that Pete want to go to him. Of course he fucking does. Because, you know, I I, I, I'm, I feel Pete because I'm the same. It's like when you're in a good mood, you're feeling the zone, like you're happy. You don't want it to end, you know? I know how he feels. But sometimes, sometimes enough is enough. Drink dri Oh, you're right, Norway. Yeah, the drink driving stream. That was fun. I did catch bits of it. I actually like the subscription beer place Pete and Connor went to before the last part. It was more chill and less chaotic. Was that the perfect pint or was there another one between them? Wild Anomaly. Thank you so much for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Let us know how your weekend's going. It's great content. Let his hangover be worth it at least. He's all right. He's, he's awake now. He's messaging me right now. 
Um, yeah, he's fine. <laughs> he's doing fine. God bless you, Pete. We all love you. <laughs> I like the part when Alex was looking at the camera and said, what is happening? Yeah. He probably on good, yeah, he's got to be on good behaviour with Yuki if she caught that stream. Good Lord. Torikizoku or Gyukak? Mm. Well, Chris would say Torikizoku. Oh, he is writing in a Discord, okay. Connor's drink driving stream was such a great idea. Was it, was it, did he get that from Ludwig? Seems like something Ludwig would do first. Pete is getting the couch for the next while. Well, I can only imagine what it must have been when he walked into the house. <laughs> but she was there for some of this stream, right? I remember seeing her commenting. I was dying cringing, but like a wise Pete said, bring me with alcohol. What more do you want this to be? <laughs> yeah, this is true. It is the Japanese experience. Chat enabling Pete's alcoholism. Mm, you're right, Jenny. It is a bit naughty, isn't it? You know. Because everyone's like chug, chug, chug. Although, to be fair, they did do, uh, what do you mean call it? They did do a um, a vote near the end, and it was like 69%. Oh, ha, ha, funny number. was like, let's end the stream. So Nathan was about to end it, but then that yakitori lady showed up, and I felt like maybe he didn't want to end it in case something funny happened, and he didn't want to get told off by Pete. It's, you know, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. Yuki's going to turn off his next stream again, but it's but why possible, bang? <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> I went full method. I like that. That's a good idea. You should use that. Yeah, we're glad everything's alright, yeah. She was there. Oh, that's it. She was there in the share house. Right, right, right. And the perfect beer plate. Yeah, I'm. I think Connor was, yeah, because Connor was like shit talking with Nathan, right? You saw Rich Stain, you saw Pete getting drunk and drunk, yeah. I've never asked Yoshinoya Matsuya Sukiya. Hmm. What's the one Pete likes? Is it Matsuya? It might be Matsuya, Connor. I don't usually go to those places though. Usually I would just make it at home. Like a gyudon. Most of us said move to the next place. You wanted more widget? You done enough? <laughs> you know there'd just be more chug chug chugs when you're in the next place. Do these places have solo stalls? Never went to either of them. Um, I think they do, Mochi. They should do. Oh, really? Torikizoku? Oh man, Torikizoku has those seating areas though that you can sit on your own, right? Kyukaku, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I've never been there. Hey Emma, how's it going? How's your weekend going? Let us know. Did you catch yesterday's amazing stream? The, the first bit, not the second <laughs> In the end, he's an adult when it feels right. Yes, it does. Yeah, it does. So I, I hear you. Everyone just feels like, you know, they want to have baby in because, you know, we feel bad that it's like, ooh. Twitch not great with the please drink responsibility to audiences. This is true. Yeah, we, that's the last thing we want is Pete to get into trouble. Or any other boys for that matter. Matsuya for me because it's literally a 10 second well, Okay, well, there we go, Sam. <laughs> and yet you would probably still order an Uber Eats of it, right? <laughs> he made a vote about what to do next, even when it was drunk. Is he, oh my God. <laughs> People do care. They do care. I made that poll. Oh, Mif Mif Mifta, you made you made that poll, huh? How was it for you guys in the back end? You must have been going back and forth for like, should we end it? Is it okay? Ooh, what's going on? <laughs> what is that one thing you can't live without after you discovered it in Japan? Ooh. I mean, huh. In general, it's just the convenience itself, but I suppose shabu shabu. That food slaps so hard. My favorite, favorite food here. I love shabu shabu. Not really a baby until get out for people. I, yeah, I hear you, Jenny. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, everyone's everyone was worried. 
More like streamer Paul. What's that all about? Beer? I'm not a streamer yet. I'm not affiliate. Right? Doesn't doesn't work like that. So what's going to happen when editing Apprentice Ian's first project? What's the calendar? Um, well, the calendar right now is Cyclophon Three. Bar none. That's what we're doing. Nothing else. Um, then when once that finishes, then we'll probably devote our attention to the, that video from yesterday. You did catch the stream. You fell asleep when we were filming at the share house. 4 a.m. My God, Emma, you shouldn't have been up. Oh, God bless you for trying to watch it. Mifu trying to save the stream. Yes, indeed. Mate, I'd been awake almost since the start of the stream. Oh, I bet. Yeah, it was 11 hours, was it? How long was the stream in the end? Gaming soon. Louis, I tried I tried setting up. I've got my PC down here with me now. I've got the weirdest like issues with this. I, I don't know if it's because I'm using an Elgato HD60S Plus or if it's because it's on a Mac. But for whatever reason, when I when I plug my gear in, the game will show up on OBS. But as soon as I try to watch the clean feed on my monitor, the monitor goes black. So I can only play a game if I'm playing it via looking at OBS, which feels wrong. So I need to figure that out. But I, I am experimenting. I am experimenting. Oh, Troop Perry, thank you so much for the follow, and Gordon, Gordon Ecker, Gordon Ecker. Thank you so much for the follow. Hope, follow. hope you're doing well, but let us know how your weekend's going. Patch, is it Pachio Pacal? Good evening, hope you're doing well. Uh, my day's been fine, because I did not drink copious amounts of alcohol last night, so um, I'm doing pretty good. I'm thankful Manu doesn't IRL stream German's good. Yeah, I bet. Shiawa, so you're not late to the stream. We're only like 46 minutes in, you're all good. Chat will say he's drunk after a single sip. After many hours of that and whatever chaos was starting to happen in the bar, I was done, I bet. I, I can imagine. Uh, you're right, Kevin. <laughs> you're right there. I don't need to, to, to say what you said, but yeah, you're right. Almost 12 hours? Good Lord. That's that's crazy. And Tame, hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I know that his, his camera died when we was doing the IRL, and then it died again. I was like, I only remember seeing two batteries on him, so I don't know how he where that extra battery came from. Maybe Connor brought one, but somehow the stream continued into what it became. You have an Elgato HD60. It doesn't have the issue, Blaze Buddy. Maybe, I mean, do you use a Mac Studio as well? Because I'm using a Mac Studio for this and the gaming's on my PC. So I'm wondering if there's like a bottleneck there or it might be my monitor. I'm using an M28U, a Gigabyte one. I'm hearing that has issues as well. But ah, yes, I am live. I'm having a great day. Hope you're having a good day too. We're well, into the evening now. 6.52. What of that rhymed? I only caught the stream by the time Pete had most of his function. Why isn't that every stream? But um, Bruh. Ah. Unfortunately, visiting Fukuoka cost you a minimum of 48,000 yen. Really, Sam? Is that including transport and hotel? Copper, you love seeing... Well, I love seeing your cake, Copper. There we go, I said it out loud. That cake looks delicious. Why is it delicious there? It's got a bit of green in there. What's that? That spinach? Is it a cake? <laughs> Just the price of a Shinkansen. Good Lord. Into what it became... Yeah, you know what I mean. Shinkansen there and back is 24th. Really? Oh, I suppose because it is a, it's um, it's Kyushu, right? So it's way, way, way down south. All right, Nemit, calm down. <laughs> is that a solid snake? <laughs> Some of the areas yesterday sounded very reverby. Do you often have to do much cleaning up in post? Uh yes, yes. Uh, which is why I'm always like having a a tug of war with Chris over using labs or not, because the closer it is to the mouth, the less you have to worry about reverb. Everyone was wearing lab mics yesterday. I have gone through it and I didn't find any issues. Um, I usually do that as well, guys. Like when I finish filming something, I'll have a quick scoop through all the footage to make sure that everything's okay. And it looked okay. Would it be KVM switch issue? Maybe bang? I, I know this monitor says it has a KVM thing. 
maybe. I've tried changing it from HDMI 2.1 to 2.0 and it still happens, so. It's cold and windy outside, but it's nice out in the early... Oh, that's good to hear, though, if it's nice. <laughs> I lucked out on the JRP last July. The price has gone up 70%. Good Lord. 70%? Fuck me, that's a lot. I think depending on connection quality and other conditions, Pete has up to 18 hours back. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to know. Because I know he's not, he's not pushing out as much data as Connie usually, right? Nudes, that's what um, Chris used for the uh, last, um, the non-stop north shoot. Concept fart. Thank you so much for the follow. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Let us know how your weekend's going. Uh, he, yeah, they use that a lot because apparently the audio in the car was really bad. At the same time, I don't think anyone was editing with proper headphones on because no one knew to cut out the low end, which is why there's a lot of low rumble in that footage, annoyingly. You got to go already? No worries, man. Thanks for swinging by. Hope you're doing well. Have a great weekend, and I'm sure I'll catch you on the next one, hopefully. Take care. When is your shit house video coming out? Probably uh, around April or May, I'd say. Depends, because I'm not editing it. Uncle Ian will be editing that. Oh, great. I'm also surprised you just use wired Apple earphones for monitoring server item or something. You know what? It doesn't matter. Very boring name. As long as I can... I, I trust my gear. I know, it's, I know it works. As long as I can hear it. And plus... Over here, over ear headphones, I need to hear what's around me. And the idea of cutting everything out, just, I've tried filming that way before. It's a terrible idea for my use case. We're not in a controlled environment. And oftentimes they're like, yeah, just walk backwards with the camera, Paul. It's like, okay, I'll just walk backwards. Mega Knight, hey, welcome, welcome. How's your weekend going? Let us know what you're up to. Thank you so much for the follow. Yeah, yeah, so using, well, I, I find that using wired Apple earphones is just, just works for me. I have zero technical knowledge, so I'm here in the corner like people. Well, you know what? Everyone's got to start, start somewhere. Everyone's got to start somewhere. What's he saying here? This is Pete. What's he saying to me? Would you edit with headphones on and Pete's voice? His voice is loud. So. Um, I don't usually, because I obviously, you know, my background being in music, I've already got two studio monitors here, so I, I just use them. Although I do check the mix on a phone as well, because most of the audience will probably watch the videos on the phone. So make sure the mix sounds good on the phone as well. I mean, what do you guys watch it on? Like, let's let's be real. Like last night's stream, was you watching it on a phone? Was you watching it on a TV? I don't get to see the metrics of uh, Pete's streams. So. A 14-day Japan Rail Pass used to be... Oh, I see, John. I get you. Yeah, that's right. It did go up, didn't it? When you edit a long video, do you make multiple different timelines? I do not. I used to, and I just get more confused. So PC mostly, watching on TV, laptop screen, phone, laptop, PC monitor, TV. Wow, it's quite a broad range then. Which like, So imagine trying to get the perfect mix. It's almost like everyone's speakers are different, right? It makes it really hard. My, my TV is my primary monitor, wow. I used to have that for my gaming, my TV was my primary monitor. But now I've brought everything over here, so I'm gonna maybe try and game on this at some point. Always watching on PC. That's really interesting, actually, that people don't use a phone. You'd think, like, a phone's easier to walk around with, like, because streams go on for a long time. Do you just, like, I suppose you do work on your, your PCs while you're watching? Noob question, actually, why people use studio monitors. Isn't a headphone can clear? Yeah, yeah, I guess, but at the same time, I want to keep my ears as healthy as I can for as long as I can, bang. And when you're using earphones, like, with that loud, especially someone like Pete, I don't want to lose my hearing. I've already lost enough of my hearing already from music, so <laughs> I don't need to lose more. You're working... Oh, hello, software developer working on creating a tool for... Con well, hey, that's what we want to hear. I'm all ears. The lag of my phone makes me crazy for Bridget. Well, if you don't have it on your PC and on your phone, is there really lag? Just saying. You prefer louder, but that's just your selfish one. Trust me, when you've edited or like, if you've been composing songs for like, very, very, very heavy metal, uh, you don't want that. Or EDM, and they want the fucking song to be like a brick limiter that's just a brick wall like that. 
you soon find that you don't hear high notes and low notes as good as you used to. I watched on a phone since my internet got a problem. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that makes sense. That, well, your data must be pretty bad. There is no perfect mix, and with everyone doing their own thing, so change boost audio, and it's even bigger mess than ever. I know, Miftel. Same with, like, Twitch. Like, all this OBS here. So right now, my audio is, like, tickling the red, like, the minus 10 for my main mic, even though on my roadcaster it says 15. I don't know why it's louder in OBS than it is in here. It shouldn't be. Because I know how to, to wire my audio correctly, but for some reason it's doing it. And um, but I don't think it's ever clip clipped. Yeah, uh, audio is crazy. And then gaming audio, I found that out today as well. Good lord. I mean, you can't just sync your switch to like the HDMI and have that as audio. You've got to sync it up and put it into a headphone jack and all this bollocks. It's crazy. Hey, no worries, Tatis. Thank you for hanging out. I hope you have a nice weekend, man. Catch you on the next one, hopefully. Always PC. When playing on Nathan's stream, yeah, that's like... <laughs> I hope Nathan's all right. He got quite a grill in last night. God bless him. It's great putting long streams up on a side monitor while doing work. And yeah, I agree. I do the same. I literally put on Connor's streams or, or Pete's streams if I'm working. Pete normally streams late, so I don't get to do the same with him. But yeah, I usually have it up on a separate stream. And every game has different audio, you're right, Emma. Every game does. And every song's got different dynamics, right? It's always a pain. It's very, very hard. Same for editing. Like when we have to put music into the edit, it's like you'll have a little sneaky song. Like that one that goes din -din 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 -din. But then there might be like a run -um, run -um. It's like oh, fuck. So you've got to ride the fade on it. You can't just like let it sit at a nice comfortable level. Some people using the 7TV FFZ audio compressor that also... Yeah, I'm not a fan of that, Miff. It, it is... It does suck. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of you. I don't think... I'm, am I using any... I don't think I'm using any filters. I think the only filter I'm using on my mic's audio in OBS is the limiter. So it doesn't smash over minus 1 dB. But... I mean, that's the beautiful thing about having the, the roadcaster is that everything's internally in there, so it frees up some of my computer. My computer's only using, like, 4.7%, so that's handy. You drank some fossils and chilled out, you know what I mean? Well, that's certainly not what Pete did. Pete runs on those DJ hours. <laughs> Nathan is fine enough to time me out for calling him fake Welsh. Wow, be careful, mate. Although Connor would agree with you. The sniff test. Kookaboo, hello, welcome to the follow. How's your weekend going? Let us know. Welcome, welcome. The gifts of Pete, oh my God. Are they as good as Glizzy Paul? <laughs> Actually, I'm surprised we're not seeing Alexi here. That's good to know. She's hiding. Or as I call her, all X machine. All X Chan. <laughs> Some IRL streams in noisy places have to send through NVIDIA broadcast to reduce background noise and makes it less fatigue. That's true. Mind you, last night, that last place they were at was very noisy. So I'm surprised at that because all of that audio from them is coming through that tiny little camera that he uses. I mean, for Sony, it's, Sony really knocked it out of the park with that because the audio is pretty good. The tool enables your followers to generate and share affiliate links to your channel, earning points for each click. They can trade points for rewards like videos and exclusive content. Oh, that's pretty cool. Well, I'm not at that level yet. I'm not an affiliate, but I know a few people that are, so I will fish the idea to them and I will let you know. Well, well you know what? Don't even ask me, ask chat. Chat, what do you think of this idea? A tool for followers? From Mega Knight. Is it Mega Knight? Mega Nade? Mega, Mega Knight, right? Mega Knight? I'd perma ban myself. Spammer in chat. Is there a spammer in chat? I don't have mods, so it's hard for me to tell. You should be affiliate after this stream. I should be, Emma. We'll see. If the Twitch gods allow me to be blessed with half the power of a partner. That should be. What is the difference between a partner and affiliate, though? There's not really much difference, right? From what I could tell from the stats. 
Nudes, this is the last stream I have to do before I hit all of the affiliate ticks. Am I a spammer? I like to spam emotes. Well, I mean, I can fix that. I can limit the amount you're allowed to spam. Is there an IRL stream camera as good as a Sony X3000? Every stream is using the same one. Um, I have spoken with Connor about this. Like, why the bloody hell does everyone use that camera? And it's still like the go-to. It's got amazing stabilization, great audio, nice and wide. And I think one of the things that all the other people seem to miss out is the fact that it can be both powered and HDMI'd, like all in one, because a lot of the, and it doesn't overheat. A lot of these other cameras that come out now have a screen on them that probably doesn't help, makes them overheat a bit more. Uh, so yeah, I think I think that's just all of those are really, really important factors that go into making a good streaming camera that most of the places just don't seem to hit the mark on. Plus it's small. Fancy badge, VOD stay up longer. More emote slots, right, gotcha. You can get kids with a partner. <laughs> you can only get money with an affiliate. All right, oh God, you got me there, okay. <laughs> you can make kids with a partner. Out of the peasant realm, finally. The peasant realm, not yet, not yet. I'm still a peasant, I'm still a peasant. Peasant in training. Ian emotes, there's Ian emotes, Jenny. What, what emote could I do for Ian? I'll have to look into it. I mean, you can't beat the one that they, they stole from my video of him winking. I made that. That's my bloody, like, my footage of him doing that. Okay, gotcha, Habi. Gotcha. Well, we can, we can calm that down. Are there cameras designed specifically for streaming? I don't think there are, Kevin. I mean, uh, uh, there's probably ones like designed to sit on top of the monitor that are for streaming, but in terms of walking and talking, I think most companies you'll find as like Insta360 and DJI, they're trying to incorporate the idea of it in their system, but they don't want it to be the main reason for it, which I think is the issue that most people have. Um, another factor I think that companies should try and look into is if they can make it waterproof. But to be honest with you, Looking at people like Ginny Titi, she's doing it on her phone. Same with um, you saw uh, Onigiri, she's streaming on her phone. Do we really need a camera now? People are streaming on their phones and they look so good. I don't, there might not be an, a, a market for it. Is there any way to fix the terrible wobble in, in Pete walking cam? I have no idea. I, don't, I need to look at his setup because it, it's got to be something to do with the way his camera's placed on his shoulder. Pete's camera wobble makes me nauseous, so I have to reduce the wind. <laughs> really? Is it that bad? <laughs> Premier wink. Premier wow. But the phone overheats. Oh, does it really, Fabrizio? I don't know. I mean, how long was she streaming on her phone for, Giri? I, I tend to find that, that that lasted quite a while, no? The image stabilization should help with the wobble. It shouldn't cause it, unless it's one of those ones where it's like floaty. That would be the image stabilization. Hello, Funky Tater. Hope you're doing well. A cheeky stream indeed. The phone camera quality is good, but the stabilization is like, oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, yeah. That, that makes sense. Normally, you want a wide lens, will give more stabilization, or at least give the illusion of a wider stabilization. The more tunnel vision you get, the worse it gets. Rune Deck and D Trinder, Natural Skeletal, thank you so much for the follow guys, hope you're doing well. Speak of the devil. Yeah, I hear there is no market just for live stream camera versus, yeah, right? That's what I mean, I did have a chat with Connor and he did say the same thing. There's just no market for it. Back meds all done, good to hear it, Emma. You make sure you get all that done right. If only the Osmo Pocket 3 worked well for streaming, I know. I think it, does it, it only streams in 720 or have they updated it for 1080 now? Stop it, Kai. <laughs> We're not doing that. <laughs> in terms of consumer market, streamers, tiny, tiny, yeah, tiny, tiny niche. That's exactly, I think that's why. 
Although I'm surprised to be fair that Sony stopped making the camera, but I think they stopped making it before it was known as a good camera. So now the factory probably doesn't stock the things they need. Talking about mobile phones, do you know if there's a way to save directly to an external drive for iPhone? I don't. I think the new iPhones that have the USB-C, you're able to connect a, uh, an external drive though, right? A phone on a gimbal. Yeah. So the thing is, I think people want to have the least amount of things possible, Emma. Like, the less equipment I need to bring, the better, you know? Oh, RTMP, okay. What's better, very boy name? Like, RTMP or going direct to Twitch? Like, which is better? What's what's the benefit of the RTMP? I couldn't quite figure out why people would use it. If, unless it's literally just because it does 1080. You use your phone as a webcam. The amount of times it does stuff in the background just kills. Oh, of course, I forget. Yeah, you have to put it on like bloody do not disturb, right? That would suck. <laughs> I wouldn't like that at all. To be fair, though. I was looking at this app that uh, Lexi recommended, this Prism Live. It's pretty good. It's pretty amazing that you can have like chat on it and everything. Although I don't know how like reliable it would be with an eSIM. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, Pete, Pete did message me. I should look. What did Pete say? Oh, bless him. He's like, we'll run it back. <laughs> and he had lots of fun on the shoot. God bless you, mate. We don't need to run that back. I don't think I need another one of those kind of nights. As far as I know, Cam stopped during because stabilization was third party and they, they went bankrupt. Sony went bankrupt? Oh, the company. Okay, I gotcha. Twi yeah, right, Sam. Twitch uses both SRT and RTMP. So when I look at this Prism Live, it says you can either stream from Twitch or from Twitch via RTMP. So what's... A difference what's better what gear, what phone does Giri use I have no idea you'd have to ask her it definitely wouldn't be an iPhone though they're like a all Android up over there I think I don't think RTMP is as robust as SRT which is designed for poor connections quite sure that is what stream boxes use to send video back to the stream PC oh okay so a little cheeky memo memo Use normal SRT. Prism Live. If you do a van cam. I mean, one of the other issues that I'm thinking of is I'd probably have to buy like an iPhone 12 or maybe an iPhone XR. I kind of don't, I don't like the idea of using one without at least one of these kind of lenses on it. I wouldn't want to use one of the little dingy lens ones. Um, but you can get them pretty cheap now. They're not that expensive. But more importantly, I'd have to try and find a way to power it all day. So I'd have to bring a V-mount and just shove it into the phone. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna, I don't want to buy a brand new phone just to stream from a van for two weeks and then never bloody use it. <laughs> I'm just looking to use it for like this two-week period. So I'm not looking for something crazy expensive. I mean, technically, people say you should use an Android phone though, right? Isn't there a cheap like Android or like a Google Pixel 5a or something? Wouldn't that work? Intense 7, thank you so much for the follow. How's your weekend doing? Let us know. Get Chris the Millionaire. Chris. Chris the Millionaire to buy me something. You must be joking, Kevin. He'll hire me to do something and expect me to buy it. Grinding away at work. That's why well, I suppose that's good to hear. Although working on the weekend, ah, it sucks. I did it all my life. So I know you feel, mate. I can't remember the last time I didn't have a work on a weekend. Although, technically speaking, when you're freelance, there's no such thing as a weekday. It just sort of like blurs into one. There's days off, which you don't really get them because you have to get them yourself. And it's just like, oh, it's Tuesday. Oh, it's the weekend. The only thing I need to remember is like the bin days. All his money goes to cheese boards. This is damn right. Tax write off says a work phone. I could. Maybe I could. I mean, how much does like an iPhone 12 cost these days? Let me have a look. <coughs> this annoying little tickly cough lately. It's really annoying me. 
seems to be doing the rounds. Well, it's refurbished. You can get like an iPhone 12 if I use iPhone and not, not Android. I'm only saying uh, iPhone because I know them. Uh, 64 gigabytes, wouldn't need a lot. So you can get that for like, what's that? Yon, yon, yon man nanasen? That's not bad. For the cause, 200 pounds, that's not that bad. Worth it, worth it. But we'll see, we'll see. I would use my old phone, which was an iPhone 10. I had this, but this thing broke. On the Spartan Race video we did with Chris, it broke somehow, and now it's got this horrible green line that goes all the way down it, and it's not responsive from here to here. And when I looked up how much it would cost to get the screen replaced, I was like, that's a new iPhone. <laughs> I'd rather not. Uh, you still have to pay for business expenses you write off your tag. This is true. Too much. Is work consistent enough to get by comfortably, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, it's not bad, Kai. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing pretty well so far. The boys have been keeping me busy, so that's, that's always a nice thing to see. The Pixel 7 would be cheaper now. This is true. Yeah, I do edit on my, my not, yeah, on my not camera days I am editing. Get a 13 Pro Max for the improved camera. That's the thing, Jenny, because I have a 14. I have a 14 Pro, but like I need this to, to like, this is mine. You know? <laughs> I can't leave this on the dashboard, unfortunately. Good evening, Lex. Hope you're doing well. Not at all, not at all. Went to the Formula One. Pixel 7a, okay. A couple of people are saying Pixel 7a. Let's have a look. I know they released an eight recently, right? <coughs> I don't think that's here in Japan though. I couldn't find it anywhere. Google Pixel? Pixel 7a actually costs more than an iPhone 12. That's uh, 50,000 yen. I do think it might make sense to have a, an Android phone though. Just curious, what's the most challenging thing about living in Japan for me? Would be the visa, Copper. I think for most people it's the visa, having to justify why they should let you stay here every year. <laughs> Other than that, it's just the language barrier of the, the written le letters, right? You know, the, the kanji is never easy. Like, even when you think you've figured it out, they come out with a new one. Like, what the fuck is that? Ooh. So, yeah, that's the hard bit. Phone companies don't want you to fix old phones, they'd rather you get new ones. This makes sense. A seven hour stream. <laughs> I have my old iPhone sit. Wow. You see, so is that your main camera, Fabrizio? You just use an iPhone 6, really? Pixel 7a is a good phone. Oh, okay. I noticed lots of English speakers give prices like yesterday's share house rental and drink prices in Japanese rather than English. Is it because you eventually just think in Japanese? Oh, it's kind of that. It's more a case of like, there's no point in me telling you the price of it in English because then yeah, that could change tomorrow. Like the, the pound could go down or up. So just tell it how it will always be in Japanese. Then you can figure the, that out. If you just go on like xe.com, you can find out. Makes sense in that regard. What about that Sony flagship from a few years back that can double as a monitor? Intense, do you know the name of it? I trust MKBHD. It takes the best video. Pixel takes better pictures. Oh, ah, okay. I'm sorry, Pixel Dragon. Would you like something more heavy? <laughs> it's a chill stream. That's what we do here. Nice low five beats, you know? Hey, if I can help you sleep, I'm all for it, you know? I, I had a YouTube channel that I used to make. Uh, I got too busy to, to keep making for it. It's called Athletic Sleep. Athletic Sleep. The idea being it was a pun called A Sleep. And uh, it was all, I, I made this music for athletes to help them fall asleep more. The idea being, I, I had my, my friend Nick was a test subject because he used to have trouble sleeping. Um, so I, I started experimenting with him 
and I realized that athletes have a faster resting, uh, uh, sorry, a slower resting heart rate. And a lot of the songs that people use to like help people fall asleep and things, they're, they're either too fast or they have these annoyingly high pitchy tones in them. So what I started creating was I wanted to make a song that had a nice slow heart rate just to remind the heart how fast it wants to be. And then I kept it very, very low frequencies as well as um, using binaural beats. So the frequencies in each year was different. I should show you actually, what am I saying all this? Jazz or what? And Kyle, thank you so much for the follow. Hope you're doing well on the weekend, guys. Let us know how you're doing. Let me see if I can find. Oh, tricky little, tricky little video. Look at this little plug I'm giving here. I did two channels actually. There was a Flex Sleep and a Flex Sweat. The idea being I wanted you to use one to work out in the day uh, with no equipment and you could do it anywhere and then in the night you would fall asleep to the other one. I just got so busy that I couldn't keep doing them. I have no idea how loud this is going to be. <laughs> uh, there. Ooh, listen to this. Right, chat, you ready to fall asleep? Falling asleep with cameraman Paul. That sounds wrong. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. The word camera and sleep is not a good combination. Get the react on there. Do 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 do. Safari. And I need to turn you off. And this was the music I used to make. So if you're listening on headphones, that was showing you the difference. Bedtime with Ballard. <laughs> Good Lord. Right, bang. So it starts with two very, very different frequencies. And after about an hour or two, it, it'll merge into a more nice frequency. And it's just a really, really nice way to fall asleep. And another thing that I used to do with these uh, stream, uh, these videos is I learned this is I made this in Blender. So it was a great way for me to learn how to use Blender and create 3D shapes and stuff. And I, I wanted something unique and different. So I, I used like a pink color motif. And the little logo, if you can see it down there, it's probably covered up. This little logo here, I got these colors by taking a photo of a sunset one day, and that was like the merging of the colors in the, in the sky. Well, that's how many hours sleep you're supposed to get, very boring name, eight hours. So I made sure that people got their eight hours in, so you could literally click it and not have to worry about anything else and I was very very serious about sleep then you know it's like your body only repairs when it's sleeping let me know how it goes natural maybe not now though <laughs> but yeah needle drop I don't want you falling asleep now unless you want to fall asleep to my stream you're more than welcome to if you want let's get you back up here and put on the old lo-fi baby, innit? You hate Blender? Why do you hate Blender, Heavy? Join just in time for bed with Ballard. Okay, Lithium. Calm down now. You gotta take me out to dinner first. I can't sleep for more than 20 minutes. Oh my god, really? 20 minutes, Jenny? Why is that? Is it is it because of noise around you? Is it because of your, your diet? Are you eating like something sugary before bed? Because technically you're not supposed to have something with caffeine in it after midday. It's not easy and I'm not doing it, but apparently you're not supposed to. You got into them too, Cobby, yeah. 
I learned a lot about them. I don't know whether they work or not, to be fair. Binaural beats, some people call it bullshit, but I know that I used to fall asleep to my songs, so <laughs> that's all that matter for me. What's the sound where it's frequency, but it makes my head think it's really quiet? Pixel? That's probably like a crowbar going across the head, no? That's a sound that would make you... Everything has gone quiet. <laughs> 20 minutes, oh no, and I thought I had sleep issues. Yeah, right? I'm worried now, Jenny, what's up? Oh, what's this? This is These are big words. Big words you're speaking here, Jenny. Trigeminal neural uh, neuropathy. Painful? Yeah, it sounds painful just saying it. Is that like a migraine kind of thing? Non-stop migraines? Why no Guinness today? Sorry, Lone Wolf. I, I don't have a Guinness because I've got something a little bit cheeky. So I was just looking up what that was. Uh, the pain involves the lower face and jaw. Oof. There's nothing we can do to help with that? Sorry to hear that, Jenny. It sounds, it sounds a bit nasty. Maybe sleeping pills is probably the only option, I guess, really. Right? They can pry my caffeine from my dead cold hands. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh, yeah, so. It's not Guinness, because I have something that, that Sam got me the other day. God bless him. He bought me this. And as you can see, it has been drunk quite a lot. I said I had a nightcap the other day and it ended up being more like half a bottle. Oh. And I didn't realise until I woke up the next day. Nerve damage from control. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Jenny. Brody, hello. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. How's your weekend going? I go through phases where I sleep too much. Then where I can't sleep at all. Vic... What do you mean you sleep too much? Because that, that can cause you to sleep more, more sleep. If you have too much sleep, it can make you sleep more, right? You take massive amounts of medications, I bet. Hi, Private. How's it going? Welcome, 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 welcome back. The... the <laughs> Yes, it was more than a sip. Like, I literally woke up the next morning and was like, oh, there appears to be half a bottle missing. Careful, Paul. YouTube doesn't allow drinking in videos. Well, soup, that's all right, because I have to mix it anyway so that I stay hydrated. So we're all good. And my dreams aren't drinking, uh, just drinking. My dreams aren't drinking streams. I just happen to be drinking while I'm streaming. Got to say you're drinking apple juice? What are you talking about? This is rice whiskey. The only whiskey made in Japan subtropic. Which doesn't make any sense to me, but okay. Mada, thank you so much for the follow. Hope you're doing well. How's your weekend going? I got terrible tintinitis and that's because issues for me sleeping. Oh. Ah, yeah, I know a friend, um, Chris Hart. He had a massive issue because he used to go on the road a lot singing various songs. He's a, a, a singer here, a J-pop singer. Uh, no worries, Masu. See you next time, mate. Masaru. Have a good one. Be good. Get that workout in. Make sure you get those sleep in for those muscle gains. Um, yeah, he had a really bad issue with his, his ear that like, because like, he had the earpiece in the whole time. And he used, all he would hear was like, ee, all the time. It's really, really hard. Another reason why I don't want to edit with headphones on. If I was a pet, I reckon the vet would just put... God damn, Vic. No, I don't say it like that. Oh, people say they're drinking apple juice instead of alcohol. Okay, I gotcha. I don't think that passes as apple juice, but sure. Would that be apple juice? I didn't know that was a thing. YouTube really stops people... Well, I mean, didn't Chris do an entire stream drinking sake on YouTube? How is that not, like, a thing? Fat Tam. Hey, how's it going, man? Uh, I do like wine, of course. I prefer red over white. I think white's a little bit too sweet for me. 
I'd go for something like a Malbec. Or um, is it Carmenere? I think it's called a Carmenere. Though these days I tend to favor a bit more of a Pinot Noir. I used to love like very heavily bodied wines, but these days I tend to favor them a little less. I tend to find I get a headache if I do it that much. Oh my days, everyone's got migraines here. What's going on? It's a good thing I've got the lo-fi music on. <laughs> Caused by past trauma, good Lord. Dan Damien, you sound so, well you could get out of it. <laughs> hello, hello, Dan Damien. Apparently you sound tasty, you called it a very boring name. You can drink on YouTube, but it might get demonetized. Well, I'm not monetized there anyway, nor am I looking to be a YouTuber. I wasn't even looking to be a streamer. I'm just here to shoot the shit with you guys. Chris and Connor got to, well, yeah, Chris and Connor got totally loaded on YouTube. I remember filming something like that. I'm pretty sure that's on YouTube too. Uh-huh. Drinking to excess is considered self-harm. It is. Sets a bad example for audiences. This is true. Can be a bit of fun though. A bit of cheeky fun never hurt anyone, but yeah, I hear what you mean. You woke up from a four hour nap. Is that is that your usual amount, Fat Tam? Four hours? Sickest chat on Twitch. I know. What have I what have I what am I what am I bringing here, natural? Everyone's all like migraines. Or well, hopefully my voice is able to soothe you and alleviate the pain. The healing voice of Paul. <laughs> the soon-to-be affiliate. The affiliate voice of the healing Paul. <laughs> this is turning into chat shares their medical issues and disability. This is true though, right? You know, let's be open. Let's talk. I mean, isn't it nice though when you find out someone has something similar to you? You can say, oh, hey, you know, I've got that too. You can sort of like talk to each other and make it realize you're not the only one going through shit. Did the Van Gang ever feed me? Brody, the Van Gang, we feed ourselves. We all chip in our own money when it comes to the Van Gang, so. Hence yesterday's stream, you're right. <laughs> is this ca affiliate cameraman Paul's seventh stream? Let's go. It is, Cole. This is my seventh stream, so apparently I've now ticked all the boxes. The gods over at Twitch have deemed me necessary to uh, grant me some kind of affiliate. Apparently, I don't know, we might see. They might cancel me before that happens if I'm drinking too much. ASMR VTuber. Well, I'd just do Chris's voice, right? Welcome. Cameraman Paul VA. Oh, God. I, I could never understand as well. I always thought, because originally I was going to put like... I was trying to find out how would you abbreviate the name Cameraman Paul. And I was like, maybe it should be CM Paul. And I was like, no, because then people are going to think that I'm trying to be CM Punk. And I'm not. <laughs> I'm not like a massive like wrestling fan. I was back in the day with the Ultimate Warrior and Hulk Hogan and the Demolition Man, all that stuff. Ratchet Man, Ratchet, Ratchet Man Randy Savage. But then people would be like, oh, CM Punk. It's CM Paul, isn't it? I'm like, no. And then I realized that technically it shouldn't even be CM, right? Because Cameraman's one word. Even though it feels like it should be two. Then again, I suppose it's like Spider-Man. Cameraman. <laughs> I often have this loud, annoying noise in my ear. Seems to be especially bad when watching P. <laughs> I won't tell him. Don't worry, mate. I won't tell him. He got drunk last night, so I think you're good, Paul. This is true, fat... That time, I think Crit, uh, Pete paid the tax. C.P. Ballard. C.P. Ballard? No one ever calls me Ballard, though. It's so weird. Cameraman. <laughs> Cameraman. <laughs> yeah, you know, could be a Spider-Man, you know. I do help save lives by making sure they're in focus. I wouldn't drop the M from C.M.P. CM Paul VA. Stop trying to make me Connor. What are you doing? <laughs> Stop this. Connor's got that name. He's got that dog in him. 
Botox is my next step for my migraine. Oh, really, Emma? Oh, Vic. Is that is that a thing? Be the cameraman. That's what I wanted to put on, but it wasn't available here at the time. Oh, okay. Yeah, people used to call me Ballard in school all the time. I said this before, but like here it's Paul, cameraman Paul. It's always Paul, cameraman Paul. And Cream Boy and Ying, thank you so much for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Let us know how your weekend's going. Welcome, welcome. I think cameraman Paul is good because most of us knew you from shooting videos with Connor and Connor and Christ. I'm, I'm assuming that's Chris. <laughs> Although he'll be very happy to hear you call him that. Uh, Mr. Beast in Christ. Uh, this is true. This is very, very true. Skidor, thank you so much for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Premier cameraman Paul. Well, I was Premier Paul originally and I felt bad because... Uh, Pete, for the longest time, has thought about changing his name, name to Premier Pete. But because his whole branding is around the two now, it feels wrong to change it. He's gone too far, he's in too deep. So, yeah, he can't do it as well. Greetings from Malaysia. Hey, how's Malaysia going? Looking forward to the cycling streams. Yeah, that, that, I'm not, but you, you can. <laughs> I think it's going to be tough. I don't even know what he's doing for food. Part camera, part man. That's right, we're meant to reality. And hey, how you doing? Lovely to catch up with you the other day. Paul, you're immortal, right? Because cameraman never dies. This is true. But when the camera's not in my hands, who knows? It's anyone's bet. What's it like knowing Mr. Beast? Um, it's it's uh, it's it's starving. That's what it feels like knowing Mr. Beast. You'd be surprised how much he doesn't have feastables on him. Bollards. That's what they used to call me too. Ballard, Bollard, Wellard, Ballard. All kinds of bloody names in school. Banter with Ballard. <laughs> Why does that sound so British? Welcome to the Banter with Ballard. Should that be my startup thing? Like Pete's like, Welcome back to another thrilling adventure of Premier 2. My name's Pete. I'll be your host. <laughs> and I am I'm being a little bit more quiet and less loud tonight because I, I don't want the neighbours. So before I went live on the stream, I, I'm pretty sure the man pissed off the woman because the woman was like, ah! And then suddenly I saw him walk out. He went into the lift and went, Ikorka, let's go. He went in the lift and she didn't even look at him, went straight out past him and went down the stairs. I was like, oh, bro's in trouble. Fuck that. <laughs> Whoa, I tuned in for Paul and got Pete. Well, I'm sorry, man. This is, this is hangover Pete, apparently. Doing all right. First time watching. Hey, well, welcome, welcome. I'm doing good. I didn't get drunk last night, so I'm all good. That's Yuki yelling at Pete right now. <laughs> Could be. I didn't think he was that close. I'm pretty sure he lives in China, right? <laughs> I tried Feastables. They did not taste good. Really? What about the new one, though? I hear the new one's good. No? Let me know. You'll be in Tokyo when the cycle one finishes. Ooh. I won't be able to stream snipe though, but keep an eye out if you're in Tokyo for the last day. Don't know if Connor's mentioned anything, but just keep an eye out in Tokyo. They are fighting about the lab. This is what I'm worried about, Jenny. This is what I'm worried about. That's why I'm trying to keep my voice down a bit. I don't want them like saying, we just moved in here and this fucker's noisy. That's a good Pete impression. Wow, well, someone's got to do one. It's what? Oh my bad. I'm just a little dumb right now. I'm brain hard. Oh, I don't sleep. No, no, no. People have called me Ballard. Bellard? No, not Bellard. Bollard. Bellard? What the fuck's that? Bellhard? That sounds wrong. <laughs> Let's not go there. Bruh. Uh <laughs> well, Pete got ever so slightly pished last night. This is true. He got got rather pished. I think Pete's bank card has been taken from him. I wouldn't be surprised, Debbie. Although I'm pretty sure Yuki has access to his card as well. Paul's Viewfinder, Paul's Frame Focus. Oh, I like these names. These are all good. You have to make friends with the late, yeah, the old ladies. This, this seems sounds like a young couple. I've not heard them now. Technically speaking, they're not in this room that's right behind me. The, the building sort of branches out and technically their living space is there. So it shouldn't be bad, but I don't know. How long have you lived in that apartment? I've lived in here for seven years now, I think. 
but they're they're new and i think no one's upstairs yet i think downstairs i think it's like two floors as well so there's like all this space without having to worry about noise i do recall last cycle from sea dogs chat called me daddy paul daddy paul good lord uncle paul i'll take but daddy sounds a bit suggestive Who's going to do a gearless stream soon? I am, yes. I've been calling him Camera Dad whenever we <laughs> Camera Dad? What is this? Who is the most fluent Van Game member when it comes to speaking Japanese? Honestly, Private, I think we help each other out. Because I don't know fuck all when it comes to speaking about parking cars and stuff, because I don't drive here. Ian's got that down to a T. He's also very good at like bringing up a restaurant and offering for reservations. Uh, Pete is just very good at talking to anyone no matter what and I'm somewhere in the middle I think so we sort of help each other out it's a fine balance as it should be in the van game I didn't come out of those names I asked Copi <laughs> did you do the gift giving thing to your neighbours when you moved to your place um, not really, no. This place is a bit unusual. Well, uh, truth be told, I think my neighbour passed away. Because just before Nonstop North happened, we had three or four police outside and a bunch of family members there. And they was trying to get into the place. And, um, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened, but I, I think maybe he was one of those people that live alone. And, um... I do remember at one point two people walking out with a bag that would suggest it could have potentially had a body, but I don't know. But it was it was a long time. There was a long chat and they couldn't get into the room. Just saw your website. It looks great. Did you make it yourself? I did, Tam May. I made it myself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Of course, the faces to appear. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 I think, I think that's what he was. Because... Um, they had to do a lot of paint work and stuff, so the whole place stunk of paint for like four weeks. And um, when they got rid of his stuff, there was like just fucking mountains of newspapers and things outside in the street. So I wouldn't be surprised if it was one of them. Lazy Bunny, Kazar Ardin, and I think that's Robin. Fix Noxy, thank you so much for the follows, guys. Let us know how your weekend's going. Hopefully better than my ex neighbors. You are not the suspect. You'd be surprised, Bang, right? You've got all of like, the police out there and a bunch of family members and not one of them knocked on my door. Not one of them thought like, hello, this guy might know something. And what, how's it going, man? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's your weekend going? Not one of them rang, like knocked on my bell or anything to ask. And then I had another incident. I didn't say this. I sent this to Joey as well. Outside in my bedroom, in the building next to me, there was a massive, massive row with some girl and a bunch of men in clothes. And she had like, I think it was four other girls in there with her. And I think there was like an idol group or something, but it seemed like they were illegally squatting there. And the police were taking them out. And I had to get pictures. I had to, well, I had to take video from my, my room. I was like, what the fuck is this? And I sent it to uh, Joey and I said, here you go, mate, here's some content. Keep your eye out for like, idle group causes trouble uh, in my area. And uh, you can use that footage. And he was like, cheers, mate, thanks for the content. <laughs> oh yeah, mate, thanks for the content. So that's what he would have said, of course. of course. Idols in handcuffs. Now they weren't in handcuffs, but one of them was screaming, don't pull her hair, like get, take your hand off her hair. Cause like one of the guys was trying to get her out by pulling her hair. Arkan, welcome, welcome. How, how's it going? It's going okay-ish. Sun and rain mostly. What about you? Well, right now, the rain has died down, so we're good. I'm actually quite warm today. It's been quite cold lately, but today, what is it? What is the temperature now? We are at 12 degrees, so we're not bad. But it is nine, nine, 90% rain, which sucks. But other than that, I'm good. I'm good. We're having a nice chat chill, catching up on the weekend. Nothing weird happened last night, not at all. Premier 2 was just a normal stream. <laughs> we freaked when any of our elderly neighbours had ambulances. I bet. 
squatters' rights. <laughs> well, I don't know. They were all young, augmented. They were all young. So it was like, who are these young girls? And only one of them was piping up. The other three, I think that one out, they were all quiet. They were all quiet. They didn't say anything. And the girl was doing like the typical, like, yamete kudasai. Yeah, yeah. Oh, kite, kite. Yamete kudasai. Yeah, chotto mate. Chotto mate. And I was like, whoa. I wonder if I've got the sound bite. I don't want to show the video because obviously I don't want to fucking dox myself or anything. Watch me not understand the Japanese and she dishes out the address and tells you exactly where I live. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Uh, where is it? Do I have it? Hang on. I should look under videos, right? That'd be quicker. I think I deleted them, you know. Oh, I think I deleted them because it was like, what the fuck is going on? Oh no, here's one. That one's not doing anything. Hang on, let me find one. Itai shimete. Kori baka. Ikai desu ka? Is it okay one time? Oh my god. Address noted. And these guys that are outside the apartment, like, I know, this isn't doxing, but yeah, look. Look at this, what this guy's wearing outside her apartment. Look at it. What the fuck is that? That's like Breaking Bad shit, no? He's got like a whole fucking plastic body bag suit on shit. Right, Augmented? I feel like maybe there's, there's something going on there. All right, Pixel. Sure, 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 sure. CSI stuff, right? <laughs> Pull on the content grind, Lithium, yeah. You can't live here unless you're, you've got something wrong with you. Fans, maybe? Overly fanatical fans? No, these were the guys that were going in to get them out. These were like the police. We've come for your liver. But yeah, the thing was they weren't they weren't the police because there was no badges, there was no one with the typical police gear, but they were all wearing something like that. And there was like three or four of them. And there was girls there. And there was all girls that were in the building. That's all there was. There was like four girls. One of them that you heard, that was the one that was piping up. And they dragged them, one of them out by the hair. And I was like, what the fuck? Was just was this during the height of COVID, Jenny? No, this was. This was January this year. <laughs> that's what I thought, random. Crime cleanup suits, that's what it looked like to me. It looked like something like, because you don't want to contaminate the evidence, right? So he's wearing gloves, he's got all the stuff covering his clothes. I thought that's what it was. Illegal brothel, you think? I mean, I did used to hear very loud, <laughs> not, not those noises. I did used to hear very loud noises at night between maybe that time to like, five in the morning but it, it sounded like someone streaming like a Japanese person that was streaming games and they would have like loud parties that's what it sounded like probably yeah you really the big why to cover the noises oh no I don't know about that you could hear, you could clearly hear when they was like trying to get a goal in a game or something, because it was like, oh, oh. So I don't think people make that noise here when they're usually, you know, at it. If you know what I mean. Detective Paul in the case. That's right. Detective Paul's on the case. And this was early in the morning as well, by the way. This happened at. Uh, let me see. This kicked off exactly at 8 a.m in the morning, 8 a.m. Paul will solve the case. What am I, fucking Detective Conan now? <laughs> if it's organized crime, it's Yakuza, really? But four girls? I didn't see any tattoos on them, to be fair. Have you not watched Japanese porn? They do, well, that's what I mean, Kevin. They weren't making those kind of noises. 
I don't think I've ever seen a Japanese porn where the guy's like, oh, oh, way. <laughs> Unless I'm watching the wrong types. <laughs> way up the lads. So you have seen them, Kevin, come on. I'm 41 for Christ's sake. If I said I hadn't, I think that would be more suspect. Incredible, Barry from down the pub. They did it with the knuckle dusters. Paul is pioneering that kind of noise now. Paul is pioneering that kind of noise? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yes, for my next trick, darling, lie on the bed. I've got a surprise for you. Whoa! <laughs> Way up the lads. <laughs> We're coming in hard. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, one hour, 45 minutes, no toilet break. I am going to the toilet and then I'm going to top up with this delicious bit of apple juice, apparently. Be right back. Peanuts got work, good lord. Work is not good on a weekend. I should know, I used to do it god knows how many years. You fix computers for a living, well maybe you can help me with mine mate, because I, I seem to be having trouble getting a game on there. <laughs> for some reason when I, I plug in my PC to my HD60S Plus into my Mac with the HDMI into the screen, and I play on OBS, I can get the game to play on OBS, but if I want to watch it full screen, it goes black. So weird. And don't even get me started on um, my Switch. Same, same energy, right, you? You know it. Pool man, hey, thank you so much for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Are you an actual pool man, though? Are you a lifeguard? Have you tried turning, oh, why didn't I think of that, Nicole? Silly me. Full screen gaming? That's for partners. No augmented, I want... <laughs> so, I mean, it's so weird though, because like, if I don't use the Elgato, I can see the game fine in HDMI. But once I put it into Elgato, it'll only let me either watch it in OBS, or the screen, but not at the same time. Game on a Mac? Well, I'm not gaming on the Mac, I'm gaming on the PC. I'm trying to capture it on the Mac, right? This is a Mac. What I'm using now is a Mac, but I want to game from my PC 
It's like it's like plugging a PS5 into your computer and like playing on that. Might be an Elgato setting, yeah. I did go into the settings and I, I don't really know what I'm looking at, so it works fine when I when I plug everything to my TV and use a MacBook to stream from from a MacBook with OBS and play it on my main TV, no issues. So I wonder if it's, it might be the monitor as well. It's an M28U monitor, and I, I've, I've read on like Reddit that has trouble. Hey Sensei, how you doing, man? Hope the shoot yesterday. The shoot went went great. Uh, the bit after wasn't so much, but that's um, I'll let the people tell you how that went. <laughs> El Gato, you need El Perro for what you're trying to do. <laughs> I'll bet it. It's possible. Big Daddy Gates not playing very nicely with Big Daddy jo I know, I know. I, know. I mean, look, I, I, I'm not at that point where I need to buy a brand new bloody PC and then switch everything over it because this is my editing suite. You know, I, I do everything on this MacBook, so. I... On your PC, well, here's when I can, with the, with the OBS, I can make it say go full screen and this screen, so it's full screen, but I'm still playing it through the OBS, so there's going to be lag, right? Even though it didn't feel like it when I played with it, but it would feel like lag. Plus, I can also see all of this would be visible rather than having a clean feed. Never, Kai. Never. I'm not Chris. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, it's on it's on full range. I don't think that's the issue. Two PC setup using uh, Elgato capturing card. Well, I'm using a PC that I, I built in 2016 for a start, and then this is a Mac Studio that I use to stream with. You work for the bank. I help customers with anything they need. All right, Vic. <laughs> you sound like someone we need to learn. No. Better call Soul, better call Vic. Not Pete even, definitely not Pete. <laughs> right. Being smart today, so that's a, that's a cup of water. What specs for my PC? Good lord, now you're asking me now, mate. Uh, it's been a long time. <clears throat> As I said, 2016. I know it's got a 1070 in it. And I can play games fine on my TV from it, no issues. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not looking to bloody play games in 4K for crying out loud. Uh, let me look. I've got two Corsair DDR4 memories in there. It's the Gigabyte GVN1070 Founders Edition, I think it's called. Core i5 7600. Obviously, 2016. Motherboard is a mini ITX. I'm just whittling these out. I don't know if this means anything to you guys. <laughs> H170N. That's a vodka, isn't it? <laughs> I got an extra 1080. Well, I don't know. I mean, because the thing is, I bought it with this. Is it a fractal fractal node? It was a little a little thing that I just wanted it to be, be like an Xbox where I just put it under the TV and play it without having to use it as a tower. So I bought this very, very slim line, very, very small um, tower case. And it works fine, as I said, if I put it in my TV, it works fine. It's just for some reason, it's just not working with the streaming. Yeah, laptop. My I, this works fine when I play on the laptop. It's when I'm trying to plug it into the Mac Studio. Maybe Mac Studio's got something different because my laptop is an Intel. Obviously, the Mac Studio is an M1. So, Mac Studio will likely run a bunch of games well. To be honest, really. But my save file for Hell Divers is on my PC. A surprisingly well it is a peasant <laughs> it is a peasant pc because it's a pc i built in 2016 when it was good right it's now what we're nearly 10 years later of course technology is going to be shit now he's editing from a mac studio i am i do indeed 
Are you gonna bust out the whiskey Sam gave you? I am indeed. I'm getting sidetracked, I'm sorry. Didn't hear any of that. Lovely bit of apple juice. I'll do it straight first. A little bit, you know. Oh, it's a good whiskey. It's 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 a, it's a nice uniqueness to it. There's no heavy flame on the way down, which is nice. Hang on, I'm missing stuff now. See, look, you tell me to pour a drink out, and then everyone wants to talk. I've uh, been piping stuff into my M1 Pro MacBook for an Elgato. It works just fine. <sighs> just keep for yeah. I'll, I'll try noon. I think I think it it could be even be the monitor because the monitor's been playing up as well. I might have to get John over. Oh, John Mulligan, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> PC from 2016, so basically just a side tale. Get out of here, Jenny. Get out of here. It plays fine, okay? When I plug it into my TV, I can play Helldivers, no lag. It's all good. <laughs> yes, yeah, side. It's an eight-year-old PC. Of course it's not going to run great, because I've always had to just... I've not, I've not done stuff like this before. I'm not a streamer, usually. I think it might be a Mac thing. It's either that or it's an Elgato thing. It's one of them. <coughs> well, Umuerto, if you're, if you're up for it, by all means, if you, if you fancy giving it a try, I'd be interested to see if it's my Elgato or if it's the monitor. I can't, I don't, it can't be the, the M1 Mac, though, because technically speaking, that's playing it. It plays on the OBS fine. The problem, I think, is the monitor's not picking it. It, it won't let me. It says no signal. But there's no signal coming out from somewhere. Chat do be fluent in Japanese. <laughs> Peanut. <coughs> Are you going to be streaming more frequently now, Paul? <laughs> well, have I got news for you? I'm about to go on a vacation for two weeks. Um, so I'm not going to be near my streaming rig. <laughs> but people are asking me if I can potentially film from the van for the cycle farm and I'm trying to find a way around it I might need to buy another phone and I just put it in front of the car and just have it streaming the whole time could be fun until Pete gets there obviously and then let him take over maybe potentially you should get one of them fancy fire iron mouse PCs I hear that they, they go quite well they go broom broom well you know that'd be great but I can't afford that I don't have Pete's pay Pete's like He's close to being, he's like half a millionaire now. You know, he's making his way up the ranks. Oh, hello. We've got some wide among us here. <laughs> Vacation, yes, that's true. I should have phrased it correctly. Vancation, it should be, yeah? A vancation. Steam in a van can be done. All right, Louis. All right. You're never going to let that go, are you? You're never going to let that go. From now on, all of my streams are steams. Damn it. <laughs> and this marked Paul's path to partner. Well, apparently, so I hear you don't need to technically reach all the hallmarks to be partner. You just have to send them a cheeky little email and say, so, um... Can you take a look at my, my stats and tell me if I'm okay? You can do that too, apparently. Yeah, I've checked my I've checked my um, HDMI cables, Miff. It's not it's not them because they work they work fine with the TV. Okay, now more wider my. <laughs> well, if you're happy, I'm happy. So I'm glad you're enjoying this. <coughs> Check all the adapters and think, well, I've done that. After everything's The only thing that's not working is for some reason the HDMI is not going into the, the TV. But if I take it out of the Elgato and put it straight into the HDMI, it works. So there's clearly a break bottleneck somewhere with the Elgato from either OBS in Mac or the Elgato itself not allowing it to send it to a separate, separate um, screen. 
Enoch can't wait for the cycle for it's going to be sick. It's going to be fun. It will be fun. I'm more interested in seeing how well Chris does because I don't think he's been working out at all. Do you have to use the baby voice when you ask them noise? Uh, good point. Do I have to crack out an ara ara for them? <laughs> Hopefully not. Partner Paul. Hey, that's a good sound. Could be the monitor, as she says. That's what I'm wondering, Emma. I'm wondering if it is the monitor. Because I did look up this monitor. It's an M28U. M28U. Gigabyte M28U. And when you look up things like OBS, M28U, Elgato, it comes up with people saying, I've got a black screen of death and things like that from it. So it's potentially could be that. Has Chris tuned up his bike, Jenny? I, of course he hasn't. What are you talking about? Uh, Ian has said he's going to try and stealthily go around his house and steal it and get it checked up. He's going to try and organise it so he can get both the boys because he's worried that maybe Connor's too busy too. I'm pretty sure Connor has, but just to be safe. And I was wrong. I said in the recent stream that it was Ian's bike is going to have the guests riding on that. It's not. Uh, the place that we was at yesterday, the share house, um... Ian knows someone who works for that company and they are offering to give us one of their bikes and that bike is worth apparently like a lot more money than the boys bikes so it's like oh shit fucking hell so the guests are potentially gonna have a better bike than the boys <laughs> sounds good to me sounds like Chris is winging it it's gonna hurt it is last time he pulled it right out of the storage out of the bag where it can be packed from the last time right okay Paul, when will you become a VTuber? I have no idea, Private. I do have an idea for a model. I did show it in a previous stream. Uh, we'll see. Because I, I did download that, that v, is it V Studio? VTuber Studio thing? I don't know if I have it anymore. I probably got rid of it when I realized that I'm not using it yet. Yeah, there's like a V Studio thing on the iPhones. They're really good, really, really good. <laughs> hey all, hey, welcome Villanark. How you doing? <laughs> How's your weekend been? Hopefully better than Pete's. Free bike. Yeah. Well, not free to steal. Free to borrow. <laughs> oh, 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 Muerto, yeah. George was a great lad, though, wasn't he? For those that don't don't know, um, uh, yesterday the Van Gang had a little uh, video where we watched a bunch of people. We went around a share house in Japan, a very luxurious one. And uh, Yo, Nathan, how's it going? Nathan, how you feeling? You okay, man? Are you feeling a bit rough? They really dug it into you yesterday. I'm sorry, man. Connor was really harsh. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> what was it? Let me sniff it before I drink it. <laughs> the fake one is here. Uh, yeah, so we went to a share house and we filmed uh, two videos that will be appearing on the company that we filmed Forge channel at some point i think probably in may maybe it won't be it can't be it can't be april we're, we're too busy on the road and um <laughs> yeah it was a lot of fun uh and there was a guy there called george who was from the same area that ian and i are from essex it's such a fucking small world star lord welcome how's it going how's your weekend going such a fucking small world so we was all hanging out it's like oh mate how's it going lads you all right good um uh, yeah and that, that guy was just got like, he's just had everything. He knows how to play the drums. He was playing Mahjong, all that kind of shit. Top geezer. Baku, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's everyone doing? Did anyone else catch the stream after the uh, the Van Gang special? You might have seen a certain sea dog. Just Delivery Boy, how's it going? It's going good. How's it going for you, man? How was your weekend? Did you catch yesterday's stream? Before the Van Gang or after the Van Gang? <laughs> oh, MotoGP. Oh, okay. That's today. Oh, okay. Born in Chelmsford. That's right, Jude. You're born in Chelmsford? Fuck around. You're close as well then. Look, look at this. Who knew all the people that like from Essex are apparently like... I think Japan's full of fucking Essex people now. You know? I saw the after due to time zones. Oh... 
I love the ending just kind of turning, I know, I felt bad. Because he turned it off and then Pete turned it back on. And I remember, was it, was it, uh, we, we spoke earlier, was it Miftal or was it you, Nathan? One of you was like, should we end the stream early? And it was like overwhelmingly, yes, turn it off now. <laughs> but then I noticed it was you. And I noticed that you was like, all right, like, go out, bye everyone, GG, bye bye, bye bye. You was, you was holding out. And that fucking woman showed up with a yakitori talk and it was like, oh, this might be good content. Should I cut it? Should I leave? <laughs> I can imagine the dilemma in your head at that point. He's going to kill me if I cut it. <laughs> what was the worst part? Let me guess. You wanted to stream again after Connor turned it off. Oh, no. What? <laughs> Well, I do know that when it finished, he kept spamming, was it exclamation, 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 stop. And everyone kept saying to him, Pete, the stream stopped already. It's okay. <laughs> you can still, oh, that... <laughs> that's so funny. Uh, it, was, it was a good time. Alcohol required, clearly. Essex will single-handedly raise Japan's birth rate at this point. Fucking what's wrong with that sunshine? We'll have one, everyone talking a proper lingo, innit? Konnichiwa. Watashi wa poru desh. <laughs> Top shaggers. <laughs> what the fucking what's this? Oh, I like that. I like that abbreviation. Kon Konnichiwa. Sounds like fucking Del Boy. Hello, Trigger. <laughs> Is that Trigger? No, who's that? That's not that's not Del Boy. Who's the one with the most? Marlene, that guy. Hello, Trigger. Konnichiwa. What are you drinking? I am drinking what Sam gave me the other day. A very lovely bottle of orange juice from Okinawa. A subtropical blend. The only whiskey made in Japan subtropic. And it's all right, it's not bad. Pretty damn fine if I say so myself. Ah, uh, stray, stray. That's fine, man. Don't worry, don't worry. Before I drank it, I made sure that I popped open the bottle and let everyone else have some drinks and artedly to make sure it was safe to drink first, okay? No worries. Paul Nichiwa. <laughs> it's all good. If you're still here, that's why I did that. <laughs> Japanese people learning English are going to end up sounding like Ryotaro when talking to Connor and Chris. Oh, is that right? <laughs> is that what we do? Is that how we talk? Ryotaro's a lovely guy, by the way. I don't know if you guys have ever had a, been lucky enough to meet him. He's, he's a really nice guy. And he's always fucking traveling as well. I don't know why he's always, like, fucking... Next thing you know, he's like, oh, yeah, I'm in Hokkaido now. Then he'll be down in Kyushu. Fucking nuts. A drunk call from Pete. <laughs> did Pete survive the night? Yes, he did, Sketch. He has messaged me and apologized. Um, that they, he sort of went off. There was a bit of a mis mis misunderstanding because like he thought that I was going to call him when we'd finished wrapping up because Ian did say earlier on in the day that we was going to get some B-roll once he'd left, uh, once he'd finished his work. Um, but we'd finished because I was getting the B-roll throughout the day. So I was waiting for him to call me to let's, let's hang out after finishing work. And then... For whatever reason, he, he had a chat with Connor and Connor was like, oh, leave the stream on, it'd be fine. And then I never heard from him. Ian never heard from him. And uh, I logged in and I was like, oh, this is going to be a fun one. <laughs> and so it was. <laughs> is it wise to keep that stream up, Nathan? Nothing naughty happened, right? I'm just worried about him and, him and Yuki. Should maybe some of that stream be trimmed? <laughs> Have I tried some of that snake wine from Okinawa before? No, I have not. Um, I wasn't on that shoot. Oh, that's his job. That's right. You're right, Widget. Yeah, he does. Sorry, yeah. Going back to that. He does help local governments. He is a nice guy, Peanut. I mean, he's the only one that really offered me food in that, that Wagyu place that they was in when we did that IRL stream. He keeps sending me stupid fucking stickers online. It's great. Well, there we go. That's good. It was fine, just drunk. Connor 
was also a little bit tipsy, although he won't admit it. But today, as I said earlier, he woke up, went straight to the gym and, and did business meetings all day. So what a chad, right? He went from barely drunk to a disaster in one day. Yeah, I agree with that sketch. Looking at how that went down, that was pretty crazy. He's like, I'm not drunk. I'm fine. Oh, hey, how's it going? Nothing egregious happened. And the who's who of drinks got a bit confusing. Yeah, that's a bit, yeah. I know they got one for the girl, but then somehow she ended up getting the smaller one and Pete ended up with the bigger one. <laughs> Such is a life. What a Chad nays just, yeah, yeah, that's true. I forget he's only fucking 27. He's got a smart head on his shoulders for 27, to be fair. Wait till Connor hits 30, you better have... <laughs> Well, he'll certainly feel how it feels to have his knees fucking certainly hurt a bit more. That's for sure. Mind you, he might have that in two weeks on the road cycling. You probably won't need to say that to him. He'll say it himself. I just hope that the lads have booked enough for the Orkans and lovely onsens for them to recoup because that's something they always cherish on these cyclophones is making sure they get a nice onsen in. I'll be honest with you, I'm more worried about this little thing he announced yesterday on Peach Stream about we're going to IRL one night. I'm like... Who's holding that camera? Excuse me? What? <laughs> That's news to me. So I'm like, am I, am I filming all day and then fucking holding up the stream all night? What do you reckon, chat? You think that's what's going to happen? Well, fuck a duck, Pete. Peanut, that's not fucking fair, is it, eh? Am I getting, like, triple the money? Double or nothing? Fucking bet I will, widget. You're fucking right. <laughs> Considering I know that we'll have to start that day in particular. It's a 90 kilometer day, I think. So we'd have to start relatively early. Let's hope he feed. He's not going to feed me, side. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm just more worried about if it ends up going to a fucking karaoke because I know what's going to happen then. Oh, karaoke, Paul's here. He's a fucking cameraman that can see. I'll be like, I'm fucking knackered. Cock it. <laughs> I'm not saying karaoke. I'm saying I wouldn't be surprised if it ends up being a karaoke. If it's a lad's night out in town. Hold the camera and sing at the same time. Yeah, I wouldn't fucking put it past him, Kevin. Mind you, by the time the guys probably would end up in karaoke, they'd probably be a bit too slosh, so I probably wouldn't trust them with my camera, you know? You would love karaoke. I don't fucking love karaoke funky, because as soon as I sing one song, I suddenly find six songs geared up for me to sing that I didn't fucking say yes to. And like, and it's not even like a nice easy song. It's like, okay, we want you to sing My Way, Careless Whisper, then uh, some fucking random anime song and then some other random anime song followed by another visual K song. And I'm like, I don't fucking know half of these. And the other ones that I do know, I know is like fucking the octave range is this. It ends up every fucking time it happens to me. Sorry, you trust them with your camera at any point? No, you're right. Well, I trust Chris with it because he knows he'd have to pay for it if he broke it. But the problem is trusting him with the angles. <laughs> Wee. Don't fire me. <laughs> just sing worse then you're right Nathan good idea oh we thought Paul was good but apparently he's, he's... that was just a one off that could work <laughs> better than four, four big guys in Ram Rush <laughs> oh my god I did watch that what was it it was at the end of that Van Gang game right he told Mouse to play it through didn't he he sang it at the end of that right if I remember it's probably going to be a donation goal probably Emma. Well, I think if it does become a donation goal, um, someone mentioned it in the chat before, but hello, what the fuck's going on here? What's that all about, eh? What's going on here? Uh, someone mentioned it before. It probably would be something like I'm still standing, but I'd probably change it and abbreviate it as like I'm still cycling. But I'm still cycling, so donate now. Something like that. I think that could be fun. Get everyone in in involved. Something like that would be good. But I don't know. I ain't getting paid enough for this shit. I'm not. I'm not, mate, this is fucking long hours. 
Bearing in mind that even though the stream turns off and we stop filming, I then have to go into my hotel room and back everything up and charge the batteries. That takes time. I was stuck in karaoke one time with a Sweden and German singing in... That sounds awesome though, Code Star. I don't mind it when it's different languages. And there's always that one person that cracks out a really old Enka song just to impress the natives and you're like, the natives, the locals. Who was taking the piss out of me the other day? I kept calling people natives. The natives. <laughs> I think it was Pete. Uh, the locals. And um, <laughs> it was like, there's always that one person that wants to impress them. I'm like, you do realize they're like 22. They probably don't know this song. It's like an Enka song from like 1920s. Like, oh yeah. All right, Boris. <laughs> Classic colonizer. What the fuck? That's right, these natives don't know nothing. Teach them the ways of the Essex. <laughs> well, if they don't have a flag pixel, it's not a country, is it? <laughs> the Swede did crack out an Enka song. There we go. By the way, that's a callback to uh, Eddie Izzard. If you haven't seen great stand up, he, he goes to a different, he, he talks about the, the England taking over the world and the empire. And they always used to show up to a country and say, this is our country. It's like, you can't, you can't claim this is your country. We've lived here for years. Do you have a flag? No. Well, no flag, no country. <laughs> That's how we, we invaded the world. <laughs> hey, Kevin knows it. <laughs> no flag, no country. Indeed, I say. Sounds like a Chris thing to say to me. You're not wrong, Christy. <laughs> it does sound like it. <laughs> Thank you so much for the art. Very kind of you. Hope you're doing well. Proper British, isn't it? Okay, God death. Okay, go to death. I'll take the oar, please. <laughs> you don't need a flag, you're the bollard. Oh, I love it. People know Eddie Izzard, that's so cool. Please educate Connor on Eddie Izzard, because I don't think he knows Eddie Izzard. I think Chris might, maybe not. Maybe he's even too young for Eddie Izzard. I think it was, was it Dressed to Kill? I think that's where a lot of the jokes were from. I think it was that one. He did a show when he was like, I'm an executive transvestite. I'm not transvestite, I'm an executive transvestite. <laughs> and that whole show just had me in fucking stitches. Although, whatever show it was, he did a whole skit entirely in French and I never understood it, but I wish I did. My mum was fucking dying of laughter, but I couldn't never understand it. The success of the British Empire. <laughs> you sound worse than me. <coughs> I'm the jerk that puts on Journey songs. Oh, okay, okay. Don't stop believing. Chris is 54 at heart. Yeah, but every now and then you realize he's a young'un. Bottom was more your speed. Oh, not the wild ones? Oh, uh, not the wild Is it the wild ones? No, the young ones. The young ones was a good one. Action transfers, that's it. <laughs> Okay, so if anyone doesn't know what the fuck the, the chat's talking about, I highly recommend looking up Eddie Izzard. He was a great comedian. I don't know if he still does stand up, but he was awesome. You do a good impression of him. Who? Eddie Izzard or Chris? Or is Chris Eddie Izzard? Try and get him to dress up like an executive transvestite. Good luck with that. Black Adder, oh yeah, fuck yeah. I was raised on that. You say that, Phantasm. I feel like Connor's that way, you know? He acts a lot older than his age. Although, he did, has he got three older brothers, Connor? I think he has, right? He's got older brothers. That might explain it. <laughs> the wild ones are sway. You're right there. I never saw both in the same room at the same time. This is true. But it wasn't Eddie Izzard a bad guy in a film once, was it? It wasn't James Bond, was it? He was a bad guy in a film once, right? The Chris impression is impressive. No side. He he does an impression of me, okay? I am the originator of this accent. How dare you? Two older brothers. Well, that makes sense then. He's got two older brothers. Oh, one older brother. Which is it then? Two older? <laughs> I know he's got an old... He's definitely an old soul. Paul the OG. Yeah. Well, technically Ian is. He's older than me by four months, I think. He was in Hannibal? No fucking way. Really, Kevin? As in, oh, hang on a minute. Are we talking about the TV show or the film? <coughs> huh. 
I did watch like the first season of the TV show. It's very cool, but very weird. Couldn't get into it all the way. But I love Mads Mikkelsen. He's a fucking probably one of my favorite recent actors. My favorite actor of all time, though, is Gary Oldman, bar none. I've, he, all for uh, my life growing up, I've just like everything he's ever done has, has amazed me. TV, okay. Ocean's Twelve and Thirteen. I'm sure I remember him being a bad guy. Was he was a bad guy in something though? Eddie, what were you in? Film. He was in the Avengers. Fuck. I was in Val 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 Valkyrie. Valkyrie. That's that film with Tom Cruise. He was in that as well. He's been in a few films. Didn't realise that. The Cat's Meow. Shadow of the Vampire. Okay, yeah. Eddie's been doing good. That's good to hear. I thought you'd say Michael Caine. Oh, look who it is. It's a cheeky little Lexi. Miss Alt X. You've missed out on some classic clips, Lexi. You've missed out on some gold dust here tonight. I'm sorry. Matt Mickelson has a great acting range. He does. I love his voice. His voice is so good. He has that sort of like shh about him. Casino Royale. Oh, was he in Casino Royale? The Firm. Yeah, that's great. You see Neil by Mouth as well. That's actually a film about his childhood growing up. A muerto. Neil by Mouth. N-I-L by Mouth. I think it's got Ray Winston playing his father of all people. You've got to do a grocery run. No, no worries, side. I may be here. I may not be. Who knows? We're only two hours in, but you never know. Have you seen Gary Oldman's Churchill? I have. It was good. I'm sure Chris will mention it on the next cycle form because I think that's the current book he's listening to. <laughs> it won't surprise me. <laughs> oh, Mads with the villain. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I I'm confused because we was talking about two different actors. I was talking about Eddie Izzard. What was he a villain in? I know. Yeah, I know Mads was. He was awesome in Casino Royale. I think that was the film that made him popular, right? He played an enforcer in Circus. That might be the one random. I think you're right there. Bird Poop, thank you so much for the follow. Hopefully that's good luck for me, falling on me. Welcome, welcome. Hope your weekend's doing good. Pusher. Pusher, was that the film with the guy um, from Star Wars? Was that Pusher, the one with the power to push people or something? <laughs> Perhaps your hippos are not as famished as you claim, Mr. Bond. <laughs> Have you watched any of the Danish films? I haven't, Havish. There's, what was that film about drinking they did? Was it like Hangover or something that he was in? Was it the Oscars or something? Mads Mikkelsen, that, that film, I wanted to watch it, never got to see it. Hayden Christensen, yeah, that's it. Have I seen Napoleon? No. Uh, <laughs> Fabricio, I hear, I hear it's a bit of a comedy. Bang. Yeah, I mean, technically you could have called him the bang robber for that fucking scene. That was horrible. Another round, that's it. Drunk. Yeah, I need to watch that. Is it good? Has anyone seen it? It's one of those films. I need to put that in my list. Um, Actually, when I was in the car yesterday with uh, John, Johnny Moles, he recommended a new Japanese film that I've not seen that I want to see. What was it called? I think I've got it in my safari still. So he recommended a film that's a Japanese film came out this year called Perfect Days. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Laurie. Don't be sad. Easier said than done. But welcome. Hopefully the, the stream can brighten you up. Make you feel a bit better. Or Shimagun, it is. Good to hear. Perfect Days. Yeah, Perfect Days. It's a film that came out in 2023. It's a drama. It's really unique because it's it's from a director that a uh, foreign director, but he, he collab with a bunch of Japanese, and it, it's won some awards already. And uh, I think half of it has no talking in it, so even if you don't speak Japanese, it's okay. Um, oh, you didn't like Fabri didn't really Fabrizio? John was like singing his praise, saying it was amazing. Who's your favorite movie director? You know what, Private. 
I would have said Ridley Scott, but mm, he's had some stinkers as well. He's still one of my favourites, but I, I still... Eh, it's tricky. But probably Ridley Scott would come to mind. Yes, it, Lexi. Lexi knows her stuff. Yeah, Wim, Wim Wenders. V, is it Vim Vendors? I suppose that's how you pronounce it. And it's super weird, though. He came over during COVID, and this film idea was transpired from it. If you go on the Wikipedia for Perfect Days and look up uh, production, it tells you a whole story on how the film came to be. It's super interesting. And uh, definitely a film that I want to watch at some point. Perfect Days felt longer than the... Oh my god, sorry to hear that. Anxious Ace Person. And Vern, thank you so much for the follows. Hope you're doing well. Don't be anxious. We're all good here. We're all friends. We're all friends here, old chum. Everything's fine. I was going to say Ridley Scott fell off hard. I mean, sketch. I don't know what the hell he was doing. I loved Prometheus as a film, but as an Aliens film? What's up with that? And clearly he was pressured into making the next film after more Alien heavy. I was more interested in seeing where he was going with his original concept. It's such a shame that it didn't transpire. I'm very curious about the Vim Vendors film about the Tokyo Toilet Pressures. There you go. That's it, Widget. That's the film. Now you know. Great music. Oh, okay. Ooh, okay. If you get a chance, you should watch some of Anders Thomason. Okay, hold on one sec. Let me jot this down, Havish. I really genuinely do love Mads Mikkelsen. And it's crazy, right? You know the story of Mads Mikkelsen as well. He was at an audition with his brother. His brother, he was... Hang on a minute, what was it? Was it he was a ballet dancer or something? Where he learned to, to do ballet dancing and his brother was the one that was going to an audition and he just decided to come along. He wasn't meant to be an actor. He just he came into it at a young age and was like, fuck it, I'll go for it. And he, he got it, right? Something like that. There's, I know there's this really crazy story with Mads Mikkelsen how he just became an actor. And it's like the best thing since sliced bread. Oh, what's you, Lexi? Sorry, I'm, I'm reading slow here. You was at the, the premiere? What do you think of Scorsese's films, though? I like Scorsese's films. Um, you have to make time for them, though. I, I like The Irishman, but I didn't like The Lemp. I felt that too much stuff lingered. I think sometimes you're just doing it for the sake of doing it these days. There's no need to hold on a shot that long, in my opinion. At the same time, the opposite can be said for a lot of directors these days where they just decide to just go chop, 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 chop. It's like YouTube, it's just nonstop. Because people have such a short attention span, like thanks to TikTok and whatnot. So they, they don't let a moment breathe, which I think is super important too. Alien Romulus teaser came out. Oh yeah, you're right, Lexi, hang on. Um, I won't put it on the stream because I don't want to get a copyright strike, but um, I'll have to check that out later. It looks good, yeah? That's good to hear. I hear what you mean, Peanut. Yeah, Prometheus had a few weird points, like the, the fucking squid. <laughs> the fuck was that? I mean, Godfather Part 2 exists, but I'm not here. <laughs> I said it on my I said that I loved his earlier stuff, but lately it's a bit... It's a bit... And I suppose I lean heavily into sci-fi a bit more. Actually, let me look up. No, actually, no. I'm going to go to the toilet and then I'm going to look it up. We're going to continue this because this is an interesting conversation to have about movies. One sec. I'll be super quick.
I also realised I'd uh, topped up my whiskey and not my water, which is not how I wanted to do it tonight. So. My attention span was short before TikTok. Is that so? I like drive my car movie, but it was long. Yeah, so... Uh, um. Okay, I'm not going to answer that peanut, but... <laughs> what the fuck? Um... Let me see, what, what is the most genre I have in my Apple movies library? Can you not search by genre on this? What the fuck? Genre, haha. -ha. There we are. What? That doesn't make any sense. I said search by genre and it just made everything alphabetical. Why? Ah, here we go. Genres. I think... Okay, so most of my films are action and adventure. But I get confused because like there's films like Tron. Would you consider Tron an action adventure or, or a sci-fi? Have you seen the wonderful story of Henry Sugar? I don't know. Have I seen that? Henry Sugar. Henry Sugar. Probably not if I don't know the bloody name. Henry Sugar? Who the fuck is Henry Sugar? No. Well, Ralph Fiennes. Should be good. Oh, it came out last year. Roll Dell. Interesting. Came out last year. It goes on the list. I did watch Saltburn recently. That was really cool. It's on Amazon Prime now. Sci-fi, sci-fi, okay, sci-fi, right, okay. <coughs> Why not both? Because Apple won't let you have both. Dark from Netflix. Yeah, Dark from Netflix was pretty good. The latest, the recent sci-fi I enjoyed was probably Dune, really. I haven't seen the second one yet. Don't ask me. All I know is that Chris thinks it's like the second coming of Christ, the way he talks. I'm assuming it's going to be similar to the first, where it's good, but a little bit lengthy. And there's a lot of desert, so I'm not visually as pleased as I was when the director made Blade Runner 2049. Monkey, yeah, Monkey Man intrigues me. I'm not sure whether that's going to be good or not, though. Like, I'm like, that could go one of both ways. It could have just be hype because it's, you know, that kind of film. Or, because, I mean, it's meant to be like uh, John Wick with martial arts kind of thing, right? What's your current series that you still watch? Well, Private, I stop watching series because I never have time to finish them. But these days, I tend to go for movies. <laughs> and I don't have a subscription to Netflix. I don't have a subscription to Hulu. I don't have a subscription to uh, Disney+. Plus. I, don't, I, I had them, but I just never found time to watch them. So I'm like, well, why the fuck am I paying all this when I don't bloody watch any of it? So I stopped paying. Gandalf Sack. Hey, that's funny. We was talking about Sack earlier. I've got a Sack too. So there you go. Welcome to the stream. And Stilly Monk. Cecil Bamboos. Hope you guys are doing well. Sorry the uh, shout outs are late, but thank you for the follow. How's your weekend going? What about Fritz Lang M? M? Uh, I don't think I've seen that. Have you seen the film Pi, Fabrizio? You might like that. Pi's pretty cool. <coughs> More influenced by older Hong Kong cinema. Okay. I was, I was interested. Actually, jazzed. I was watching something recently. <coughs> um, sorry. It was uh, every frame a painting. Did a great analogy on Jackie Chan. Uh, if you haven't watched it, I highly recommend checking it out. Because I never knew he did this much with his movies. I never knew he was that involved. I knew that he was passionate, but I didn't realise that he directed did a lot of the stunts. I knew he did the stunts himself, but he like, coordinated everything. Uh, highly recommend, for those that are interested, this video here. Check that video out if you're ever interested in how Jackie Chan made his films and the framing and everything. It's super interesting. Dial M for murder. Ah, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yes, I've seen that. I didn't mind the, um, did you watch the new, 
Um, what was the film with Daniel Craig as the uh, the detective that talks a bit like this? Glass Onion. That was fun. I watched that with my mum when I was back in England. But she she had Netflix. Knives Out. Yeah, Knives Out was the first one, which was fun. Glass Onion, I quite enjoyed. That was quite fun. Knives Out was good too. A German guy decided to redo something in the spirit of the 80s. It's called Last Kumite. Check it out. Okay. See, this is where someone like Hassan says, okay, and he just gets it up and just fucking plays it. And I'm like, I don't want to get a copyright strike, so I put it on my list over here. And I watch it later. <coughs> 12 Angry... Oh, Fabrizio, you're, you're fucking speaking to me now. 12 Angry Men. Every person I've ever known, I've always said, you need to watch that film. That's a classic. You know, the bad thing about this is I have to cover this fucking sign up every time because I don't want to walk around with sack written on me. Like, yes. Because uh, for those that don't know, this is what I used during the shoot yesterday to, to balance my camera on. So that the weight wasn't all on my arms and my back killing me. The camera would sit in here. And imagine that. I'm like, action. Look at my sack. Action. Sorry, can we do another take? The sack was sagging a bit. Action. Doesn't work, right? So I have to cover. I have to cover the sack to save my back. Honestly, I probably will eventually get like a proper... Is it called a cine saddle? I probably will get one of them eventually. Though that would have to come from America. That's a hefty sack. Well, I do declare that's a hefty sack. George probably could. All right, Moeta. Although I will say, oh, it doesn't show now, but my finger was fucked again from that shoot because there was a lot of walking around with the camera rather than putting it down. Oh, how do I pronounce your name? Yayagaki? Yayagaki and hey, it's Lens. Hello, welcome to the, the, the channel. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow. How's your weekend going? Let us know. Endless sack jokes, indeed. Ballard Sack sponsorship went. Well, they probably would have sponsored me, to be fair. It was a, it's a startup Australian company, from what I can tell. They just spammed me with, with videos, and I was like, all right, I'll give it a go. Giguk, is that the famous Grant? Hello, sir. How's it going, mate? Hope you're doing well. I saw you were streaming earlier. A cheeky little stream. I can't always watch Grant's streams because he's always on his, um, he's doing anime stuff, and Japan's like, no, you can't watch that. You're not allowed. So unfortunately, I don't get to watch them. Such a shame. I hope you're doing well, mate. Graves mistake. Hope you're not too much of a grave mistake. Thank you for the follow. Data. Cairo Pre. Dinosaur. Thank you so much for the follow, guys. Hope everyone doing hope everyone's doing well. Parasocial Jason. Good lord. <laughs> hope everyone's doing well. Yeah, Miftel. The problem is that I don't use a VPN. I know I know what's gonna come. I know what's gonna come. Everyone's gonna be like, you should use a VPN. I'm like. I have a VPN. It's just, I don't like the idea that it makes everything slow. What the fu- Uh, that, that's, that's a lot of people, guard. That's a lot of people you're bringing into me now. <laughs> well, welcome to the party, pal. How's everyone doing? Yo, how's it going, y'all? That's a lot of people you're springing on me there. I'm used to a humble 50 people, Max. Hello, people. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, thank you, Garn. Oh, bless you. Thank you, mate. We'll have to go for a wine at some point. Miss you loads. Um, welcome to my stream. My name's Paul. For those that don't know, I am a cameraman for usually Chris. Oh, let him play out. This fella right here dancing. Usually film him as well, as well as the boys, the trash taste lads. Um, we film for them and we get up some stupid stuff. And uh, now I'm here, crazy. I'm on my seventh stream. Apparently after the stream, I get to be affiliate. Everyone's telling me. But welcome, hope everyone's doing. How was the stream? How was the anime? What was the anime uh, Gant was watching? Let us know what he was watching. I, don't, I didn't get to watch it, unfortunately, because a lot of stuff we can't watch on our end of the stream because I'm in Japan and Japan's like, no, you're not allowed to watch anime. 
Not on my watch, son. <laughs> they won't let me. It was traumatizing. Oh dear. Mushoko Tensei. All right, hold on. I need to catch up with what you were watching. It's not another one of these things that's not suitable for work, is it? If it's something that's not suitable for work, then um, it's suitable for Uncle Paul, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Um, oh, it looks nice. <laughs> Am I going to eat my words? This looks nice. Hang on. That was something we was watching earlier. Let's have a look here. A little cheeky... That looks nice. There's nothing suspect going on there at all, right? It's safe, right? It's about a wrecked up... What? <laughs> what? I see one guy. I see... Hang on. One, two, three, four. These are students. Careful now. Don't... Don't even try, you mother huggers. <laughs> I do swear. Famous last... All right. What you're telling me is don't look at the fucking trailer. Okay, got it. Don't look at the fucking trailer. It's gone. He's a DJ. Well... King Fox, what can I say? I, I have hung out with Gaunt and Sydney. I'm interested, right? Well, out of the two of them, who do you think's more degen? Gaunt or Sydney? I'm intrigued by this. This Who do you think? Sid, 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 Sid. I'm not even seeing one Gaunt yet. Sid, 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 Sid. All right, well. <laughs> I don't need to say any more here. Okay. Pete, what the fuck? Where did this come from? Pete? <laughs> oh, I like this one, Mr. Box Eater. Openly Sid, secretly, probably gone. I'm not a Friday man. We'd so <laughs> Well, obviously, I have filmed for Sydney on a few occasions. Um, she actually took the piss out of me, uh, rightly so, because when we filmed for her, the uh, the radio video. I didn't know the band, so I kept calling them B-Radio and it really pissed me off. Yo, we reached a goal over there. Thank you so we much. That's so kind. Thank you so much. Ian is the shape of... <laughs> what is Thank this? You everyone. <laughs> what is this Ian slander coming about? We wouldn't allow that. No, 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 no. That's nonsense. But yes, when I was uh, filming the for the, the radio video, they got very pissed off because I was calling it B-Radio. <laughs> and she was like, oh my god, Paul, you're such a fucking idiot. That doesn't sound like her, but we're going to go with it. I'm not, I can't be too loud because I've got fucking neighbours, all right? I can't be that. Chris is the most DJ in different... Chris? You think Chris is a DJ? No way. Anyway, yeah, if you want to piss off Sydney, I don't know if it works for Garnt, but definitely Sydney. Just call them B-Radio. Works every time. Chris keeps... Oh, you're right there. He does keep talking about how the sausage is made. <laughs> you're not right there. It's a different kind of sausage, all right? Is a degen for cheese? Okay, I'm hearing sausage and cheese. That's a bad combination for like non degen. <laughs> Paul, your neighbor is dead. Don't remind me, bang. It wasn't me, all right? I cook good. The fumes are good, okay? It wasn't me. I did not kill my neighbor. Paul's neighbors divorcing over fights about their love. Why, why are you guys telling them everything? What the fuck? I share this information with you privately. I get a, an audience of people coming in and you're like, oh, by the way, guys, Paul's a killer. His fucking neighbors are dead. Why would you do that to me? You're gonna, all right, I'm going to like, hang on one second. I need to open this fucking notepad now. I'm taking names. All right, you're the first one to go, Peanut, just because. I don't have an allergy to peanuts, but I do now. Shit, Ed. <laughs> Actually, it should be Lexi, but Lexi's been nice tonight. I'm a bit worried. Lexi's being very kind. Paul has connections with a secret brothel downstairs. C can you can you fill me in on this information? I'd like to know about it. Are you the other Paul Ballard? Fuck you, <laughs> Griffin. I am not the other Paul Ballard. How dare you say such a thing? <laughs> if you don't know, there is another Paul Ballard. He's probably locked up still, thank God. He goes by the name Dez, though. <laughs> He's a bit of a naughty boy. He did try to R-word a certain woman, and then he tried to kill someone, I think, or something, or tried to do a hit and run. Not me. It's not why I moved to Japan to get away from all that. <laughs> yeah, 
he's nuts. If you go, if you look up Paul Ballard, he'd probably come up because he used to be on a very, very popular show from Disney. And uh, that's why people don't give me shit, you know what I mean? I can just throw that on, you know. It's like, you don't know about my past. You don't know who I could have been. The ironic thing is that he was born the same year as me, a few months before me. <laughs> Fucking, what is this bollocks? Get out of it. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> what in the fuck? The slander. How dare you? His name was Dez. My middle name is not Dez. <laughs> same person, but different. <laughs> but still same. All right? Are you the Zodiac? Now, what the fuck? Where, do, where are we going with this? Why am I the fucking Zodiac? Your middle name is Daz. What, like the fucking soap? Such a coincidence. It's almost like you moved to Japan just after these instances happened. Yes, rather. Oh, my. It's almost as if you're him. No, I'm not. Bruh. Leave it. Leave it. How dare you? You changed your name from Jack, didn't you? You're wrong, Thunder. That's not me at all. Who killed Pete last night? Fucking Connor killed Pete last night. He was the one that was like, chug, 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 chug. And he started doing the old songs like, oh, I've got a mate who likes to drink and fucking eight, seven, six, five, four. He's the one that started that. Don't come at me. Paul, oh, fucking old Lexi. I, I, I can always rely on you, Lexi. No matter what, I can always rely on this cheeky one here to have a shortcut alt x <laughs> i'm calling you alt x from now on you know actually i should just call you the clipper right you're the clipper lexi the clipper what does the g n k stand for by the way i'm intrigued pizza out of commission he has been messaging me he is awake is that whiskey it is these nuts it is an interesting mix from a guy called sam who you may know on here he does one of the moddings for connor he bought me this blessing very kindly. Okinawa Island Blue Rice Whiskey. Subtropical blend. The only whiskey made in Japan's subtropic. And I must say, it glides down the gullet kindly. Very nice, very nice. In fact, we need a little tipple. Actually, Paul, you filmed Mr. Beast last week, didn't you? Yes. Apparently it was Mr. Beast. I didn't find out until the end of the shoot. So for those of you that don't know, um, I, do, as I, I do film a lot for Chris and Connor, and he did happen to do a little, a cheeky, cheeky little live stream after we filmed the Wacky Weekend for three days. And at the end of that stream, Connor was fucking hounded by everyone thinking he was Mr. Beast. And I still blame Chris for that, because he fucking poked the bear with that. Paul gonna do the peak tonight with those whiskies. Don't even fucking tempt me, pickle. <laughs> That's never gonna happen. <laughs> Although I am feeling a little. No, I've got water here, see? I'm being careful. The Mr. Beast stream was hilarious. I'm glad you called it. It was fun. I, I do feel bad though. But how was it? Nathan, why would you bring up Oita? We don't talk about Oita. It doesn't exist. Um. I feel bad for Connor and his mod because obviously he lost his scarf and his hat. So that sucked. Chris was the one that said he was Mr. Beast. The guy said it first. The guy was like, you know, Mr. Beast. And then Chris was like, oh, yeah, yeah, Mr. Mr. Beast, yes. And then Connor was like, oh, yeah, I'll go with that. Yeah, not realizing what he was about to land his foot in. We were like, that's it. Fucking hell, here we go. Where is it? We like to drink with Paul Cars. Paul, is that, mate? <laughs> I'm not down in shots tonight. I don't care what you say. I'm going to have a cheeky little non-alcoholic uh, non non zero-calorie tipple on top of it. It's not what... Don't tell us the secret, streamer, man. What are you doing? That's between us. Shh. Home brand, Mr. Beast. Yeah, like if he was Mr. Beast, do you think I wouldn't get a feastable? Yeah, that's not happening, Grizzly. I'll time you out before the timer finishes. <laughs> I need that fiber, I do. I need that. This is a bottle full of fiber. That's what this is. 
Yeah, how's it going, man? You get a glam suit. Oh my god. Or do I get the glam shoes? You better not get sloshed. We're going to a German bath. Well, Sam, it's your fucking fault if I do get sloshed. Because look how much is left. They gave this to me two days ago, right? What's the day? Sunday. Yeah, we met on Friday. That's two days worth, right? Friday night. I think I'm doing pretty good. Would you get the glam suit? It wouldn't fit me, but it is a sick suit. Uh, when we filmed it, the, the, the attention to detail is, is pretty sick, you know, like with the little purple tint here, little monkey there, the little like designs. TK, the guy who helped design it, so awesome. Top geezer. Love to hang out with him more. Holy cow, vroom vroom. Are you talking about my whiskey speed or what? Paul has a private jet, it's called Bidet. What does that even mean, Bang? <laughs> What's that mean? One piece looking like looking a suit. What? Well, it's a good looking suit, all right? Are you guys a fan of like the double breasted or do you prefer single breasted suits? I'm intrigued to hear this. I saw that boxer artedly. You work fast. I am half Irish for a reason, Code Star. Blame my Irish nan. My roots are strong. Single breast, single breast, double breast. Nathan, get your head out of the gutter. We're talking suits. Single, single, both are good. What about the monkey shoes though? Did you like the monkey shoes side? Single, double versus single depends on body. This is true, Jenny. It does depend on the body type. You're right there. I prefer, <laughs> well, okay. I prefer breast, fair enough. I'd go single breast, single, single. This is all stuff I'm going to feed back to Connor. Always in the gutter. Fucking, you got that straight, mate. Shoes looked shit. Whoa, come on, man. That's stray fire there. I know your name's stray, but stray fire. Come on. <laughs> Don't do TK like that, man. Is it always monkey shoes? A pog? Pog? There we go. We got a pog there. Would you wear the monkey shoes? Has anyone bought the monkey shoes? Has anyone bought the monkey suit? More importantly, has anyone bought? Joey's apparel. Has anyone bought the shirt? There's something I should say while you're answering this question. Gant, he's got some pretty fucking good fashion taste, you know. I must say, it's a shame he doesn't have like the, the Gant shirt. I mean, I suppose it's a polo neck. He normally wears a polo neck, right? He should, he should like, he does pretty good for him. How did I meet Chris and Connor? Well, these nuts. <laughs> These nuts, 69 fuck. What a name. <laughs> um, so, you may have seen him, you may not. Um, there's a guy called Junk Food Japan, Nick. I was on a TV show, I sang a song in Japanese, I was on it a few times and I won it. And he was the MC of that show. And we became friends through that. And we started filming just before COVID. I, before then, I, I was here. I, I live, I've lived here for 10 years. And before that, I used to sing a lot of songs and write songs for Japanese artists. Unfortunately, like Japanese artists. Oh, there's a nano smile up. Hey. Um, and then I wanted to pivot away from that career and go more into film work. So I started working for Nick and helping him with his gym by filming for his members. Um, and then that eventually helped me film with him. That led to Junk Food Japan, and which is where I met Chris because he saw what we were doing and was like, I like the cut of this man's chip. He's not that bad. He's pretty good at filming. He's not a bad editor. Ooh. So um, he uh, asked me to help film a couple of things with him. And then from that became the Cycle Fun. I met Connor, Pete, and Ian on the Cycle Fun. And the rest, as they say, is history. It's sort of like small world. And then obviously, through Connor, I met Geeks Plus and that. That's where I met Gant, Joey, Sydney, Onigiri, all of them. Very, very blessed. Very, very lucky. You used to watch Nick's fights, Kevin? Now that's awesome. Oh, well, that's fucking sick there. I mean, that must be pretty crazy to see what he's doing these days, right? Gant should release a plain black turtleneck. Like, watch. Yeah, right. I agree with this beer. Why is Gant not releasing, like, 
the black pearl neck. Release it, Gaunt. What's wrong with you? The power of connections. It's not even connections, Nin. It's like the right place at the right time, right? It's like I got lucky because I released a video on YouTube that was me covering songs in Japanese. That led to Japanese TV asking me to fly over to Japan to sing for Japanese TV. And from that, I met Nick. And then with Nick, it led to Chris, Chris to Connor. It just, it is what it is, right? You know? How much editing work do you do nowadays? Do you just hand over footage? Uh, British tournament, I'd love to be able to hand over all the footage to editors so I can just say I'm done. <laughs> um, I still edit for Chris, for now. Although he did, like, manage to secure, like, 10,000 fucking editors on the, on the non-stop north, so I'm pretty sure that he's doing a lot of that now. And by the way, guys, thank you so much for the follows. I really wish I could shout you all out, um, but thank you so much for the follow. It really means a lot. I hope you're having a great weekend. Let us know if, if you want to want to share in the joy. And did you catch the stream last night or yesterday? We did a Van Gang live shoot where we filmed a, a share house that's very luxurious. And then Pete and went and sort of topped that by doing something a bit more special that we don't know about. <laughs> we, don't, we don't talk about that. Shh. <laughs> How long did it take for Chris to trust you with his edits? Um, interesting question side so technically he he knew about junk food japan and and he'd seen that for at least half a year at least um and then i filmed the watanabe ken with him in november and then we didn't really film much after that so i suppose i mean i know he normally says he likes about a year so it's maybe about a year somewhere around that but I, I was more surprised by the fact that he literally just out of nowhere told me to film the cycle phone and then said, you were editing this as well. I was like, oh, am I now? Oh. <laughs> Paul Ballard. No, Peanut. That's cringe as fuck. Don't call me Paul Ballard. That's very kind of you, Beer. Thank you very much for saying that. It's very kind of you. Um, uh, I don't feel that way, but it's very nice of you to say. You watched it live and the rest this morning, that's good to hear. I'm curious about all the editors on Nonstop North. How far into the trip was the daily release schedule plan scuppered? And how did this change the workflow? For Unfortunately, Widget, I was the cameraman. He wanted me to edit as well. I refused. I was like, if you think I'm fucking filming you all day and editing at night, no. Um... I mean, honestly, you just need to go on his channel and look at the upload schedule. I'm pretty sure you'll see after five days it was scuppered. <laughs> Especially because we did that one episode on, um, not Hiroshima, what was the other one? Oh, fuck, it escapes me. Uh, it was a really, really important video that he did. He wanted that to be perfect, so like, and Chris obviously has final say on all the videos on his channel. And he wanted to, Fukushima, thank you. Um, he wanted to make sure that was done right. So therefore everything got pushed back further and further Paul you should reach out to Twitch rep and see if you can skip affiliate and go directly to the partner you have hit the benchmarks except for 30 days um I <laughs> well, I'm, okay Jenny I, I don't know what I'm doing um I need five more streams apparently but yeah we'll see I don't know I don't know I don't know how strict they are maybe the reps are like no bollocks you need to go through the right of passage and part, I suppose part of me the Uniqlo part of me is like I should go up the ladder so I, I could say I didn't have any like hand me ups Hand me ups, hand me downs. What the fuck? I think it's hand me ups. Fuck it. Yeah, we're going with that. <laughs> editors versus streamers, football tawny. Well, what would I come down as redneck if I'm an editor and a streamer? Which team would you think I should be on? My God, while you're saying all that, I've got to go. I've broken the seal now. I'm going to get the toilet. And I'll be back. I'll be right back. <laughs> Bear with me.
The seal has been broken. But we're still here. How's everything going? It was compromised. I was worried for a second there. Just flip the streams on and off five times tonight. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> I don't believe they're all the strict benchmarks. Of the blah, 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 blah. What are we talking about here? What is this? I don't believe they're all strict benchmarks. Really? Because they make it very clear when you open up your Twitch. They're like, you must reach this. CBA, I call you Paul Balloon. Are you calling me fat? Is that... Is, <laughs> Can I call you Paul Balloon? Is that a nice way of calling me fat? I mean, you can call me whatever you want to call me. I don't really have a choice. Will you edit on stream or game on this channel? Mr. Box, I've tried to edit. Uh, no, I've tried to <laughs> I've tried to game, not live, but I need to figure out my setup. I do have my PC down here. I've got my Switch over there. I'm still trying to figure out how I can do it. Um, in terms of editing, it's hard because I need my client to approve it. <laughs> and that's the hard bit. How dare you, Sketch? Pull ball bag? No. <coughs> Maybe pull sack. Pull that six pack pick if they call you balloon. <laughs> Thank you, Lexi. Yeah, I should. I should. You're right. That can be an emote. Yeah. <laughs> Gaming time, so well, yeah. I mean, I do want to game because I want to hang out with Pete and Co. You know, I want to be able to play Hell Divers with the lads. I'm I'm level 22. I, I'm not longer. I'm not a cadet. I like to kill some bugs, but you know, I've got to be able to fucking stream it comfortably. Do you read books, Paul? I used to. I don't get a chance to anymore, unfortunately. So glad there are no mods. Why is that, Lexi? What am I missing? You, you mad lass. Pete's too drunk. Oh my god, Dodge, you saw that stream. I felt so bad for him. Thank you, Nathan. <laughs> I'm glad to think we're, we're synergizing already. It's good to hear, Nathan. That's good to know. <laughs> I do have a mod, technically. It's just like Twitch slash stream elements doing stuff. <laughs> Why don't you look like a gamer? What does a gamer look like, Mr. Box? Do you game with controllers or keyboard or mouse? I'm sorry, beer. I'm a controller guy. Because, now hear me out. My PC is set up to be like an Xbox. I like to put it under my TV and just shoot shit, play games, have some fun. I know people are gonna chastise me for that. But that's the way I roll. Need more RGB in your room? Look, mate. Peanut. I'm not being funny. That's literally my, my room lights that are, are hue lights. The only reason I have them like that is because um, I can turn them off and on and off easy. Most of my RGB lights technically are for work, so that's why I don't have them around me. Otherwise, I'd run out of battery and then I'd need them for work. Yeah, you, you want... Why are you asking me to spend more money on electric, man? Come on. What's that all about, huh? You can send me a tip if you want me to use more electricity. What the, what's going on there, man? <laughs> Paul looks like a human being, not a game. What does that mean? You like... Are you single, Paul? I am, D's nuts. Thank you very much. I am single. Uh, no, I took him. <laughs> what the fuck, Sam? <laughs> Where is this? Keck W. Okay. We're getting some kecks in here. You do have that gamer chair that looks as if it went through. Yeah. So for those that don't know, I bought this when these were the, uh, all the rage. I'm not that, like, proud of my country. It's just covering up this monstrosity. Look at that. This is what it means when you're not an affiliate. The peasant face. <laughs> so we put that, that that's basically Britain in a nutshell really right we just put a flag on it we just hide it with a flag <laughs> hey I've had this chair since 2013 show me your fucking office chair after what 11 years <laughs> 
I don't know why, but you give me sailor vibes. What does that mean? I'm wearing black. <laughs> All secretly a cat who destroys chess. <laughs> You'll get black strings in your... Well, that's why I have this. UK is protecting me. You've had yours for 14 years. Well, you haven't. I know you haven't, Sam, because you live here now. And you haven't lived here for 14 years. Hide the savagery with colonization. Exactly. Black hand. That's exactly how we do it. Office chairs don't... Well, I would love to get a... a what is it? A Herman Miller. I'm pretty sure Gaunt and uh, Sydney use Herman Millers, right? Do they even know what a Herman Miller is? The fact that it costs like a month's rent to have one? They're fucking expensive. Jenny, I think every streamer under the sun would, would love if Herman Miller offered sponsorship. Unfortunately, they don't. <laughs> I think it's one of those things, though, where you should invest in something you use a lot. So if you sit down a lot, or if you go to the bed a lot, you know, which everyone does, obviously, you need to sleep. Invest in something good for those areas, I think is important. A lot cheaper secondhand, yes. I did have a secondhand shop in my bookmarks. I need to find that again. I used to use that. I wanted to use it years ago. What, 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 what? I was talking with Connor one day and he said they're not. Connor thinks Herman Millers aren't expensive. Say no more. Say no more. <laughs> if you think they're still in that peasant life, Think again. Connor is posh confirmed. <laughs> exactly right. If you spend all day every day and then the amount of hours you spend, it's worth it. But now I'm happy with this. Although Pete disagrees. He's like, a oh, chair's a chair. What are you talking about? Is that right, Bang Robber? That's good to know. What are these? Who's got these rubbing hands? Oh, it's this, this is Nathan. Was this you, Nathan, last night, rubbing your hands? Just waiting for the stream to end so you can clip it and go like, oh yeah, this is my bribery right here. I was saying, so this stream was meant to be about me talking about yesterday's shoot. So how many people managed to watch The Van Gang? We did a, an IRL, two videos back to back filmed. Did you love that share house? Did you manage to watch it? How much would you want to live there? If you haven't seen it, I'm sure it's still up on Pete's uh, uh, Twitch channel. He's got it in the VODs on the Twitch channel, so you can watch it there. So basically, Ian set up a great little event, a little cheeky, little cheeky event for us. Like uh, the, the guy that owns those places spoke to him and asked him, hey, I'm, I'm interested in like recreating some content for the channel about helping foreigners that want to come to Japan to have a place they can live. That's a communal area with a lot of Japanese. So we was like asked to come along and film footage of what it's like living in there and interview some of the people that live there and uh obviously ian was like well i have a pete i have a paul pete paul let's get going so <laughs> something like that <laughs> um basically um we got to go around the premises and like my fucking god i honestly i wish i wouldn't mind moving into one to be honest with you i wish i wish i could because like they had a room for music they had a piano, they had drums and guitars, they had a gym, it had, uh, what else did it have? It had office space, it had a full kitchen, fully like, with, they had like the best ovens and toasters, they weren't the shit ones, they were the big fucking ones, big PP, nice one Thunder. <laughs> they had the, the best fucking shit in the world that you could possibly want to have. They had George, that's right, they had a George. If you don't know that, George, there was a guy that was living there from the same area that Ian and I live, Essex small fucking world so um yeah it was great we got to, to interview some of the people that live there 
And I think it was, was it, was it 90,000 yen a month? Could, anyone can confirm that? I can't remember. I think it was like 90,000 90, yen a month. That's insane. Nine, that wasn't nine, 19, not 19. Yeah, so f for context, the place that I live in now, nowhere near the size of that place. This place I live in costs uh, 140,000 a month. So I'm like, I'd, I'd, I'd be fucking moving there. Why, don't, why am I living here? Fucking go there. Meet up with awesome people every night, have a drink, have a chat, practice my Japanese every day. The only downsides that I could find were two. One, there's no toilet or shower in your room. And two, sometimes you want a bit of privacy, you know, it's not so good, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, right, see. I want to shit in peace, I agree. Especially after a night out. You want a bit of your own downtime? It's not so good. And the second one, I can't even fucking remember what the second one was. What was the second one? No toilet or shower. There was another reason I didn't like it. Oh, that was it. No, no. Not, not a reason not to like it, but a reason that it might be hard for some. You have to be in there for six months. You have to pay for six months. I don't know about other places like Australia, they can get a working holiday visa for six months. In England, it can be one year. Some places, if you haven't got that type of opportunity for a visa, you can only get three months. So you wouldn't be able to go there for that. That to me is a downside for it. But yeah. Yeah, six months at once. That's right, Fabricio, there was a place. Obviously, I'm, I'm, in my head, I'm thinking because there was no available spaces. I think there was some places where you could have two people with their own bathroom. So if you've got a partner, maybe you could go there. Or if you want to pony up the money, maybe you could get more. Hey, Wee, how's it going? Welcome to the chat. Hope you're doing well, man. Or woman. <laughs> Funny how the Sharehouse website has a manga on hooking up with others when it's difficult to... Really? No way. Ain't no way, bro. There's a hookup? Well, none of us hooked up, so... What do you mean? Full advertising right there. <laughs> Bearing in mind, two of us aren't available, but yeah. How about ingredients for cooking pool? It's we buy it for own or they provide. Uh, you have to get your own. Obviously, they just they just offer you the best toaster, the best oven, the best cooking, the best utilities, everything. Obviously, you have to get your own stuff. But it was it, for, for ninety thousand yen a month. It was amazing. Great area, great location, not far from like Shinjuku or other places. And to be honest with you, you would often find yourself in a situation where there'd be someone in the house that was a chef that would want to cook for everyone anyway. So you just all go into the lounge and just have a chat, drink, have a laugh, talk about things, try and communicate and learn Japanese and learn English and eat great food from someone that's like, oh, I want to try this dish. Does anyone want to have it? Yeah, sure. When we were there, there was a girl, uh, Kat, we did an interview with her. She was great. She'd never cooked in that kitchen before, but she made brownies because she was like, I fancy making some fucking brownies. So we went in there, fucking best brownies I've had in ages. They were great. How many people was it? It was 120, I think, residents. Can't we just visit there? You can't get through the door, unfortunately, unless you have a mate who's in there. Try and find George online. Maybe you can get in there with George. I'm sure he'd be happy to let you in. <laughs> yes, there was normal brownies, these nuts. At least... The ones we ate were normal. I don't know about Pete's one, because he went a bit off the rails after, didn't he? So maybe Pete's one was a bit special. <laughs> Joke. Not true. <laughs> Fucking cloak me on that. <laughs> yes, Jenny. I know, I know. Just a joke. No, stop it, Sam. It's a joke, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Why would you say such things? How dare you? Let me take that down. Can I take that down? 
Sorry, that's going off. I'll, I'll, I'll lower it for now. I'm totally sorry. We've got all the jingles. I'll lower it for now. But thank you so much for the follows, guys. This is crazy. Like, for, I couldn't ask for a more, like, crazy thing to happen on my last peasant stream, as I'm calling it. The peasant stream. <laughs> the Japanese legal system. Well, Teddy, I just got my fucking long-term residence renewed. The last thing I want is for someone to clip me saying, yes. No, don't say it, because I know Lexi's just waiting there. She's hovering. She's like, oh, he's about to say something incriminating. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. So, let's just say the last thing I want to do is fuck up my application. <laughs> Sometimes, Lexi, you don't understand the power that you have by pushing those two buttons. You could ruin a man's life. Be careful now. Sam, you ain't, you ain't nicking shit. Do you handle spice well? Oh, I like that, Pelican. A cheeky little joke there. I haven't watched the new film yet. I do want to see it. Not a huge fan of him as the main actor, though, because I feel like I feel like for a man in charge of an entire fucking country, he should be a bit more stocky, right? You know what I mean? Lexi is trying to get banned. Why are you trying to get banned, Lexi? What the fuck? There's no clout in that. You just disappear. If everyone bans you, you disappear. Where's the clout in that? DJ Cambom, what the fuck is this? Goofy tunes? What is this? He was no fucking way. Was he really boxier? Is he really like just like toothpick froms? I mean, come on. I'm like, come on, man. We need to get some fucking Captain America or Thor, Thor workout. We need to make him a bit more stocky, you know what I mean? You know, chicken, broccoli, and rice, and nothing else. <laughs> the Sharehouse page even provides the gender range. That's a bit weird. I feel that's a bit funky. I'm not going to lie, very boring game. But the gender ratio is this to this. It's like, obviously, every, no one wants a sausage fest, but still, why would you state that ratio? That's a bit... <laughs> well, maybe they know. They know. They know. Although, <coughs> I will say... Should I, should I admit this? I don't work there anymore, fuck it. So I used to work in a Uniqlo in London, uh, Regent Street. I was the manager of a floor at one point. <laughs> it's, it's a bit syringe, that's very private. So I used to work in Uniqlo, London, Regent Street as a, as a manager of the floors. And um, we had a Japanese boss and we needed to hire staff. And he always said to me, it's like, cute girls, make sure that you prioritize cute girls because cute girls at the front door bring people. So, you know, if she looks cute or she's Japanese, make sure that you let her just go to the final interview before we hire her. I'm just saying, it's a little bit sassy, right? True, it is a smart business tactic, and I'll be honest with you, from someone that used to look at the foot forward the floor, when you have a cute girl saying, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. For some reason, women tend to feel a little bit less defensive. They're like, oh, Oh, she's cute. Hello. And the guy's are like, hey, hey, she checks me out. She likes me. Huh? <laughs> she, she, she thinks I'm hot. <laughs> and so they're like, they naturally just go into the store just because they're getting attention. It does happen. It sucks. It's a psychological thing. It's not against the law, Jenny, here. No, in England, obviously, is this discrimination. Although, fuck. I can't remember the name of the store. What's the store that's um, the one where everyone has to look like a Baywatch star uh, member? There's a certain fashion brand that's like very, very strict about you have to have a six pack and look amazing. I wonder if anyone knows this. It's not Abercrombie and Fitch. Hooters? <laughs> no. 
men and women I'm talking about, guys. Men and women. It's not Abercrombie and Fitch. Although I'm sure I have a, I'm talking about in England. Oh, it might be Hollister. That might be it. It might be Hollister. Let the Chris videos? <laughs> what? Are you telling me that Chris says, everyone has to have a six pack to work with me? I'm just looking up now, based on my old store. Stratford, definitely not somewhere else. I mean, I've already fucking said it out loud, haven't I? <laughs> I was in central London. I wonder if that store, store still exists, because it was, it was quite sexist what they did. And it looks like it's no longer there. What a shame. No, there was a specific store. Oh, uh, another way that I can help you guys to like differentiate it. The entire store was dark. So when you walked in, it was like a nightclub. Primark? What the fuck am I coming back to here? Primark? <laughs> Definitely not Primark. Marks and Sparks? What the fuck? Denny's? What, what the f- What Tesco's have you gone in where the lights are off? I'm a bit worried about your choice of Tesco's now. Hollister. So it must be Hollister. There you go. So when you want to talk about sexism or, or bad like judgments, the, I think that company was the worst because they literally wouldn't hire you unless you had a six pack and you had to be a staff member with no fucking top on. Asda? What the? <laughs> now, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Yeah, me too, Nathan. Yeah, I used to be a member of Hollister. Yeah, yeah, I mean. They always said, Paul, you've got to get the shirt off. You know, the, the, the customers aren't coming in. We need you at the front door. Get that six pack out. Let them in. You know, without you, there'd be no footfall. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> no, I don't. You can't, you can't fool me, Nathan. I know what you was going for. I know what you was going for there. That sounds like my local police station. <laughs> Good God, Teddy. Nights must be fucking wild on the weekends at your place. Abercrombie and... I don't think... Do we have Abercrombie and Fitch in England? I'm doing... Oh, I can't pronounce your name. I'm doing well, mate. Hope you're doing well, too. Akinix? Akinix? You need to tell me how to pronounce your name. Can I call you... Can I call you Tix? 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 <laughs> I feel bad. The, the, the curse of handles. Paul sounded like a guy from Snatch for a minute. Welcome to the real world, Cam Bomb. I think, I think most people would say that, like, fucking I am Snatch. I'm the Snatch now. Someone used to... I, I did watch that recently again, by the way. I haven't seen it in years. Don't, I love the way you say, don't worry, people struggle with my name. Tix, there we go. I can call you Tix. There we go, Tix. I like it. Tix is good. Tix are not good, but... Ticks are sort of like, ticks. That's a tick. Actually, I never told you guys this. Prick top. <laughs> Fuck off, I'm <Muerta. laughs> That's what Connor keeps saying. Brick top reminds me of Paul. So you saying that to me brings my fucking neck ears up. Neck ears? My fucking neck hairs. Fucking neck ears? I'm oh, fucking you what, mate? So shy? <laughs> People struggle with your name. What, Peanut. You bricked up, Paul? Oh, don't fucking start, Sam. I actually, you know what? Bricked up. As a native English speaker, if someone said to me, you look bricked up, that to me, I kind of understand where Pete's coming from. Oh, Abbott, Hollis is owned by Amber Crombie Rich, didn't know that. I would actually think that means someone's fucking like on the syringe and like fucking jacked. Because they're bricked up as in their super light, like brick. Every part of their body is so solid like a brick. Not there. <laughs> Tony, it's just getting started. <laughs> brick house, you need a shit. You don't, I mean, I know, the, I know the term shit in bricks. I know that phrase, yeah. So I'm guessing that's where it came from. But still, if someone said, you look bricked up, mate, who the fuck says that? 
Where did shit and bricks come from? Well, Lexi, <laughs> I think Sam can teach you that. <coughs> yeah, bricked up's like a shred. I wouldn't necessarily say shredded, Grandma Joe, but I would think it's someone that's fucking like on the old fucking proper the Captain America diet, whatever, you know, or the Thor diet. How do you say Paul Ballard in Japanese? Paddy? No, that is not how you say Paul Ballard in Japanese. <laughs> you say Paul Ballard in Japanese, Poru Barado, which is very ironic because I used to sing songs. I used to do rock songs and people used to like me singing love songs. And my surname here basically translates to ballad. So people would call me, say, Paul de Barado. Oh, you songwriter? I was like, yeah, I was like, yeah. So they was like, oh, must be love song. I was like, yeah. Oh, fuck me. Am I missing a meme here, Nathan? Is that what it is? Wasn't too far. <laughs> is it really? Badiado? Mr. Mind Pokemon. Isn't that Connor's favorite Pokemon? Is that why he hires me? He thinks I'm his favorite Pokemon? Is that, is that why? <laughs> Have we finally got the law? Why do you keep hiring Paul? What, what makes you think he's so good? Well, he reminds me of a certain Pokemon. <laughs> oh God, Pete, I did wonder what that noise was. Well, we all know why Pete's live. He's got to make apologies, that's why. Have we discovered a new Halloween cosplay? I hope not. How dare you say such things? Goose the excuse. Thank you so much for the follow. Also, Samuel Boy, Lenry. I'm sorry I couldn't reach everyone else. I has peanut. Thank you so much for the follow. I'm really sorry I couldn't say it to everyone else, but um, hope everyone's doing well. Welcome to the stream. Let us know how your weekend's going. Uh, it went a bit crazy there because um, Gaunt, God bless him, he decided to raid, and uh, I'm doing my best to keep you entertained as long as I can. Because, like, there's not much left. Look, 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 look. That was up to here when we started. Here. I tell no lies. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nathan. Yeah, I don't know why he's live. He should have a day off. Why is he live? Is he worried? Uh, eventually someday we'll be able to be able to say, all right, hop in a call. I'll be able to go over and have a chat with him about it and see what's going on. Shoot the shit. But unfortunately, unfortunately, that isn't the same. Listen to my song. You have a song. Well, maybe we will. You never know. Depends how much whiskey I have in me. Because he's a fucking drip, mate. All right, Nathan, calm down. All right? You can't look. Look, he's my mate too. All right. Okay. You can't talk shit about my mate like that. All right. I get that he makes your life a living hell, but come on. A man who never sleeps. You finished the bottle, are you okay, Paul? No. <laughs> Clearly not. I'm more worried about my neighbours. <laughs> Apologies. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if the next video we see on his video, a YouTube video is just like, I have made a serious lapse in judgment. <laughs> With the hair. He's got long enough hair to make it like Paul Lo uh, Logan Paul, right? <laughs> please do that Pete if not can I film you doing it we need to do that anyway <laughs> I can get we can we're in the country you can I'm sure you can buy that hat oh Stardew Valley isn't there a new update for Stardew Valley oh maybe it is can you imagine what would you do if he went live and it was Yuki on the camera instead of him. What, how would you feel? Would would your natural instinct be like, oh fuck? Or would it be like, hey, improvement, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh, oh, mama, <laughs> that ain't good. <laughs> Sorry, that's that's the sound of Pete being kicked out of the house. <laughs> to be fair, I don't think I don't think Pete would let us touch his stream, so. 
Oh, the real talent is on the screen. God bless you, Blaze, buddy. That's very kind of you. And I'm a peasant. I'm a humble peasant. Uh, MHSNA. How do I pronounce your name? The only reason I have that many viewers is because God, God bless him, Gaunt, the man of anime. Is he the man of anime? So the anime man is Joey. Is he the man of anime? Because Gaunt does anime too, right? What, has Gaunt got a nickname? Apart from Gigguk, obviously. Gigguk? Gigguk? <laughs> I, he, he graced me the anime zone. Okay. Highway to anime zone. We'll go with that. Um, God bless him. He uh, blessed me with, with a raid, so very kindly of him. Gaunt knows what the people really want. He's called the protagonist. I need to hang out with Gaunt again. God bless him. The last time I hung out with him was after we filmed the radio shoot. We went to, I think we went to Torikizaka, actually. Him and Sydney. And those two are just, I'm sure you guys know, they're so perfect for each other. It's crazy. To see a couple like that, they just, they're so good together. I don't know if you guys have seen much of them, like, shooting the shit with each other, just, like, going back and forth. They're so funny. Really, they are. So, um, yeah. Very, very lucky to know them. Toriki mentioned stop, Sam. Sam, stop it now. It's 9.30. There's no more chicken. Chris is eating it all. Not gonna happen. Keep it in your pants. What the fuck? <laughs> what kind of Tory is he fucking eating? <laughs> Does Gaunt only drink wine these days? Why? He wasn't drinking wine when I was with him, Kevin. But I don't think it was an option because I don't think you would want the wine from Torikizoku. I think you'd probably want higher balls. And that's not a joke. That fuck you. I knew it. Oh, he said high balls. Yes, high balls. Gaunt is the massacre. You think so? <laughs> Tory, are you fucking taking a piss, BTK? Are you trying to fucking say something about my Essex accent? A Tory Kizoku. A Tory, ki a cheeky bit of fucking chicken on the Tory Kizoku. All do you know about Dragon? Dragon D's nuts. Oh, motherfucker. Hey, Bruh. gotcha. I'm sure that's what that means. <laughs> <I don't... laughs> he, got me. he got me. Oh, no. Yes, I, I was well versed. I was born in the D's. I was raised. You know nothing about D's. <laughs> Damn, he's changing. Lexi. The only thing changing is your keyboard from the burnout of the amount of all X that you're doing. CMP. See that is it CMP or CP? Is cameraman one word or two? <laughs> I'm confused. Do you guys okay look, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the toilet. Do you think cameraman is two words or one, like Spider-Man? Should it have a hyphen with it or not? Would you abbreviate it to CM? Or would you say C? Let me know. What am I coming back to here? What have we got here? One word, no hyphen. CMP. C the problem is with CMP, if you say man camera, okay. The problem is that if you say CMP, people think of a CM Punk. C 
CP can be associated with bad stuff, true. I mean, Paul can be associated with bad stuff, I guess. <laughs> but CMP's bad, right? It's CM Punk. And I, I, I'm not a wrestler. I don't do wrestling. I don't follow wrestling. CM Punk got cancelled, really? CP is worse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's your favorite Zuma lingo these days? What do you consider? Well, you know what? Let's throw this out to chat. What's your favorite Zuma lingo? And let me see if I know what it means. <coughs> the latest thing that Connor keeps saying, I don't know if it's a Zuma phrase, but every time I talk to Connor and he says, have you got this done? And I'll fry him something. He would just say, easy. The two letters, easy. I'm like, what's easy? You mean okay? He just says easy a lot. And I don't get the reference. Bussin, yapping, easy clap, easy clap. I get. Skibbity toilet. CM Punk is pretty sure dude. Low key eight. Low key eight. <laughs> Am I gonna regret saying something? You're gonna make me say some shit that's gonna get me cancelled, aren't you? Bussin. Where does the word bussin come from, though? Bud, thank you so much for the follow. I hope you're doing well. I'm pre-chicken. Pre <laughs> and truth of the lie. Thank you so much for the follow. Incinerate. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to the stream. Camerusi mixing. Okay. Gat. Gat. Isn't that like gat damn? Like goddamn. damn. Gat. That's what I would say that from. Gat. Sticking your gat up. What the fuck, Sam? <laughs> I should ask Giri to explain the Zuma slang. Old Grandma Giri. <laughs> you got a Sunday roast, Emma. How dare you? That's not fair. Sticking out. What? Oh, God, chat. All right, what are you getting me into? Please look up sticking out your gat on YouTube. Gat means a, like a fucking, really? Oh, it's lyrics sticking out your gat for the, oh my God. Well, that makes sense now. <laughs> what the, f why? There's a grandma that sings it, apparently. <laughs> what is this? Hold on, hold on. What? <laughs> Has anyone seen this? <laughs> Does, do people know about this? Hang on. What is this? Do people know this? Is this a thing? Is this the thing? Sticking out your guyot for the Rizzler. A guyot. You're so skeeby D. <laughs> You're so phantom tax. What? I just want to be your Sigma. Give me your Ohio. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Fuck does that mean? <laughs> what am I what am I watching? So this is the Zuma generation, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what, what, what the fuck? <laughs> there you go, boys. That's your new ringtone. That's what Connor's watching tonight. <laughs> Whose mum is that? <laughs> what, what the fuck was that? And here we are, top up. There's no fucking ASMR on this. The one problem I have with this, Sam, if you're still here, there's no good ASMR in this. Like, let me see if I can get it to sound good. Oh, can you hear that? Yeah, you do hear that, okay. Did you hear that? Do you hear that? The sound of trouble? Paul, it is okay to use Diet Coke in my whiskey coke. What? 
That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Literally what I'm doing right now. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Silly boy, you need to put the mic in a glass. How dare you? This is the same mic that MKBHD uses, I'll have you know. You'll notice I'm not doing it. No rocks, no. I don't. Why the fuck would you water it down, chop? Don't water that shit down. Mind you, I say that. I'm watering it down with Diet Coke, but I don't need to water it down more. That's what I mean. Um, yeah, I don't, you notice that I don't do what the boys do with the whole fucking, like, I'm gonna fucking breathe my mic. Yeah. The SMB, whatever it is, SM7Bs. All you need is a good old shotgun, slightly out of frame. Get in. Gotta stay bricked up, right? Come on, teach me some other words. What's some new words? I need, I need some new, I need some new Zuma words that I can throw at Connor and make him go, what the fuck are you saying, Paul? You know who the fucking Zuma genius is? The one who knows all the Zuma words? It's actually Maylene. Why do they do that with their mics? I don't know. Don't ask me why. Oh, I've got a sneeze. It's oh my God, there's a sneeze coming. Oh. Wait. <laughs> that wasn't done on purpose, I swear. Are we back? Are we back? Are we back? We're back. Okay. That no, wasn't done on purpose. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> um, I noticed the music wasn't playing. Um, for some reason, the music wasn't playing, right? So, um, I opened up the, um, the source to turn the music back on and it just crashed the OBS on my computer. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Can't make that shit up. And I, I, never, I didn't even get to fucking sneeze. Oh, shit. Fuck. <laughs> sneeze the internet out of existence. Fucking hell. Oh. What's the source? Is also a good millennium. What's the source? Fuck me. What's the source? Blue balls sneeze. I don't know what's the source, I don't think. <coughs> I would say what's the source of information. But I'm guessing it's something different. Oh, it is. As in source. Okay. Ball sneeze. To say <laughs> fucking my nose is like fucking Thanos, mate. No cap is a good one. Yeah, no cap, yeah, no lie. I know about that because um, I watched the uh, Coffeezilla on Logan Paul. <coughs> oh, now I'm coughing, mate. And I know that, was it Log Logan Paul was like saying that some guy claimed something and he, and he just sent cap, which obviously I meant that's a lie, so. Bro sold, as in sold out. Car? What the fuck does that mean? Car? Cousin? Car? Or is that like Japanese, like, car? For real, for real, no shot. Okay, Paul has the infinities. <laughs> I might you, apparently, star. Unfortunately, my infinity stone just like cuts out my stream. What the fuck? Low key, really? On the down low. Cousin? Really? Sold as in he felt. Oh, that's cool. Like sold out kind of thing, I guess. Genki desu ka? <laughs> oh, cameraman Paul, has Marcus told you where we're going to? <laughs> oh, sorry. 
That fucking sneeze sort of went from the nostrils down at the fucking chest and wants to cough. Uh, Monshaw Crabs, hello, welcome to the <laughs> channel. Sorry, I'm fucking coughing. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's your weekend been? Uh, he has told me, Sam, I know we've had trouble booking somewhere. Uh, they mentioned bussing earlier. We've got bussing. Let him cook. I like that. I like that phrase, let him cook. That's not a new phrase, though, Mochi. Because, like, I remember hearing let him cook. Uh, well, no, 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 hang on. Not let him cook. It's a phrase I used to use from Joe Rogan. So, just before COVID, and he said, it's cooked. Then something's done. It's like, there's no more left. It's cooked. I like that phrase. It's cooked. <laughs> Paul is allergic to Zuma slang. <laughs> I'm not an affiliate yet, man. No subscribe button. T today is my seventh stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And now I have reached to the gods of Twitch to say, oh, ha, 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 will you bless me with affiliate? And that's where we're going now. So after this stream, apparently I might become an affiliate, in which case a magical button will appear for you. How are you, Paul? I'm very good. Um, I'm about Connor level of tipsy. That's good. Where's the lamb sauce? What the fuck does that mean? Give me the loot? That just sounds like some... <laughs> that sounds like a, um, a gaming... Affiliate is automatic. Well, there we go. Star. Then enjoy my last peasant stream, as I'm calling them. This is my peasant stream. The last peasant stream you'll ever have. Oh my god, we're nearly at five hours. Let's go! Actually, no, not five hours. Four minutes, because the fucking thing died. Oh, does that mean I've got to stream for another four hours? Because I like my, my streams to be succinct. Shit. You have the offline protect- there's offline protection? What's that? <laughs> I like the way you say seven hour stream. I don't know how the fuck I streamed for seven hours that time. How did I do that? What did we talk about? It was, it was after the Mr. Beast incident, right? SV, you've just been... I'm a look. I've been lurking here, but I love your energy. Well, that's that's lovely to hear. I'm glad you're learning things. That's what I want to do. Um, for those that don't know, one of the reasons I streamed was I was upset that I'm the only one that can tell you guys what happens behind the scenes on these shoots because the boys don't really mention it and I'm the only one behind the camera. So I figured, like, growing up, I used to love directors' commentaries and DVDs. So it made sense, why don't I be that for you guys? Like, let's talk about what the fuck we did, how it happened, what happened. You know, so that's why I'm here. Thank you, Starkiller, for, for the uptime. I didn't even know that fucking thing existed. There's a thing? There's a fucking command for this shit? Did all the Pete's mods leave? Of course they fucking did. What are you talking about? Why would they be here? They want to know what shit show he's going to do. Just leave it, I've... Natural. Here's the scary part. I don't need to do that. I can tell you right now. Uh, let me look. Hello, stream manager. No, not that one. You can see my face in that, there's that. I have currently streamed for 29 hours. To be a partner, you need to stream for 26 hours. So I'm already way past that. We've got the followers. We've got the average view. The only thing is, is like, you have to stream this many days. I'm like, do I though? So yeah, trust me, the hours are fine. What? <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's important, I think, to have um, access to director's commentaries because it, it shows you what, what it was like behind the scenes if you want to watch uh the first stream i ever did i have a, a vod channel on youtube i think if you do exclamation vod or exclamation vods you can find it um the first video i ever did on twitch we went through uh the entire of the island video for non-stop north because people were like wondering how the fuck did we survive on that island? And it, towards the, I think I've done a, a chapter so you can go straight to it in that video. It, it, we just talk about what it was like on the island with Connor and, and Chris. 
I recommend using a second bot account for stream. I do have stream elements. I do have a bot on there. I don't know what settings I would need to use, but good shout. Thank you, Mochi. Lovely to hear. It wasn't Lord of the Flies. It was Lord of the Don't Fucking Die. I almost lost a foot. Will you react to other videos? Uh, yeah. Saudi, yeah, I think we can. Um, I would only... <coughs> I think I would only be comfortable reacting to videos that I've edited so that I can help give context to them. Uh, oh, we also reacted to the first cycle font as well. When was that? That's on the VOD channel. I forgot about that. So there's another video where I'm taking notes for the cycle font 2 video, which is still being edited. <laughs> Don't start. And um, I wanted some, some ideas on the next cycle font, what to expect and how we can work with that so if you go on the vod channel you'll be able to see we went through the entire video talking about the experience of it that was the last video uh second last video uh the thumbnail is pretty clear what it is and uh yeah so yeah i do want to do more more um reactions but more more so uh with stuff that i edited because i feel it'd be a bit wrong if it's what someone else has edited because obviously I, I can't give input from a director's commentary point of view because I, I wasn't there um, I know people like to see a reaction on what did you think, maybe, I don't know, but my foot's fine now, Emma, it's all good. Right now my chest is fucking, <laughs> it's just the chest now. Augmented, I have a feeling Cyclophon 2 is going to be dropped after Cyclophon 3. No cap. I just got this horrible feeling that Chris is going to be like, oh, whatever. Uh, the narration can be done after and then we're going to be like well, we'll give the people something they can watch after the Cyclophon 3 is done and I'm like that's not how this works Chris the whole point is to drum up publicity uh, but we'll see <laughs> low diff different obviously diff is different shady that is in not cool. <coughs> Drop early donations with the sucker font too. Yes, I do actually have. I don't know if it's is it active yet. I don't know if it's active, but I do have. Um, let's see if it works. No, it does. So um, exclamation mark IDF. That's where you can go to donate to the IDF. Obviously, if I do stream from the van with a van cam, I'll turn off my donations link and, and just that'll be the only one that's available. Or I might change that to my donations link. So I want everyone making sure that they reach out and give some money to the um, the IDF for sure, 100%. There's nothing wrong with education, Kevin. I'm here for it. I'm, I'm here to learn. Just like, you know, be kind. And don't get me canceled, please. It's the last thing I fucking want. <laughs> Have you ever had an accident while filming? Um, not an accident per se, but I have had a gear fail. So if you look on uh, the RV2, I was filming the boys doing pottery. I think it was day three. Was Didus there? I don't think Didus was there. Uh, we did pottery. And my 16 to 35 lens stopped, like, it would only focus manually from 16. If I zoomed into, like, more, it would stop focusing manually. So every anytime someone wanted to show me something, I would have to get up close. I wouldn't be able to show it from far and zoom in, which sucked. So we had to change over from my lens to Connor's. And I still need to get that lens fixed. Uh, that sucked. It was very lucky that Connor had his, his lens on him. Clumsy coder. <laughs> <laughs> Great name. How often do you go to karaoke in Japan? I, I don't. I don't these days. I used to go all the time when I used to sing for a living. I used to go all the time. These days I don't go much at all. Unless mates want to go. I'm always down for karaoke though. I did do karaoke the other day with... Um... <laughs> Here's a little fun, fun exclusive clip. Let me see. Uh, the last time I went to karaoke was with Chris and uh, Natsuki. <coughs> do we have it? I almost don't want to show this because I know that if I show this, Chris is like, right, you showed that, I'm showing this. 
It was Natsuki singing Bad Medicine. When did we go? It was... It was... Let me look. It was before the video about the two weeks in Japan came out, so that would have been before Nonstop North? Yeah, it would have been before then. There he is. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. I love Natsuki too, he's a, he's a legend. I don't know if you can hear it. I don't know if I can show it clearly, but yeah. Fucking love Natsuki. He's a fucking diamond kid. He's so fun. <laughs> He's so good, man. He's so good. I'll probably put it on Twitter at some point, just for fun. No need to clip it. I'm sure I'll share it on Twitter at some point. I came for the pottery. What are you talking about, Annie? <laughs> Don't you dare be putting words in my mouth. Why? Why? When are you ending the stream? Is that a subtle hint, Hesman, to say, oh, time to ticket, it's time to leave. It is. He said, gotta go, Paul. See ya. See ya, guy. No worries, Daz. Daz, Daz, you? <laughs> no worries, mate. Hope you're doing well. Have a great weekend. And maybe I'll see you on the next one. Six more hours for Paul. Good lord. V Manilk? V Manilk? Thank you so much for the follow. Hope you're doing well. <coughs> we stay in full, Peanut. We stay in full. Is that Peanut Burn, by the way? Is that what that means? Peanut Burn? Or is it Brian? What's what's the, the, the logistics behind the BRN? I'm, I'm intrigued. <coughs> Fuck me, Star. Luke. He, he goes for 17 hours. Not gonna fucking happen, mate. Staying up to a cycle font to don't even fucking try us out. That's just that's just a terrible idea. You're a mod for who? Hang on. What is this? Star Killer, who are you a mod for? Luke, you're a mod for Luke, really? Oh! Is that the link? Star Killer. Luke. No, that's a silly idea. What is the, you know what? That's what we should do. Chat. What is the origin of your names? I'm interested in knowing why you have the handles that you do. Luke Scar Killer would be funny, yeah. <laughs> Peanut Brain. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Thunder TV. Aussie, innit? I love mochis, innit? Why is everyone saying in it? What the fuck is the in it? Why is, is everyone Australian in my chat? What the fuck? Well, this is the smart one here. It's just my name. Is that smart or not? Are you doxing yourself there, Emma? You have two in your name? <laughs> it's your name. South the 17th. No comment. Choco happy. Oh my god, Choco happy ending. What the fuck? <laughs> that, that, yeah, we, we don't go there. <laughs> Born in the UK to Chinese parents. You need to have an. That needs an in it, surely. In it. Dodge Lightyear. England is my city, in it. <laughs> okay. In it is Brit. Yeah, it is Brit. Or Australian. Technically, it's the naughty Brits, right? Aren't the Aussies considered the naughty Brits? I like that though, dinosaur. That's fun. That's fun. 
play on my name, innit? Dan Dan. The only reason I call myself Cameraman Paul is because everyone keeps fucking calling me that on streams. <coughs> it's like Connor's like, oh, Paul, Cameraman Paul. It's like, yeah, we know who Paul is. No, Cameraman Paul. <coughs> Get fucking timed out, motherfucker. What are you talking about? Essex. How dare you? I might as well be British. I grew up around British, Irish and Scottish. Really? Fucking hell. You know all the lingo, don't you? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I can turn this back on now. Mulo Boom, thank you so much for the follow. Vim, Viman. Oh, I've done you already, haven't I? Viman Ilk. Thank you so much for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Paul the Cameraman. They don't call me Paul the Cameraman, they call me Cameraman Paul. Fatal, right? Fatal. Is it? It's Fatal. I call it Fatal. Is it Fatal? I think Chris made you name... <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty sure Connor's the one that... Chris doesn't shout me out. What are you talking about? Connor's the one that always says cameraman... Well, actually, no. That's not true. I tend to find when I'm filming them, they, they start saying cameraman. They just say cameraman, not cameraman Paul. Until they realise they're a bit more comfortable saying, actually, Paul. People know who Paul is, so then they say Paul, cameraman Paul. Usually it's just the cameraman. But Chris... To be fair though, you know what? You're right, you're right. Just just where it's deserved. Chris is normally very, very um he's very, very like supportive in that. He's always like willing to shout out. I mean for for Christ's sake. He credits me in his, his videos. If you look on the uh, description, video by Paul Ballard, he he does that and he, he links to my channel. So like you've got to give him credit for that. He's very kind that he does that. He doesn't have to, he does. He does. He does have to. He fucking does. Yeah. I don't get it with Connor. It's just edited by Mudan. No credits there, mate. <laughs> I'm curious, how did you go from singing to be a cameraman? Well, Kazuma, I realise there's no money in being a singer anymore because people don't buy music and record labels just want a name. Uh, that was one of the reasons. The other reason was I got tired of writing songs. Um, I've mentioned it before, but I was stuck in a loop where people would ask me to write songs in the style of someone else. And I'm a songwriter. Right? I'm used to singing from my heart. So for me, it was a form of therapy. But when you make it a job, they say, I want you to, to write a song like Dua Lipa for this artist. And it's like, that's no longer more fulfilling because you're not writing a song for you from your heart about an experience you have. You're just trying to mimic and copy someone else. So I just fell out of love with the process. And uh, around the same time, I started doing camera work for my friend Nick and just sort of went from there. It sort of grew into something more. Credit should be given. Well, Jenny, you can tell that to Connor. If I, if I don't ask, don't get though. I don't ask him for it, so that's fine. He feeds you too. This is true. Christoph, feed me more. I think we need to start a Connor riot. Get the pitchforks out. <laughs> no worries, Moshi. Thank you for hanging out with us. See you on the next stream. The next stream will be an affiliate stream, eh? Maybe. Depends how long it takes, but ooh, happy days. I really liked your... Oh, okay. Jacket at Arsley, Paul. It, it really reminds me of the movie Wild Geese, eh? Hey. Of course I have. That jacket, so... <laughs> I don't think I've ever mentioned this before, but the reason I bought that jacket is because my fucking jacket stunk after the island of bonfire. It's fucking awful. So I needed the jacket and we ended up, what day was it? <coughs> I think it was, I think it was, uh, I think it was day 12. It was, I, I, I don't think I was wearing it. Oh no, I wasn't wearing it after Connor. So it had been around the Joey period. So we went into a store and it was no, it was called an, an America, yeah, like an American store. And they had that jacket. And I've wanted that jacket for years because I loved Leon, Leon Kennedy's jacket, you know, Resident Evil 2. He wears that jacket. I was like, oh my God, they've got it here. 
and I was like, fuck it, I'm buying it because this this jacket stinks of like fucking smoke from the fire to keep me warm on the island. So that's why I bought it. And now Marcus has one too because he saw mine and wanted it. So now he has my jacket as well. And I, <laughs> the last day we recently we filmed together and I'm so glad I brought my long coat because he brought his fucking jacket and I was like, we would look like an absolute right pair of tits if we both had the same fucking jacket. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> did you ever do any film education? No, I did not. I'm purely self-taught. That's. I feel like it's just easier to get around that way. Do an affiliate stream. All right, Emma. We'll do an affiliate stream. What? What would? What would you want from an affiliate stream, Emma? I'm interested because I don't know what. Is, is that normally a thing? It is American, I agree, Starkiller. And I did have one kid. Uh, Ian and I were in a Don Quixote, and he saw me with a jacket on. He was like, oh my God, thank you so much. You're so amazing. Thank you. America, yay. You're awesome. Uh, that happened in a Don Quixote because I was wearing that jacket. I 100% believe. <laughs> but the way he spoke, he was Korean. So, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> You ate hot dogs, hot dogs in a hot tub? What the fuck? <laughs> Razor driver. It's just a party stream. Well, I'm all out. Well, no, I'm not. I guess I'll have to top up on one of these and have a party stream. I don't know. I feel like I should do something though. It should be like, I don't know. We'll see. I know Kevin, it was fighting words, but I felt bad for him. He's Korean, he's a young kid. I was like, all right, fucking, raise, you know, raise, raise his day, I was going to say. <laughs> Let him feel good. I feel like there's so much information there for filmmaking. You should, yeah, that's true. Well, Emma, that's, it. that's that's how I learned. I literally just went out there. I mean, YouTube is is, is a foundation of knowledge. You can, if you don't know how to do something, or if you want to learn how to do something, someone's done an analysis online, like say, how to film like Blade Runner. You literally just type that in on YouTube, and someone will have an essay on how to do it. But the most important thing is to pick that fucking camera up and go and film it, film that shit, fucking do it. Most people are just sat here looking at non-stop at like revisions and how to do things. Just do it, you know. Go out there and do it. Um, it yes, the, the thing that upsets me is the most. Do it now! I would say it louder, but it is 10 o'clock. <laughs> and I'm, I'm hearing someone doing something outside my apartment. I'm hearing some shuffling. Don't know what it is, but yeah. When I lived in Japan, no one believed I was an American because I spoke Japanese and acted culturally correct. Okay. That's the problem, right? Well, is it a problem? It's not really a problem. You're just conforming, right? I don't, I don't see an issue with that. Zombies? Where the fuck did that come from? Stibbs. Stibbs. Zombies. <laughs> I'm hearing Pete from across that world. Fucking hell. Give me one sec and I'll be right back.
There's nothing outside. Skibbity time. I love it. I need to do something about that. I need to make like a, a fucking skibbity time. Something like that. <laughs> and that is the Discord, the the unofficially official Discord. Because I never agreed to it, but he's made it anyway. <laughs> God bless you. Hello, Uncle Paul. Hello, Tim. You're late. We're about this much into the whiskey now. <laughs> oh, sorry, apple juice. I was bored. All right, Sam. That explains all the talk about the gifts. You just woke up, Tim. What the fudge? Celebrate affiliate with 2310. Well, 2310, I think, has to be the first em emote, hands down. Because I know that apparently you get to do one emote after X amount of subs, another emote. So we'll go up for the ranks. I did make something, though. I don't know if I can share that. How do I share? Before I had all these amazing emotes, where would it be? It would be there. Loading. Hold on. Hold the door. <laughs> I, <laughs> I did a stupid amount at one point. <laughs> oh my god, this is so stupid. <laughs> I was, I was recreating the cat. Do you know that meme with the with the woman that points at the cat on the table? And the cat's just sitting there, disappointed. It did make me laugh. Uh, what am I doing? I'm putting you over there. Put that back on there. Before I fucking go through them. Uh, one sec, one sec, one sec. I did like, this was quite funny. Oh damn. Being a streamer is tough, guys. Why is that not letting me click it? No! Why do you do this to me? OBS. Click on that. I'm double clicking a browser, it's not doing anything. Okay. Oh, here we are. This made me laugh. It won't show it though, I don't think. It will show it on stream. I had one where it had the glasses coming down over glasses. But this made me laugh because it reminded me of the um it reminded me of the uh the Leonardo DiCaprio one. <laughs> sort of like that. <laughs> I thought it was quite funny. I will try and find more because I do want a, a mixture of like animated characters and also ones where it's just like stupid fun. Oh, it doesn't do it. That's interesting. Okay, so it can't show you, unfortunately, but... <laughs> fuck me, this one's funny. What the fuck is this shit? No, I discard that. Okay, so that's showing that. How does one... No. We're on our way to affiliate, boys. <laughs> For some reason, it won't let me see where the thing goes. Where does the thing go? Ah, from here. It's going behind windows. I've got too many windows open. This made me laugh. Oh, you can't see that. It won't show you. Why are you not showing you? Anyway, fuck it. You know what? Everything's scuffed. <laughs> I have ideas. <laughs> I have ideas. <laughs> Let's just say that everything, like, I want, I want a, a hybrid of, like, some fun emotes and things. I don't, I don't want it all to just be animated. I think it's fun when you have like an actual person in a picture. So I think a combination of the two would be fun. 
Sam, I don't trust the Discord. The Discord is very scary. I don't like it. It makes me very worried. Do you film for Sydney as well? And if so, does it, does she make to participate in all her crazy ideas? Kazumu, the last video I filmed with Sydney was the Bradio shoot. Um, I haven't filmed with her since. Has she done much since? I don't know. If she has, then maybe I made a bad impression, I guess. <laughs> um, no, I haven't, I haven't filmed with them since. Um, I know that a lot of the work that her and Gant do doesn't require a cameraman. Which is one reason that's quite like tough to, to deal with because like they just sit down in the chair and a lot of it is to do with the editing like reacting to stuff which makes it harder yeah so also she has access to my calendar so she can see any time that i'm available so if i'm not available they probably just don't book me straight out <laughs> You don't like us? What do you mean? What have I missed here? What is this? I'm actually awake for a pool stream today and not working for a church. Hey, welcome. I work in mental health during crisis, so there's no crisis. That's great. Today's going to be, it is going to be a good day. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad you're doing well. I'm going to scroll up here because I feel I've missed some stuff. A sing it's not a single image GIF, Fabricio, okay? It, it, it was a GIF that had fucking glasses coming down, but for some reason it won't show on that fucking... If I type, if I go to my reaction screen and try to add a browser, I click on the plus sign and nothing happens. So I'm guessing OBS is like tapped out and is like, you know what? If you want me to work, you need to give me a timeout by closing me and opening me again. And I know if I do that, it's going to close the stream. So we don't want to do that. <laughs> she did some videos going to bars so i did film the video this was i think this was the, might this might have been the first time i met gaunt actually i think it was um the video of her and gaunt in osaka i filmed that and that was tough because i felt sorry for gaunt um Another reason why I wasn't on the RV trip because I was also filming Sydney's video of, of Gant getting drunk after over three stores. And immediately after that shoot, he had to go on a Shinkansen on the train to get to uh, wherever the RV was. I did call them B-Radio, that's true. That's true, I know. My bad. If you want to piss her off, call her that. <laughs> Louis, what if I told you that this was... A Mac Studio. It's not even a fucking PC. Although technically PC stands for personal computer, so maybe. It's all right, Starkiller. It's not that bad. I mean, I'm having. I'm at, well, I wasn't having any issues. I've. Ne this is the first time I've had issues. One out of seven streams. This is the first time I've had an issue. That's. I, I'd say that's a win. It's not bad. Who was the first content creator I worked with in Geeks Plus? That would be Connor for the Cycle Farm. Uh, it was a good time. Uh, very, very unique experience. Do I want another bottle of whiskey, Paul? No. <laughs> good, Sam. Although I, I probably will get one myself to celebrate being affiliate. I'm worried because I don't want to drink before the Cycle Farm. Hungolia? Hungolia? Is that Korean? Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a lovely hol uh, weekend holiday. Weekend. Let us know how you're doing. What another bottle of whiskey, Paul? Uh, that's good for OBS. Is it good for OBS? I don't know, Emma. Is this a good standard? Did I apply for affiliate? Tim, Sam said that affiliate just straight, straight up bumps you into it. Have I worked out? As in, I've done a workout with junk food, Nick? And his name's spelt without the K, by the way. He gets upset. People keep spelling his name wrong. Technically, his name is Nicholas. 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 
So whenever he sees the K, he's like, actually, my name's Nick without, without the K. <laughs> no, I have not worked out with him. I've worked, I filmed him working out, but I wouldn't work out with him, no. We don't do the same type of workout. He does CrossFit, I don't do CrossFit, so. Try to carb low before the cycle. I'm doing a good job of that, Fat Tam. Gonna be fat fucking cameraman Paul by the end of this week. You're right, Starkiller. Mac is always a bit funny. I know that permissions in Mac are a bit different, so it makes it harder. Love Deluxe. What a great name. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Let us know how your weekend's going. Hopefully full of love. Who more picky to work with, Connor or Chris, when it comes to shooting it? Oh, that's an interesting question, Kazumi. Or Kazuma. Um... Surprisingly, of the two, I think Connor is more organized. If I ask him what we're doing, he can send me a, a breakdown. Chris is very like meh meh. So probably Chris when it comes to organizing, but being picky, I think Chris is more picky because he doesn't want to repeat the same thing twice. Hence, another reason why the Cycle Fun 2 video never came out in time is because he didn't want to do another video on the same subject because he feels like it's wrong to repeat content. So probably Chris in that regard, in terms of picky, I would say. Paul's going to carb low because he won't eat <laughs> for two weeks. <laughs> oh, I fucking hope that's not the case. <laughs> Drink and eat. Oh, that's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. I should just get some like fucking burgers. You know, Chris would fucking have my head if I did that though. How did Onigiri's food actually taste? Oh, you know what? Jokes aside, I was very fucking surprised by the spotted dick that we had. I did not expect it to come out that well. Fuck me, the, the innuendos. Uh, it, it was very, very, very well received. <laughs> I need to find a good gym gym near me it seems a lot of them are like really you live near a national sports set but you don't have a good gym that doesn't make sense Jenny you know like this is not even a joke this is true you have no idea like the, I should really point the camera into the van so that every time we stop you can finally see Chris littering the fucking van Every time there's a pit stop, he just fucking chucks things in the van. And Ian's like, all right. <laughs> Every morning, it's like a full trash bag. That's right, Thunder. He learned this on the first uh, journey across Japan. Yeah, Paul, you have to fill a weight bin? What the fuck does a W8 bin? What the fuck is that, Starkiller? Weight, a weight bent, a weighted bench. Is that what you mean? Oh, a tax form. Fuck me, don't start home with the fucking taxes. We already fucking filled them in. Fuck a duck. I don't need more taxes. See, that's what I mean, right? Sam told me, oh, no, 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 mate. When you fill those fucking ticket ticks, it'd be easy. Job done. You just fucking get it in an hour. It's like, well, how the fuck did you have to do that, Sam? How did you not? Hey, look at this fucking motherfucker right here. Look here. This, this, look, what? Oi, oi, oi. Yeah, but you was like, oh, within an hour, you'll be fucking affiliate. No problems. No worries. Cushy, mate. It's like, well, hang on a minute. They're telling me I've got to fill out a tax form now. What the fuck? I claim all of my income on taxes, that's not a problem, but if I have to fill out a fucking American form, that gets tricky. Anyway, I like the idea that Starkiller said. Was it Starkiller? No. Someone said I should eat junk food in front of the boys at the van. I like that idea. <laughs> Actually, fun fact, my, my next subscription for the base food comes on the 31st. And I'm not here. I'm fucking annoyed at that. I wonder if I can move it forward and try and make a box in the back for me. It's not going to work. If I have a box in the back, Chris will find it and eat all my fucking food. <sighs> Tim, stop. <laughs> you don't need to do that. Chris will buy Max every day. 
Did you set up a trash bag? Uh, Ian did. Every day Ian had one. No, 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 no. <laughs> Fuck off. Tax <laughs> man. So, oh, mostly just managing the live streams with the cyclophones or managing troubleshooting the gear. I don't touch that. And with that there, that's, um, that's to do with um, this guy here. He handles this shit. I handle my camera for Chris's video. Although, I'm going to put this out there now. I want to put this out there now because I want it to be known and I want everyone to rise up for me. On the final day, we had a moment, we, we was talking about it and Connor was like, I would like Paul Jack into the stream and film on the final day for the final moments of the cycle form. And Chris was like, no, 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 get, get that camera around and do it. Jack into the stream as in like, use, get rid of this fucking shitty little dingy camera and let me jack in with my camera and have the final moment from my full frame camera. So the final moment would be my full frame. And Chris was like, no, no, no get, get, get another cameraman to do it. He's my cameraman. And I was like, it would really suck for the final moments after two weeks on the road if some random person comes in and suddenly, because no one's going to focus on my camera at the finish line. Let's be honest here, okay? Two weeks, no one's looking at me. Whatever the camera has the live stream on, that's where everyone's going to look, including Chris. And I know it's in the minute, but it fucking is. So I'm saying to Chris, mate, like, we can get another camera in for extra angles and stuff, but like, let me fucking be there with you guys. Let me film the final moments with the live stream. Everyone's together, right? Jack in stream. Look, I'm being serious here, guys, and you're just fucking making cum jokes? What the fuck? I'm like, do you want me to be pushed aside? Is that what you want? Two weeks on the road with nonsense, and at the end of it, they're like, eh, fuck it, we'll let someone else take all the final moment with a full frame. I'm like, really? Tim, if you think Chris is going to focus on anywhere else but the live stream on the final day, do you have, have you ever watched the live streams? Trying to get him to finish it on my camera? Everyone is focused on the stream camera. I mean, come on. No one's going to focus on like, all right, stop the stream now. One sec. We need to make an outro here. He's not going to do it after two weeks. So I'm like, Bro, let me let me have let me have the stream cam. We can get as many cameramen as we need to come in and help. But let me take that stream cam and let us celebrate together as one. It's cam, not fucking come. Fuck me. Children. I can't take you fucking anywhere, can I? <laughs> anyway, should the time arise, you guys let me know, or s fucking pipe up and say it. I feel I'd feel bad, like if I'm like at the end of the day, we're at the f like the finish line, wherever it is, and they're like, "All right, we're going to focus on this person now." Well, I'm fucking stuck on the side, like, "All right," and everyone's celebrating over at another camera. I'll be like, "Oh, okay." I'd volunteer to help you if you need an extra hand. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. But for now, I'll say it feels bad, man. But we'll see. Sag camera. Yeah, you can. I can like just. I'll just get some like a bottle of water and just pour it so it looks like rain.
It's chat. We are children. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hope Natsuki joins one day in cycle form. That I think Chris said something about that. Did he not? Let me have a look. Hang on. Uh, that would be the last IRL stream of Connor. Because I, I don't want to be the one that says anything that shouldn't be said. <laughs> Actually, hang on. <coughs> Wait a minute. Oh, I don't think I can do browser, can I? I think my fucking OBS is being shit. Yeah, if I push, the, oh for fuck's sake, if I push the plus sign, it won't do anything. Uh, do I have a scene that has one in? No! Oh, that sucks. I've got no way of showing you, like, the stream to see if Chris said it or not. Oh, OBS, you fickle friend of mine. Let me just quickly, let me just quickly. Let me quick zoom through this. No. So I'm just going through the IRL stream we did on Connor's channel. Ten days ago. Ten days! It's been two weeks already, good god. And they do release a lot more spoilers than I expected. Especially for the video we just shot. They literally just fucking tell you the video. Oh fuck, I can't be bothered to look. I feel bad not seeing the chat. Anyway, uh, I'm pretty sure Chris mentioned something there. Uh, have a look if you want to see what's coming. Oi! Haha. Oh. And um, yeah, he, did, he does mention something. That I think is a slip up. I've not licked shit, Tama. You, you, can't, say, <laughs> you can't say that. Fabrizio, my god. Are you okay, man? I feel bad. You all right? Sorry to hear that. If it's a joke, then ha 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 ha. Not funny. I feel bad. By the way, oh, you got the feather razor. Oh. Right? Still faster than a razor. Good to hear. Hope you like it. Yeah, it broke, Emma. It sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, there was no crisis today. I did get a call about someone claiming their roommate ate all their food on a live stream before. Well, that certainly wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, let's not go there. Uh, I don't want to think of my diet. I remember Gump, maybe Joey and Pete. Not sure about Natsuki, though. I wouldn't be surprised if he jumped in last minute. Um, I'm pretty sure Pete said, uh, Chris says something. I remember Chris saying it during the Sendai stream. There we are. We can quote beer here. Chris says something. I do remember hearing something myself as well. I remember filming it and going, what the fuck? Why are you leaking that shit? So maybe <coughs> there might be more surprised guests along the way. Connor also leaked something on Pete's stream last night. Yes, we were speaking about that earlier beer. Um, it's the first I've heard, and uh, who the fuck is filming that? We shall see. Uh, ha, ha. After a full day's work doing another stream. Oh, yes. Let's make it triple pay, shall we? It'll be you! <laughs> Randomized passerby. Hello, welcome to the stream. Connor and... Connor indefinitely. Of course it fuck it is. Chris at first said he was only doing two days of a cycle on Sendai stream. Did he really, Jenny? I can confirm. That was a lie. A lie. A lie. A lie. 
Chris is there for the whole damn thing. And if he's not, well then God damn it, he made us all a fool. Because I'm not getting on that bike. Gaunt gonna cycle for two days. PewDiePie two days is the confirmed stuff. Then secret, secret stuff. Well, Norway, you've just shown me that you didn't watch the IRL stream with Connor in Sendai because more stuff was revealed there. To my surprise. This is before they were even fucking drunk they were saying shit. And I was like, bruh. BearMD, thank you for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Let us know how your weekend's going. Get Ian on the bike. Kevin, we'd all love to get Ian on the bike, but unfortunately, he has to ride the van. He's got the one clause that can get him out. Plushy Melon, nice name. Thank you so much for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Let us know how's it going. Cheers, Paul. Love you. Well, thank you very much, Bear. It's very kind of you to say. How are you guys going to film Chris Connor and PewDiePie? PewDiePie, yes, this is what I'm worried about, Fabrizio. I've said this already. PewDiePie's not going to wait. He's not going to wait for anyone. Uh, there's, there's zero chance of me getting a drone shot with all three of them. Or anyone for that matter, because it was hard enough getting a, sh a drone shot with Chris and Connor, because one of them was always far behind. So getting three people, I think is, it's, as the Japanese would say, Murida. That tends to be how Chris projects go. <laughs> yeah, that's true. A tandem bike? You would want them riding on a tandem bike? With the guests on the in the in the, <laughs> in the side. <laughs> that would be pretty funny to be fair. We did joke about me and uh, Ian. Ian being in like the bikes that have the little the side bit that I could sit in and just film the guys cycling on the side. That would have been funny. But yeah, it, it wouldn't have worked, but yeah. When are we getting you on the back of a moped? Filming like we like you see the bike racing? What's that thunder? The last time the, the was the most scariest experience I ever had was um Journey Across Japan, Frozen Frontiers, when we filmed the boys uh Joey and Pete uh not Joey and Con uh, Chris uh with the with the, the dog sleds. And I was with the guy that had the fucking ice sled thing or the snow the snow snowmobile and i had to be on the back but i had to face that way behind like he was this way facing that way i was this way and the guy was not fucking letting up on the pedal <coughs> i nearly fell off that at least six times no fucking lie uh that was hard i had to like muster as much fucking fire strength as i could to keep on that fucking thing i don't think we ended up using any of the footage because it was like this the whole fucking time <laughs> that was scary that was really scary Catherine Code. Hey, welcome to the channel. Thank you for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Let us know how your weekend's going. Get one of those really long bikes with three seats on it. That could work. We should really. That would be quite funny for one day. That could be fun. One thing I will say though is that I think PewDiePie, Felix, I think the day he arrives, he's arriving a little bit later than usual. So my, my uh, little drop of like spoilers per se for you guys would be if there's a particular day where the stream maybe is running late and things seem to be a bit like oh well, where is everyone everyone's running late it might be because someone's having to get where we are getting and it's a lot harder to get there just be aware of that the day that he he's joining i know that he has to arrive late You know the cycle races, they have a guy with a camera on the back of the moped hold, holding the... That was me then. Yeah, so that was me during the fucking Frozen Frontier. Actually, I'm very, very happy. Beer, really? 2000? Oh, mate. Fucking... Bella Bong. I don't have like a crazy like, ah, we're doing crazy now. I don't have any of that, unfortunately. But uh, thank you so much, guys. It really means a lot. 2,000 followers after, what, two days of streaming? That's fucking amazing. Who'd have thought? What a world we live in. 
I swear the camera department goes through unknown levels of hell just to get the good shot. You have no idea. Most of it involves bad knees. Because no one likes looking... Well, everyone doesn't understand that perspective of looking low. Uh, Fabrizio, why not attach some cameras to the bikes? With that, you could have the PewDiePie angle. Well, Fabrizio, it would require the talent to push record. And eight hours? You'd need to replace the batteries every, what, two hours? GoPros are notorious for overheating. Uh, Chris does have a camera. You've seen some shots where it's like time lapses. He has a camera. Just remembering to use it. Oh, I love the shit talk. I can do that. It's great. <laughs> One day I will be able to say I was here when he started. Yeah, that's never going to happen, mate. Don't worry. I'm not going to get that big. Are you guys keeping an eye on the weather forecast for the next month? Lexi, welcome back. How's Pete's stream doing? I know you're there ch poking in. Um, we're not checking them yet because it's Sunday and usually the weather forecasts are like five days in advance. So we're going to wait with out a little bit. Once we find out, we'll know. But I am worried about weather always, because if I, if it rains, I can't fly the drone. That's the worst thing for me. I'm sure the talent can do it. E.g. Pete knows how to hit the record in his lab pack. <laughs> well, very boring game. Fun fact, Pete didn't know how to hit record on his lab, so... <laughs> did not. He did not, in fact. It is not, in fact, the record button. So, and that's why, if anyone was watching the live stream, I taught everyone how to fucking do the the, uh, the record button there. You was on a shoot once doing surfing. Dangerous, dangerously high tides. Sounds, that sounds kind of cool, though. Dangerously high tides. Unfortunately, I don't know anyone that can surf in my crew. Why would you want yakitori delivered, Sam? Fuck that. No way. It's gonna be shit by the time it gets to you. Oh my god, you're a mod? Someone made you a mod, Lexi? Bruh. What the fuck? Why am I getting the abuse when you've got Mudan giving you a fucking VIP? Someone's making you a mod? And I just get spanned with Glizzy Paul? What the fuck? Sussy much? <laughs> what, what is this fucking slander? I am shooketh. I like the fact that she doesn't say who it is because she doesn't want to get like cancelled. <laughs> You're a mod for Maylene. Well, that makes sense. Now, here we go. It all makes sense now. Malin has a particular set of skills, especially when it comes to the brain. <laughs> we love Malin, don't lie. We love Malin. Are you scared of ever losing a drone? Yes, I am. Every fucking time we have to film near the ocean, I get scared because the winds on the ocean are very bad. I need a mod for Fabrizio, don't we all? I'm not fucking making Lexi a VIP, let alone a mod. I mean, that'd be the, the greatest fucking twist in the history. That'd be like M. Night Shyamalan fucking types of twists on like Twitch fate if I made her a fucking mod. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Nobody saw that coming. What? What? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, the old fucking glizzy mod. She probably made that fucking gif for fucking, yeah, that's an emote right there, Paul. We're accepting that straight away. I'm like, no, no, we fucking aren't. She could be the best mod in the business. It's charming. What the fuck? Do what? Chicken skin was my fatty favorite yakitori, really? I, I, I'm not Chris. Chris would be able to give you a complete rundown of top 10 best fatty chickens. Actually, no, he wouldn't. Because I think to Chris, if it's chicken, it's just protein. 
Because every time we talk, it's like, yeah, I'm on a good diet. I'm like, are you really? It's like, yeah, it's just yakitori, isn't it? I'm like, that's not good. Especially when you cover it with cheese. Made in the sweat talks, private. Don't even go there. Don't get me started. I don't need to know. I don't need to know. I don't need to know. I, don't need, to know. I need an adult. <laughs> Mizki Daniel Amore I. Hey, that's a great name, Amore I. Adam Sizzler. Thank you so much for the follows, guys. Hope everyone's doing well. Let's know. How's your weekend going? What do you think about making Lexi a mod? It's a bad idea, right? Who the hell would be stupid? Who the fuck are you modding for? I'm so worried about that person. It's very dangerous. Oh, no, well, Sam, technically this. I can like time you out now because you're mentioning stuff that's not English. It does say on my chat rules English only. I learned this from Connor. Regardless of whether I can understand it or not, other people can't. So that's very, very naughty of you. <laughs> Worst part is that I do take mod duty seriously, so I am less me. What the fuck, Lex? Oh, so I'm your fucking calm down. You're like, yeah, oh yeah, I can shit talk Paul. Because we've got to be serious with everyone else. But Paul, fuck yeah. <laughs> Let's go to town. <laughs> That's what it is, is it? I'm your fucking punching bag. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> Probably take it more serious than Nathan. Bless him. I feel sorry for him. He's got shit talked all night. How did you feel about that, Lexi? Did you watch it last night? Connor taking the piss out of his Welshness. Push that time out, bun. I dare you. Yeah, I will, Cam. Don't you worry, Cam Bomb. Not Nihongo Jozu enough, am I? <laughs> Hi, John. Yes, I'm still on. I don't know how many hours I've been on. Hopefully someone can tell me, because unfortunately the stream crapped out because my OBS went to shit when I tried to, like, fucking share a browser. And now I can't share anything, so I'm stuck on a full screen for the rest of the bloody stream. I can't fucking show you guys what I was doing. It sucks. Anyway, I'm doing the fucking chair dance now, as you can see. When you see me doing this, that means like, oh, Paul wants to go to the toilet. That's my fucking wibbly wobbly, timey, wibbly wobbly, timey wimey chair dance to, to hold in the fucking, <laughs> hold it in. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go to the toilet. I'll be right back. <laughs> Bruh. Fucking hell, hello. I come back to essays galore. What's all this? Paul Wiggle. <laughs> Who speaks Welsh? What? I don't speak Welsh. That's the ancient language. 
four hours and 48 minutes. All right. Well, I'm still feeling good, although I do wish I had more whiskey. But yeah, other than that, I'm good. Sam, can I get you on speed, doll? <laughs> have you got a car? <laughs> uh, sneeze of death time. <laughs> fucking hell. That's what it was. That was it. It was when I sneezed. That's what calls the fucking time out. I, no, but I didn't sneeze. You didn't fucking see it, but I didn't sneeze for fuck's sake. I wanted to sneeze and I couldn't. <laughs> the fucking timing of that. <laughs> Why is it men have a need to toilet wiggle? I'm sorry, all right? We do it. We fucking... It's, you know, it's the toilet dance, you know? <laughs> it happens. Shake twice for Texas. <laughs> Please stop levitating my desk. I don't know where we're going with that, but okay. <laughs> Are you bricked? <laughs> or is that front bricked? Back bricked? <laughs> you were quick. Did you wash your hands? I did, Sam. Where's my whiskey? Because P is stored in the balls. P what? <laughs> That's confusing me. What? You blue nosed? Blue nosed? What the fuck? I don't know what that even means, but okay. Oh, though, chat, guys, I don't know if you've ever had this scene before. You probably have. I do wash my hands, don't worry. <laughs> Ever since COVID happened, I made sure that even when I get home, every time I always fucking soap and shit. <coughs> Jouster, by the way, Jessix. Uh, thank you so much for the follows, Daniel. I think I've done you. Mizki. That's not Miskif, but Miskif. Mizki. Thank you so much for the follow. I hope you're doing well. Look at this. Look what happened. Look, 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 look. You can't look because I can't show you. Ha ha. Uh, don't dox yourself. Don't dox your fucking email, Paul. Uh, I'm going to let you read this and you can figure it out. You can't read that because it's too bright. <laughs> One sec. Let me see if I can bring this down for you guys. Is that show? Hey -oh. I made it brighter, didn't I? Fucking hell. Have you tried using the camera backwards? I wonder if you can see that. There we go. That's what you wanted to see. Brap, 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 brap. There we go. We're at the lads. You're in the big leads now, son. Sorry, peasants. I must leave. Uh, I don't know what the fuck to do. Get started. You know what's going to happen. I'm going to say get started. First thing, W8. Personal tax. Um, you must enable two fat. You know what? I'm not going to do this on stream. This is a very dangerous thing to do on stream. What will we do now? What is life without peasant Paul? Thank you so much. Obviously, I got this because you guys are fucking awesome and you stuck around and helped me get here. So, like, you're the fucking goats. Fucking thank you. It's so awesome to think that I just went live one day. I think it was, what, two weeks ago? Not even that. I don't know, fucking hell. And I was like, fucking, let's just shoot the shit and have a chat. And I've literally just chatted every time, right? The goal is now to beat Chris's Twitch channel. <laughs> That's impossible, Thunder, surely. You must submit tax forms. The most important of which is, oh, muck tax. Fucking hell, Tim, don't remind me. I came back to Haughty Paul. That's right, side. Thank you for the claps. Thank you, thank you. Well, yep. Yeah, show us the QR code. All right, yeah. Let me just, um, let me just, uh, right here. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm not fucking noticing my shit. Do you want my stream key? <laughs> so hey, we got some some emote business to be dealing with, and we'll go from there. But thank, honestly, thank you guys. You're awesome. You're the reason that I can actually just sit here and do this. 
you know, it's fucking awesome. How much are you selling your affiliate for, Paul? Not a bad idea, John. Let's wait for the cycle for and I'll start shilling it, yeah? <laughs> That's what the van cam's all about, right? <laughs> Not Chris only has, well, I would say only has 3,000, but he doesn't stream on here, right? I keep telling him, why are you not fucking using Twitch? It's a separate, like, fucking thing, but he doesn't. Oh my god, it's Mithu! It's the Tail Lord! Now let's get drunk like Pete did yesterday. I could. I'm in the mood to. But it would mean I would have to stop the stream and go to Lawson to get more. And I don't know if you guys would be willing to wait for me for that, unfortunately. So, maybe not. <laughs> but, seriously? Bangarang? As the kids say in Peter Pan land. I <laughs> wrote to Lawson, let's go. Fuck no. <laughs> like, yeah, let's just dox where I fucking go to. He does use YouTube to, str to stream, you're right. You wouldn't wait. Don't fucking lie aside. If I was missing for like 30 minutes, you would not wait. Partner Paul. This is what Pete was telling me. He's like, don't fucking go affiliate, you bell end. Just go a fucking partner. I'm like, that's not how it works. Is that what Pete did? Did he just say fuck affiliate and wait? I'm pretty sure, don't you have to enroll? You would. But what about the, how many people are watching now? Can anyone tell me how many people are watching? So would the 600 people wait for me to go to Lawson and get a drink to celebrate? I don't think you would. I think you'd be like, oh, for fuck's sake, this is boring. <laughs> oh, really, John? That's new. See, maybe. Maybe means no. Everyone knows this. When you say maybe, it's like, do you want to hang out like, and have some pizza? Maybe. That's a no. That's a 100% that's a no. You underestimate our power. Was that was that a uh, Anakin Skywalker quote there, Lightyear? See, I would leave and come back after a while. Sure, plushie, you say that now. Everyone does love this screen, though, for some reason. I don't know why. I mean, it is a nice screen. I kind of like this screen. You know, I could sit sip on a, a, a tea there. Although I will say that that cup does look like it has a bit of um, what's that drink that the guy that did the Jack the Ripper film have? Absinthe. That looks like a cheeky cup of absinthe to me. I say, I say, I say. That doesn't necessarily look. <laughs> so I mean, it's a bit cheeky. Only the sip still is absolute. <laughs> All right, well, call me a sip. The force at the sink on the top of the toilet is that kind of wild. Mate, Resi, what the fuck? Where have you have you been to Japan? We have that here. I literally had it the other day. Uh, I was filming at Geeks Plus Studio. We literally had that there. You flush the toilet, clean water comes out the top, you wash your hands. Lexi, fucking Sam wishes that was his balcony. You think that's tea? <laughs> Lamp juice? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Sam, can you give Paul one of the thingies before you lit A thingy? What's a thingy? Whoa, 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 Sam. Now, wait a minute. Uh, you're saying Lexi isn't wrong? Are you siding with Lexi? I'm feeling betrayed already. <laughs> I get to affiliate and it becomes like everyone's against me. <laughs> Why? <coughs> the glizzy goddess. That's what she is, she's the glizzy goddess. Because that's what she loves spamming, just glizzy pool, apparently. I could. Can I do this? Let me see. Fuck it. 
I can, I can do this. I can time you out. There we go. I can time her out for 600. That's great. Oh, the power's great. <laughs> and now all I just see is Lexi. Lexi, I'm sorry. <laughs> Orion clone, I'm so sorry. I, I accidentally timed you out as well. But yeah, we time out Lexi. She can be timed out for 600. Orion, I'm very sorry. I'll make you I'll make you a VIP for 10 minutes as, as a means of apology. Unfortunately, the stream goes a bit too fast for me to handle sometimes. <laughs> a misfire. All right, on the Orion. The Orion misfire. I bet that's the first time they chatted to me as well. They're like, fucking hell. Oh, Paul, great. Love your streams. Thanks, man. Hope you're doing well. I'm like, fuck. Get, get out of there. Get that ass banned. Was it, was it, L, not LDH, what's that fucking low tier god as he says? Get that ass ban. Fabrizio, we're having some fun, don't start there. It's all good. You know, chat's been, been real quiet since, since Lexi's not been here. <laughs> There's no shit talking at all, it's amazing. <laughs> I don't like compliments, Paul. When was Lexi complimenting me? Are you fucking joking? Paul turning into Chris with maybe that's my Jekyll and Hyde. My my um Hyde is Chris. I could do that. I could make a stream on that. I could flip the camera around and I turn into this like uh obnoxious guy. But you get no chicken. <laughs> How dare you? The funny, I, I can say shit. C can she clip while she's 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 timed out? Is she allowed to clip? <laughs> Mr. Prongles, welcome to the stream. We are currently working with a Lexi-less stream. Everything's gone to shit. The fires, the fires ablaze. She just can't shout. Oh, so you can listen, but you can't say. <laughs> I feel bad now. I no, honestly, I didn't want to time that Lexi. I was just doing it for a joke. If I knew how to like, un untime her, I would. Unfortunately for you, I don't know how to. So it is what it is. And it is important to test. You're right. It's important to test it. And who better to test it out on than Lexi, Mrs. Glizzy Paul? Because that's what she does with the time. She always wanted to be banned. This is how it feels like to be banned. You can let us know when you're... <laughs> I can't wait to see her name come back up in the chat. And you can share with us what the void is like, so we know. 600 seconds, it said. So you can tell us how it feels when you want to talk but you can't, and everyone can talk about you. So, chat. How do we feel about Lexi? Is she cool? <laughs> what a shame none of us know how to untime it up for someone. I don't have a mod. You wait, I'll probably make her a fucking VIP out of this after this just to make up for it. But if a VIP has access to my emotes, fuck that. You ain't never getting that shit. I have no mouth on my, <laughs> my screen. Lexi, oh, look at this. You gonna take that, Lexi? What are you gonna say? If you don't say anything, it must mean you smell. Wow, well, uh, she's not saying anything. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you dish it, but can you take it? Your Honor, she can't defend herself. Objection! I can't wait for it. The comeback's gonna be special. She's gonna say something so shit. She's probably spamming like 10,000 fucking glizzy pools in chat on the Discord. I wouldn't be surprised. Lexi should be modded then banned the same day. She's already um, she's already alluded to the fact that she's modding for three channels, which is insane, by the way, Lexi. I can't believe you're modding for three channels. Hey, the fact that you're timed out and still being talked about says, hey. You're fucking main character worthy, okay? You're part, you're part of the main character. You're part of the saga. That's amazing. 
She's messaging in Discord. Of course she is. Here, <laughs> I'm not. On, I'm not saying the rest of that. But thank you so much for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Sam, you mod for more than free. Don't worry, I won't tell Connor. But if you should find out, who? <laughs> Lexi is still practicing Glizzy Ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god killing me softly ever seen twitter being the main character isn't always a good this is true miftel this is true she's not posting shit i'm not getting oh no hang on I was about to say, she's not said anything in the, in the Discord, <laughs> but <laughs> I just realized I have it set to like, oh, I'm in bed now on my phone, so I'm not getting any notifications. <coughs> yes. <laughs> By the way, guys, I should mention here, uh, Sam, God bless him, and uh, I'm assuming Kai, he'd be doing the Lord's work with some of these like emotes coming up. If you're not in the Discord, we've got these ones that eventually will be on Twitch, hopefully. But um, we've got these awesome ones here. If you know what this means, awesome. If you don't know what it means, uh, we was playing a game called Shithead. And uh, the original rules are a 2 and a 10. And Ian decided to throw in a 3. So it became a 2, 3, and a 10. Which means that um, if you spam that emote, and this is what makes me laugh the most, is that in my Discord, a bunch of people are spamming shithead at each other. Because that's technically what that emote means. Shithead. So if you want to spam shithead at each other, that's fine with me. Oh, there we are. Okay, I see it. Oh, and then this one was awesome as well. So I mentioned... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can just see a lot of glizzies. <laughs> um, Sam, God bless him, he commissioned this. So I have a blue label that I love. It's my favourite whiskey. It's expensive, but Sam got that made uh, with Kai. He's a really awesome emote maker. Kai, I need to talk to you still about getting some money for this because like, I need to pay you for these. These are awesome. Uh, yeah. So that'll be used eventually. <laughs> oh, it's fun times. No alcohol required. But a fun time nonetheless. So it's just a night at the pub. Is it really? It's been covered, Paul. No, I don't know, Sam. I need to pay you then. No, bruh. Pay in full. You know how it goes. You can't do that, man. I won't accept it. I need to pay for that. I don't even know where I can see if Lexi's like how, how much longer she's got to be banned for. This is insane. Like when you time out someone, I suppose obviously it's normally for a, a proper case. I feel sorry for Orion. <laughs> More than fucking Lexi. <laughs> Because there was an accidental mishap and <laughs> it's just waiting to be unbanned too. <laughs> Poor Orion, right? Then let's get like, let's like shower praise on Orion. I feel bad, man. Feels bad, man. I'm looking. Oh, fuck it, oh. Actually, I just realized. I just logged into my stream manager and there's already like... New menus, what the fuck? So literally, when you become an affiliate, that's it. Like, like, boom. Manager poll. Sub-only chat. These are new. What the fuck? They're not new powers. Okay. They're new responsibilities case in point it says 60 seconds ad 
whenever I do it, well, this is a good reason, like, I can make sure that I go to the toilet and then throw a 60 second ad when I go to the toilet, because I don't want you guys fucking, Hey, look who's back, oh, look at me. <laughs> was it 10 minutes, was it 10 minutes, I feel so bad, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize it was 10 minutes. I just saw 600. I thought, I thought that sounds about right. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Kinda. Not really, because the glizzy pool. I think that's a, like, I think we're even now. Orion never seen again. I feel sorry for Orion. Well, you know what? I'll look back at this stream after. And maybe Orion was talking shit. We don't know. Possible. You never know. No worries, Private. Thank you for coming along and joining in this this timeout Lexi crew phase. Oh no, she's back scatter side. You need to fucking hide, Mr. Fucking Shit Talker. Lexi, don't have beef with me. You need to have beef with this guy. He was fucking going for your fucking throat, mate. Orion clone, you're back in the- I'm so sorry, Orion. Is Orion clone- I need to see this. Orion clone, can I find you? <laughs> you can blame Lexi, by the way, because technically, it's the only reason why you was caught in- you, It was like, you know, friendly fire. Let me see if I can find you. Orion Clown's got a fancy fucking thing as well. Shit. I really fucked up. Run, Orion. No, don't run. Come back. Orion doesn't have a normal badge next to their name. There's someone special. You know what? <laughs> Orion clone has been made a VIP of the channel for now. As means of an honorary 24 hours VIP. If they come back, they can gloat. If not, <laughs> we feel bad. dreaming we're doing good how are you doing paul is never going to remember to remember well, you'll remind me sam because you'll be like why the fuck is a ryan clone of you and i'm not Bruh. this is fucking wrong mutiny hey see look orion's here look guys orion's here vip orion right there look see all good i'm so bad i'm so sorry man man lady or male I feel bad. I, I accidentally timed you out. Wanted to get this heathen Lexi. This is the one. This this heathen here. I was trying to get them put that this person timed out. <laughs> hey Google, Lexi. I'm an Apple man. We don't do Google. Although, I will say, if you guys have an Alexa. There's a really fun thing you can do. If you go to Alexa and say, tell me something interesting, she actually gives you random facts. Go, go, go. Find out and I'll tell you, I'll let you know. Orion, neither do I. I just became an affiliate. Don't worry about it. I don't know what VIP means either, but that's you right now. 24 hour special. You got that VIP badge. It's all good. Shh, just enjoy that diamond. <laughs> Jenny! Thank you so much, Jenny. Yeah. Congratulations well, without, on affiliate without you, cameraman Paul. Without you, I wouldn't have it. So thank you so much. It means a lot. It really does. Not Lexi. No one needs a Lexi in their lives. So we're fine with that. Lexi is fine. But you? Diamond. I'm sorry, Sam. I was I was afraid of that. But if you ask her, I'm assuming it's a her. Uh, t 
tell me something interesting, she gives some of the weirdest fucking facts in the world. I used to do it before I went to bed every night. She gives some really interesting facts. I, I, I just found out about some president that had a donkey. <laughs> well, do share. Do share, Emma. We all want to know. Actually, no. No, you know what? Fuck you. You know what? Fuck you, not fuck you. Fucking right. This lady. All hail Queen Jenny. She is doing amazing. Tell me, bitch. What the fuck? What does that mean? And, like, I'm in a sticky situation here. Because obviously, Sam, you gave me the whiskey. I'd love to make you a VIP, but you keep saying, make me a mod, but not a VIP. I can't be both. It's like, I don't like, because we're in a sticky situation, guys, because obviously he is a mod for Connor. I don't want to be in that situation whereby I piss off Connor, which is why he's never been made something like that. And I know he doesn't want that pressure. Sam, do you want to be a VIP? Because, mate, you have been amazing in making the Discord. I've got a bit of a sticky wicket. What the fuck does that mean? Thunder. Sam's not even here, so he's not VIP. <laughs> Sam's gone missing. <laughs> oh, now he's here. Sharing a purple heart. What the fuck? Sam, the slander. You gonna take that, Sam? <laughs> well, Lexi, no one wants to hear what you have to say because you know, you've been timed out and you're just a glizzy lover. So even my cat's like, ugh, see? Ugh. Mod Ord Mentory. I would love to, but I mean, I, I, I don't want to do that without talking to people. I'm not going to just make someone a mod. It feels bad. Couch Fader. Thank you so much for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the stream. Jenny, don't be silly now. It's some lovely decoration, but you know you're a diamond without it. But thank you. Very kind of you. I love Paul is just egging everyone. Look, side, don't bring me down to your level, Mr. Let's shit on Lexi when she's timed out. I wasn't shitting on her. This was all you, mate. I was fine. Norway, what the fuck with the 50? Bro, what the fuck? Bruh. Ah! Thank you. That's like, you didn't need to do that, man. That's fucking like, thank you so much. I guess the affiliate stream needs to be something special now. <laughs> thank you, thank you, honestly, thank you. Mifu is a mod for a lot of people. Yeah, but I don't want to mod people that are like, you know, I don't want to piss off other people that have them as their mod, because it feels wrong, you know? Euler, let's go. Peanut. That's a good point, actually, Peanut. I haven't had, uh, what's his name? Um, we haven't done the crane game video with him yet. We need to do the crane game. What's the Godfoot? He's not, he's not been around, has he? I'm not saying that because we're doing these things. I'm just saying that we need to do a crane game video still. I need to remind Connor of that to, to chase up on him. I hear your side, no worries. Shouldn't need a mod. Shouldn't. <laughs> well, when you have Alexi in your chat, you need a mod, I think. I think I think you need to have a mod whenever there's Alexi about. The problem is that Sam's been letting a lot of really, really suggestive gifts creep through on the Discord that makes me a little bit hesitant to even do anything with him because he's like, oh, look at me. I'm going to let Paul look like an idiot on my 
on my Discord. You could mod yourself. Go for it, Lexi. Prove it. <laughs> so the streamer can always call for you while you're not there. This is true. Well, that's what I mean. I don't understand the mod culture. I did speak with Pete about this, to be unfair with you. I said, What the fuck do you do about mods? And he said, Wait a minute. He was like, give it two, three weeks because you need to, 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 to weed out the bad things. And I was like, fair enough. Makes sense. Not at all. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I mean, why not? I'll find you. Bear with me. I'm gonna come down to the ground. I'm just trying to decide if I want to end the stream earlier or if I do want to go to Lawson and get a drink. Because <laughs> I'm not in the mood to finish. Oh, actually, why am I doing this? Hang on. I have a new thing, don't I? Service error. Try again in the moment. I was trying to create a poll. What a bell end. Is this because my OBS is being a dick? Anyway, I was trying to say, should I end the stream or, or go for a cheeky Lawson? So, guys, let me know. Right? Yeah, but how do I write that? No, I don't want to do that yet. Something to invest to the affiliate stream. Good streams so far, Paul. Thank you. Thank you, you so much, Starkiller. That means a lot. Lawson's. What the fuck? Teddy? What? <laughs> Alright. Fuck it. We're going to go to Lawson's. You guys can wait, right? I'm going to leave the stream running. And I'll be back. It's going to take me... 25 minutes. And I'll be back. Okay? Alright. Be back soon. Enjoy the tunes, though. Got some lovely lo-fi playing for you.
The man is back. Man's not back, Sash. My hair is wet though, cause rainy days. QB2, Sam, you got an alt account, is this you? <laughs> what is this, an alt account? <coughs> oh my dear. So, I decided to get, someone mentioned it earlier, for celebratory, get some red wine. And also, a cheeky bit of cheese. <laughs> so we shall. It's not Lawson's red wine, it's... I went for the... The one with a giant cock on it, obviously, you know. You gotta go for the one with a giant... I guess that's a cock, right? Baron Laverrier. <laughs> Cue huge cocker. That's a pheasant! Isn't quite the same as, that's a penis! <laughs> okay, so. Um, leg lug lug time. A mega pint. How's everyone doing? <coughs> <laughs> for the Lexi clip. Oh dear lord. Jack, I'm gonna ask you, should I make Lexi a VIP or not? Yes, yes. No. Yes. Tough question. Yes. Lexi. <gasps> okay, ban. <laughs> no. No, maybe, yes. Coin toss. Is this like fear and hunger? Maybe. Bring a pole, yes, yes. Mod or VIP, Jenny, calm down now. We're not going that far. No, maybe abstain, abstain. Okay, from a fellow VIP, abstain. Maybe. I think we've got a new villain arc here. <laughs> Honestly, I've learned. I can't make a poll, Teddy. I tried to earn it. It said timed out in the fucking server. It wouldn't let me do it. I was like, let's make let's make a poll. I was like, I, I did everything. I typed it out and it was like, it doesn't work. I was like, computer says no. I was like, you motherfucker. Let me have a look. Let me try again. Service error, try again. I think it's because they made me uh, an, uh, an affiliate while I was streaming, so it doesn't, it, it won't let me do it. No poll, poll. All right, next stream then. Well, I don't want to do it without this. I want, I want the actual official one, so we have to do that. All right, Sam, calm down. <laughs> coin toss? I don't have a coin on me. I'm not rich just because I got to affiliate. Doesn't mean I'm rich. What the fuck? Lord Cuba, how the fuck have you got my... Lord, why have you got the emotes that... Okay, so are you making my emotes for my channel or yours? Did you see this? There's the answer, chat. Wants to earn the VIP. You'll drink with me? 
taste so. So yeah, <coughs> a nice fresh glass of wine for you. Cheers. We'll do the old Nathan Welsh test first. Oh, it smells like vomit on a Friday night. Lovely. Glides down well. Very nice. And by the way, if you can get this cheese, this is a great cheese here. It's uh, this company, like anything with that, that kanji on it, smart cheese that stands for. Yes, it's very smart. Tastes great. <coughs> yes, I work for two millionaires, Joe. That means I'm not rich, they are. Do you know how you become a millionaire? You spend no money. That's how you become a millionaire. That's your secret right there. <laughs> I can smell that pop skull over here. <laughs> Good smelling cheese. There you go, chat. You have a sniffer of that. That's the cheese. Good smell. Oh. May! Maylin! Thank you so much for the raid! Welcome, 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 raiders! Hello, hello! We are streaming way longer than we should be. Um, I became an affiliate, apparently, during my streaming today, so... Uh, yeah. Uh, Maylene and I have worked together a few times. Amazing company that she's made there with the boys. I'm a cameraman for the Trash Taste guys, so if you don't know me, hello, my name's Paul. Uh, some people call me Cameraman Paul on the streams. And uh, yeah, we are currently going super, super over time because I literally asked my stream, do you want me to stop or have a little celebratory drinky and hello, hello, we decided to go for a little celebratory drinky. So here we go. Shout out to everyone. How's everyone doing? And this cheese is so good. Mm. <laughs> Alcoholism wins again. Praise to the alcohols. Hey, if it was good enough for the Roman Empire, it's good enough for me. <laughs> Wine top. I like this frog face. Where is this? This is great. Feels amazing, man. I like that. Peanut, good stuff. Oh, Lexi's teaching me how to be a mod. Let me see if I can spell her name right. <laughs> That's the next question. Yeah, but seriously, guys, if you don't know, if you don't know May. She, I think you should know, mate. If you don't, then um, you should. She's awesome. She does some suggestive cooking on occasion. <laughs> uh, but yeah, she's, she's really cool. And a really fun friend. We haven't hung out enough. We need to hang out more. Although I do worry whenever I hang out because she comes up with some very interesting questions. Actually, May, I don't know if you're still... Oh, see, look, I've already done it wrong. I've done a fucking question mark. What the fuck's that shit? Um, the curse of... Uh... <laughs> There we go. Um, <laughs> uh, we was talking about Zuma phrases, and I was saying that uh, May is like the goat when it comes to these, because I don't know fuck all about some of the things that Zuma says these days. This uh, Zuma say these days, and every time I meet up with Connor and and Maylene for like um, a new Crane game video. She just comes up with these like random phrases. I'm like, do you know what this means? I'm like, yeah, I know what it means from my age. <laughs> and then I find that it's something sexually suggestive. I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Hell Gambler. Oh, and uh, Plebe, Plebianeth, Human. Thank you so much for the follows, guys. Hope everyone's doing well. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome.
Lexi, don't tell me you're a mod for fucking May. If you tell me you're a mod for May, Lena, I swear to God. What's with these toilet emotes? Why is everyone going down the train? The wine is good, Emma. It's great. Um, I should let it sit a bit more. It's a French wine, so of course it's good. <coughs> I tend to find French wine's really good. She is? Dreaming Cannibal, you're you're a really? You're a melee mod? I need to jot these names down. Is my stream just full of mods taking the piss out of me for not knowing that they're mods? Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah, but okay. <laughs> well, I feel sorry for your employees, because they're all like I say employee, but are you paid? If you're not. Damn, bro. Your stream is when they get to watch and not mod. Exactly, Kevin. I, I want to keep it that way. I would like to be able to not need a mod on my channel. Everyone keeps saying you need a mod. Why do you need a mod? Why do I need a mod? I'm the OG. That's right. I was here. I made Trash Taste. It was formed in my form. Is that right, Lexi? Norway. No, oh, Norway PD. There you are. Let me fucking get your fucking name up here. No, you've been here long enough. You've been here, you've been here a while. You've put up with my antics. <coughs> Let's get you in there. There you are. You are christened Sir Norway. Teddy, your name's too fucking long, Teddy. You need a mod because sometimes I get hot. I can't add you because you're, you've got too many Ds. It sucks. Lower your D. Too many Ds? Hang on, what? Was that a sex joke? Yeah. Too many Ds in you, mate. <laughs> huh? 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 I've <laughs> that way too. Anonymous, what the f what? Bruh. Thank you so much, Anonymous. I'm just surrounded by, like, weird cats or like... <laughs> Thank you so much. It, means, it really means a lot. Thank you so much. Um... Oh, <laughs> I forgot to write my name. Oh, <laughs> silly me. Yeah, it's actually me. I just, just donated to myself. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Look at these claps. This is awesome. Another trip to the convict. Don't even get me started. I'm not, I'm not Ludwig, okay? I'm 41. I'm not fucking 20. I can't do like 72 hours live stream non-stop. Apparently. Teddy. What the fuck, Teddy? No. What the fuck is going on? Bruh. Did you literally just call yourself that? <laughs> Teddy with too much. D How many D's are in your name, for fuck's sake? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. It's not 41 like my age, is it? I can't fucking... I can't count. <laughs> I've had too much to drink. What the fuck? I'm gonna auto spell it. That's right. I said auto spell it. Hang on. Is your uh, icon? Why am I fucking doing it? What the fuck does that mean? A, a Game Boy? Is that you? Is it a Game Boy? Or some 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 kind of like contraption? Twenty-two Ds, Game Boy or headphones. Bosh, I can get in, legend. I mean, you're a nutter, Norway. <laughs> what the? Sorry, let fuck? Teddy be oil daddy here. 
Stop. Okay. No, 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 no. You need to stop. Okay, guys. This is money that can go to a great charity in a week's time. I'm fucking blessed. God bless you. It's so fucking kind of you. It's really, really kind. But let's let's save this and let's um, help these guys in need on the IDF. I, obviously, thank you so much. You, you fucking crazy motherfuckers. Bruh. Shut up and take my money. <laughs> well, I don't know how that middle one came about. But yes, thank you. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> how about no? Stop now. 21 Ds? Um, stop. Stop, please, please. Please, th thank you. But you don't need to do that, guys. Seriously. All right, well, fuck this. Oh. Oh. You're fucking nuts. You fucking crazy motherfuckers. Like, what have I got myself into with you? Like, we're in it now, together. You, me. Look at me, looking at you, looking at me, looking at you. As Blackpink say. Oh, <laughs> you fucking NGC, don't you start. We like to drip with Paul Carl's Paul, that's our mate. That ain't happening. Bad hangover, don't worry. No, you should. <laughs> Can you get your streamer phone? I can get my streamer phone now, yes. So we can get... We can have our cheeky little van cam. Oh my god, what is the night becoming? What time is it? It's midnight. Oh, <laughs> fucking hell. Oh. <coughs> I'm so happy Paul just... Tim, how dare you? I have three. They're, off, they're from the Hyakuen store though, so it's fine. A star killer, this is insane. Like, I mean, honestly, as I said, I just started this to just say hello to people and say, like, this is what we did on the night. This is how it works. And then um, you guys kept fucking sticking around, you little shits, didn't you? You wouldn't let go, would you? Hey? You always want a bit more of that Essex. God bless ya. Lurker, I dark so no F night. Thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> and Parasa, Hell Gambler, thank you so much for the follow, guys. Hope you're doing well on this amazing weekend. I'm being a bit crazy. You love the streams? Well, thank you, Emma. That's good to hear. Stockholm Syndrome? What are you talking about? Flirk and Daniel. Hello, welcome. How are you doing well? We ain't letting go, side. That's right, side. I, I christened you a new name. I'm so happy to hear that you guys love the streams because technically it's just me sitting down chatting. And I think, <coughs> as far as I know, I don't think anyone else does this, right? This, Pete plays games. Oh, fuck me. Just realized the music's probably really fucking loud. Uh, Pete plays games. Connor shoots the shit sometimes, right? Boring Fry. Thank you so much for the follow. Staying up past your bed, I know. Well, I, I had to stay up after last night's stream. I couldn't I couldn't go to bed until that stream ended. Uh, so I'm already on the late shift, but yeah. A oh, fuck, is your Discord user name? Just chatting for a reason, this is true. Although there is no hot tub here. Don't get me started. <coughs> oh, thank you, Jenny. That's very kind of you to say. I mean, I feel like it's always fun to just shoot the shit, talk, you know, find out some interesting things and just say, what do you like? Do you like this? Do you like that? And I feel like not enough people talk about random shit, like, like fucking old phones. You know, I remember growing up, as I say, when I was a what the fuck? Teddy, stop. Sam, give me oil at MF. I'm assuming that's the same Teddy. I keep saying TDY. I need to get remember this, used to this. Yeah, s stop. Okay, thank you, but stop, please. I find that streamer streamer talking to chat but going off on a tangent of their own is a more engaging but significantly harder 
the bigger you get as a stream. Don't worry, Dreaming. This is as big as I get. This is it now, guys. It's just you and me. I'm cutting off. No more followers. Okay, no more. All reservations are full. No more allowed. Okay. From now on, it's you and me. Is there a way for me to do that? Yes, Lithium, it's fine. It means we can talk and I can actually... I want to be able to understand the, and know the people in my chat, okay? Peanut, Lithium, Widget, Luxury. I want to be able to know you guys. Beanie. Bet old Benny. Oh, I thought he said Beanie then. Benny Bexton, thank you so much for the follow. I thought you said Beanie then. And I was like, oh, Beanie, I've got a bean bag for you. And I was like, my sack has great beans. Dreaming you would end up being big, big. No, that's not, that's not going to happen. <coughs> that won't happen because then Chris will get pissed off. Let's be honest. If I get too big, Chris will be like, oh, fuck me. Look at you. You think you're a fucking big wig now, do you? <laughs> I'm already a huge streamer. Cat. Not. Let's not go there. Stop it now. I haven't even played a game yet. I've got to play a game to be a big streamer, right? Isn't isn't that the whole point of Twitch? Aren't people supposed to play games and like be look at me? I'm a Valorant extraordinaire. Isn't that what I do? Chris, I made you. Fucking Lexi, you have no idea. I can't wait for that. I made you. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> nope, Grim Shark. Really? You think? Nope. Nope. Why? Why? Hell divers repeating. I want to do that. I want to do that. But my PC's being a little bitch. I keep trying to. I, I, today I tried to to learn uh, OBS with my my gaming PC, and the PC would only let me play the game via the OBS screen, which didn't have that much lag to be fair. So maybe I can do it. But I know that Ian doesn't have a PC, so that's the bigger problem. <laughs> Play Wordle. <laughs> play Wordle? I could play Sudoku? Not enough people play Sudoku. That's a great game. Loving your stream so far. Thank you so much. That's really kind of you to say. Paul, what is your take on action cams and 360 cams? Adam, they get in positions that no other camera can. Super handy to have. Uh, I just wish they had better low light. If they had higher sensors or bigger sensors that allowed you to get better shots in low light, then godsend. The problem with cameras, I found one. I don't have it on me. Oh, it's in the other room, but I had. I, I've only found one sort of um, selfie stick that can support an actual full frame camera with a lens, nothing else, and it won't slide down. Other than that, I would prefer to have it because tripods are the, the biggest pain in the ass to set up on sets. All right, Sam, gotcha. OBS screen is small enough. It's not about being small enough, Emma. It's more about lag. I don't want to get any lag. Like if I'm, if it's going through a HDMI then to OBS, I don't want there to be a lag. Especially if I'm doing hell divers and people say, "Oh, you missed that shot," and I'm like, "Well, that's because there's lag." They're gonna say, "Yeah, that's what they all say." <coughs> Have a look into NDI. What the fuck is an NDI? What the fuck is a flamajang? What's that? What's that phrase? Flam flamajang? Flamarange? NDI. And get your PC screen to the Mac. I mean, the ultimate goal is two PCs, right? But I'll have a look at it. I, it might be my monitor though. That's what I'm thinking. Daniel Stan, Poco Yord Fox, Horn You, Iguanare, <laughs> AAA. Thank you so much for the follows, guys. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the stream where we have a crazy weekend of just reaching affiliate. How old is my PC again? My PC was built in 2016, so eight years old. Well, that's not going to happen, John, because we know that those those are as old as my PC. So.
Insta360, uh, I probably used that, the X3, yeah. We definitely used it in Ginza. We shoved it out the window. It's great when you need to get a, like an outside shot that's like a drone, but not a drone. You can get like the Insta360 and shove it out the window on like a snowy or rainy situation where it's waterproof. Paul, do you guys have any plans on doing a vid on the WRC Forum 8 rally? I don't think so. No, I've not heard anything about that. I love this star killer. Paul, you know SDI, right? <laughs> NDI is the network protocol version of this. You can send video overnight. Oh, oh yeah. Of course, I know all about that. Of course. Bruh. Yeah. No, oh, yeah. You put the thing in the thingy, Bob, Bob, and it goes that way. And then we look this way, and it goes that way, and it fucking connects it, and, and shimmer bang, right? Yeah. Yeah. Of course we know. Cushy, mate. No fucking worries. All good. You know it? You know it, right? I don't, f I don't fucking... Yeah. Yeah, of course I know, mate. No worries. I know of an NDA. NDA is a... Yeah, fucking hacker, man. I'm a fucking hacker, man, isn't it? <laughs> Bish, bash, bosh. You know it makes sense. <laughs> Two PCs, one stream. Fabrizio, that sounds like a stream that's very naughty to watch. Considering we're in the the uh, the the gen, are we are we in Gen Z now? What are we in now? Is it still Gen Z? Are we in the next phase? By the way, I'm so, I feel sorry for Sam. By the way, I feel <laughs> I'm adding all these VIPs. I feel sorry for Sam. <clears throat> Sorry, mate. There you go. Although it's going to be like, I don't want a VIP. I want more. Gen A? How many are you adding? As many as I goddamn want, Sam. Why are you questioning my VIP status? What the fuck? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with, like, helping community grow? All right, Kat, you're not getting one because you said that. <laughs> Let's be real. Sam made the fucking Discord. Surely that deserves a VIP. <laughs> Thank you, D. Thank you so much. Very kind of you. Oh, Kai. Yeah, Kai. I mean, the problem with Kai is he has a bunch of random numbers after his name that probably means something that I don't know. Orion. On the way to a new PC. Wine time. Bro, what the fuck? Why? Stop. Please, stop. <coughs> Thank you so much. Not necessary. Please, you don't have to do that. Please, please, please. Save your money. What is going on? I've got 80 VIP slots, but that's not the point. I heard there's a new streamer in town. His name is Paul. Hello, Paul. <laughs> okay. Sam, shut the fuck up, all right? I can take your VIP away. Don't do that to me. Why are you gonna do me like that, huh? You can send it to me privately. I've got you on here. Why you got to show me up? <laughs> oh, I've been two two glasses down. I haven't had any cheese. Thank you, Ben. That's so kind of you. <laughs> I can't make Sam a mod because he's a mod for Connor. And if I make him a mod for me, Connor will be mad. Okay. Cheese. 
This is for, this is Chris Tax, by the way. If you ever wanna get money to Chris, this is Chris Tax. You sniff that, all right, you can sniff that, there you go. Sniffers in chat. <laughs> A little cheeky bit of cheese. <laughs> oh, so good. ADHD kicked in how half a grand like it should. Stop it, Teddy, before I ban you. Stop. Seriously. Thank you. You don't need to do this, ma'am. Unless you're um, some oil millionaire, in which case... Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> but please, stop. It's not necessary. I'm just happy shooting the shit with you guys, okay? We're here, we're having a fun time. No money necessary. It's a good time. <laughs> Oil daddy. What did I say? <laughs> what did I say, this PC? <laughs> Teddy did something for Pete. What does that mean? <laughs> no, stop. Don't even fucking tempt the bear. Don't poke the bear, all right? Oil daddy. Well, that's what he is. Oil daddy, right? Isn't that what they call them? Shave your... Yes, I agree. Right here. For jobless streamers. Jobless streamers? No. You know what? I don't agree with that widget, and I'll tell you why. Depends why they're jobless. Like, if they're not going out there, because... Are they doing... No, I'm not... <laughs> that's why I'm not saying that word. <coughs> if they've done what they can do to try and get a job and they still can't get a job, that makes sense. But still. Like, I've been jobless before. There's ways to get jobs. Okay? You can be, you can learn how to do PC. You can be, you can, you can sing. You can be a cameraman for Mr. Beast. I'm pretty sure he takes people on. Because he needs like fucking 100 cameras. He must take people on that don't own camera experts, surely. There are streamers that have not been able to find a job, can't find a job because of personal situation. Oh, fair enough. You know what? You know what, Dreaming? I take it back. My bad. I only know my little, tiny, like, very narrow view of, of, of my life that I live in. So you're, you're right, you're right, you're right. It's very, very fair. I live in Abu Dubai. I am King Oil Daddy. <laughs> John F. Kennedy? Oh, so John F. Kennedy lives in Abu Dubai. Are you saying that this was all a ruse? It didn't actually happen? The sniffer emote in Discord is getting out of hand, Sam. It's better than the glizzy emote, let's be real. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? In my Discord, what, what is this bollocks? What is this shit? Oh, oh, let's see, Originator. Who started this? Oh, what a fucking surprise. It's Lexi. I guess that means we get, like, how does Lexi get, how do you do this? Like, how do you just keep getting timed out for 10 minutes? It's just like, it's fucking insane. It looks like Lexi's uh, back on the menu, boys, for 10 minutes. <laughs> By all means, go to town. <laughs> Have some fun. <laughs> what do you mean, poor Lexi, Jenny? She brings it on herself. She fucking made a fucking gif of me doing glizzies. <laughs> and now she makes a gif like that. <laughs> Can you not? <laughs> poor Paul. Poor Paul. <laughs> what is this? I am shooketh, Bruh. right? I am shooketh. Never give a mod, you, mate, like not even in the world. By the way, thank you to, to, who was it? Was it Sam? Let me scroll up here. Lexi, um, you can thank Sam for this because he's the one that, that actually told me this was happening. 
So, like, thanks, Sam, for showing me that you were shit-talking me in his Discord. <laughs> so, it's Sam's fault. That's what I'm saying. Just saying. <laughs> oh, shit. My bad. You can't even hear that. What the fuck? My noise gets too good. I'm not throwing Sam under the bus. He threw himself under the bus when he fucking accepted it. He's it's his Discord. Star Killer. He's the one that accepts these gifts, okay? He has the power in that Discord to say that's wrong. Don't make Paul look bad. He's just fucking letting it slide. He's the one that wants to make me look like shit. So you can blame him. Blaming is, you know what, Sam? I bend to the will of the community. Well, you can bend right back again, because, like, you know, the power giveth and the power taketh away. Sam is no longer a mod. He's no longer a VIP. He's nothing. He's back down with you guys. <laughs> Go on, Sam. Give a quote. Let's see your diamond. <laughs> oh, look at the diamond there. Amazing. Well, you fucking brought it on yourself. I'm making a fucking joker arc right now. Apparently, I'm making a joker arc right here. I blame you. You're the one that started this Discord that I didn't even know existed. You finished your soul. You had sold you, Teddy? This makes me feel even worse, knowing what you did tonight. God bless you, that's very kind of you, but sold you, let's talk tomorrow. If you wanna just sort of like trail back some of the things that you did tonight, then that's fine, because I know sold you is a strong thing, and that's fine. Mad with power, widget, how dare you say that? I just offered refunds. Renzoku. Thank you so much for the follow. <coughs> you normally do it to sleep? Good lord. We definitely did a chat then, Teddy. Might be an over asked question. How do you balance shooting editing in your personal life? I don't balance them, unfortunately, Peaceful. It's it's not really easy. <coughs> I'm in a situation where I like it when I shoot, end stream, done, and send it to Mudam. If I have to edit, it becomes harder. Uh, it's personal life. <laughs> You're looking at it. This is basically my personal life right now. It sounds sad, but it's true. But it's not really, because I'm with you guys. It's fun. It's good. You never regret. Well, we'll see. 21, Teddy. Only mods with... Yeah, this is what I'm worried about, Teddy. This is why I'm giving no one a mod power. Anyway, I'm going to go to the toilet. And you guys can chat amongst yourselves for about... Ooh, three minutes. Not even that. So, enjoy.
はいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいあの 10% タックスですねはいはいはいすべてのドネーション tips ねはい I have to remember save 10% はいはいはいはいはい、はい、大丈夫ですはいはいはい Hi guys welcome back hey how's it going um yeah nothing spoken about at all hi 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 oh my god we're almost at seven seven what sid seven hours we can't be at seven because on my obs it says two hours and 30 minutes hello mr paul hello fabricio how are you doing no text me knocking at my door paul seems suspiciously sober well that's surprising considering i've had this much on stream that you've actually seen as well as this which sam kindly donated which started it there i think i think it started there so but half a bottle of whiskey and half a bottle of red wine so don't you fucking ever say i am a lightweight six hours oh six hours i guess we're going for another seven hour stream boys we're going for another seven hours let's go rain ho follow me rain ho how's it going rain how you doing ted stop it <laughs> ted 10 percent of fuck's sake. stop it <laughs> i've never thought i'd have to tell someone to stop fucking sending me money stop it little shit this is bad Go to bed. You're meant to be in bed. <laughs> I hope Rainho's doing well, though. I hope your your PC's doing well. I remember seeing that she um she made it herself. It might have had a little bit of a little cheeky bit of help after, but you know what I mean. That's a good shout. That's a good shout, Sam. When next time I go live, I can have a, I can have a little cheeky look. There we go. We can do that too. This this is true here. Teddy trying to single handedly send you into the next income tax bracket. I don't know if I like that because the next tax 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 ta fucking hell. Speak English, you motherfucker. The next tax bracket is like fifty percent. You know what I mean? Like, fucking hell. Connor's already in a bad mood already. I know his tax man's like, oh, you're going to get audited 100%. Like, what? Yeah, yeah, your fucking money's all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> we do have tax brackets, this PC. Of course we do. Connor don't feed you, so chat will. I fucking like this answer, Chide. I'm also interested because you don't watch, according to this, you don't watch, but you listen. He's not watching, but he's listening silently, secretly, hopelessly. Bruh. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, is, is Lexi? Lexi's back. Oh, Lexi, we missed you. Oh, how she you been? you out. Bruh. What the fuck? Teddy, she shouted me out. That's, oh, oh, well, first off, Rain, thank you so much for the shout out. You're awesome. Teddy, go to fucking bed. Stop spending money, you motherfucker. Much as we love you, stop. 21D. I'm always listening. Oh, that's very scary, Said. So <laughs> that's very, very scary. What? 
Oh, <coughs> oh fuck it. <coughs> rain. <coughs> Not rain. Uh, Lexi made another. <coughs> another alert. Oh my god. What are you like? <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Oh, barely alive. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Uh, you wish, Lexi. You wish. Uh. Oh, fucking hell. Um. Felt bad it's not 690 sous.
come back. Good Lord. Uh, <coughs> have you ever had a situation whereby you laugh so much that you cough a lot and it sort of like takes control of you? Um, uh, that happened to me and it made my uh, about this much of my red wine go over the uh, channel one. <coughs> Fucking hell. Oh, stop. <sighs> Breathe. We good? We in that comfort zone now? <clears throat> oh, fucking hell. Jesus Christ. Lexi, you're killing me. Stop. She's literally killing me. <sighs> Fucking hell. Oh, dearie me. Don't worry. <clears throat> That's what we do. That's what we do here. Jeezy, crazy. Good Lord. Sorry, guys. I kept you waiting. Kept you waiting, huh? But fucking hell. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <coughs> Give me the chesty coughs. Oh, I'm embracing my Chris persona. Don't even fucking dare. Don't you dare. <clears throat> now she, Glissy Paul wasn't enough. Now she wants you dead. You fucking know it. Oh, my dears. I think uh, lithium, it was just a combination. Bruh, bruh, what good? are you doing? Stop, stop. No, I'm not good if you're tipping me that much, bro. No, stop, 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 stop. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Don't worry, I'm good, I'm good. <clears throat> it's good. It's all good. Oil Daddy Sam. That's the sounds wrong, Norway. Don't say that. <clears throat> Bro, no, I'm good. I'm good. <clears throat> good Lord. McMenus, is that? <laughs> what the fuck? We do have water. In case people are worried about that. But yeah. Don't worry. But uh, yeah, I, oh my God. It was just a chain reaction of laughing at something I shouldn't be laughing at. And then people, you good, bro? I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, don't get, don't set me off. <coughs> oh, don't set me off. Luxury visions, I like this. Don't tell Chris about the tips you receive. He would want some of the slice of the pie. Of course he would. What's, that's his favorite song, right? I've got the brains, you've got the looks, let's make lots of money. Isn't that his favourite song? <clears throat> Panda, you may have joined the stream at the wrong time, who knows, we'll see. <clears throat> well, we know this, Jenny, of course. I made you, I made you. You was forged in the fires of Mordor. Your camera's like the ring, the one for all. <laughs> Twenty percent tax. That's right. Yeah, you should be taking a cut of that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, Ellis! Give me a piece of the sausage. <laughs> Chris sounds like a mafia running a protection. Yeah, the probably he sounds like it, but he's not a mafia boss. You fucking show a bit of like backbone he'd be like oh fucking all right calm down calm down <coughs> if chris finds out just tell him this is what you're missing out on for not being on twitch well this is what i fucking say him all the time i don't understand why chris isn't on twitch give me a slice of that cheese i've got two slices left i don't think i'm gonna have them though <laughs> based on that recent coughing disaster 
No, no, no. You got it wrong, mate. You got it wrong. It's all right, cunt. We're all fucking friends here. That's the way you phrase. That's the way you have to phrase it. The way we do it in England. But you got to do it like, all right, all right. We're all fucking friends here. You got to phrase it as though it's it's a it's a threat. He's busy on YouTube. Could have fooled me, luxury. Still waiting for uh, Psycho Fon 2's uh, narration. He doesn't like being live. He doesn't like being live unless he has some uh, whiskey, that's for sure. And I don't blame him. I mean, for fuck's sake, I'm drinking with red wine right now. <clears throat> you fucking knows it, side. Did he get excluded? He did not, this PC, but I know that Chris is very particular about control. And it makes sense that he goes to YouTube to, so that he has complete control of the final result. See where it's not going to be so friendly, that, mate. Is this your first rodeo, sunshine? I've used that word before. It's been fine. <clears throat> I think everyone's a bit scared of that phrase, but you know, when you're doing a stream this long, YouTube tends to forget. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Teddy. It's not a competition, Teddy. Stop it. Damn, so fucking fishy of you. Oh, based. By the way, guys, what's your favorite what's your favorite video by Chris? I'm interested here. What is your favorite abroad in Japan video? If you are a follower. That's not an answer. You can't say the fucking best of. It's not like the Beatles. It doesn't have a fucking album called The Best Of. Fukushima. Yeah, that was good, Kevin. We liked that on the Nonstop North. Oh, two Fukushimas. Three Fukushimas? Okay. I'm assuming you mean the big documentary one. You don't watch Chris's content? That's fine, no problem. Wacky Weekends. <clears throat> the trailers. This is the one he loves the most. He loves making the trailers the most. He really loves making those. Hokkaido Cyclophone, well, hey. I made that Dodger, so thank you kindly. Wacky Weekends, Wacky Weekend video with. The zip line, that was Connor's video, but okay. Journey Across Japan, cool. Which Journey Across Japan was your favorite one, guys? If you're saying that. <clears throat> Driving in Japan with Rikuya. Also the choice of music. Yeah, we do. <clears throat> we make a point of trying to make the music as good as possible. Like we, we go for quality. So it's not, we try not to lambast it, which is another big issue I have with Sycophon 2. We need to, it's an hour's worth of music I've not got to try and find to make out that, that video good. <clears throat> Fuji. Hey, Lexi, Fuji. Guess who edited that? Someone you love. The second one? What was the second one? What was the second journey across Japan? You like Frozen Frontiers? Oh, that's cool. That's cool to hear. <clears throat> Kyushu. Oh, that was a good one. You're right. With Joey, right? Yeah, that was good. With That was the ASO one. First journey across Japan. Honestly, the last one was me. Oh, sorry to hear that bang, Robber. Sorry to hear that. Um, I do recognize the first one was amazing. It was also the longest, right? He was on that for ages. <clears throat> now waiting for second sucker form. Well, that will come eventually, Dodge. Don't you worry. I am waiting on Chris to send me narration to, to finish that. Frozen Front. Okay, you've liked the Frozen Frontier. Okay. That's cool. Bougie, nice to hear, Ryan. I liked him freezing his balls off on the island. Well, I'm glad you liked him freezing his balls off on the island. I personally did not like filming that because I nearly lost a fucking foot. But yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed that. <laughs> Dr. Jelly. So that would be the first one, right? It did the, the Dr. Jelly. Turn it down. This is nearly 1 a.m. So I can't be too loud. I've got to be a bit more quieter. I feel bad because I can still hear people outside going back and forth. 
but I don't know if that's the, the couple next to me that are complaining about living with each other or if it's because of me. Is it a combination of both? I don't know. <laughs> but I can hear someone in the hallway going, oh, oh, oh. and I don't know if that's because of him or her or me. What's going on? It's not ASMR time, is it? it it's let's not get Paul fucking evicted time. That's what it is. <clears throat> I was very worried. <laughs> all right, Teddy. Welcome, 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 and goodbye. Uh, it's all good. Thank you, thank you. You're crazy. We'll talk next time. But thank you so much. Have a good sleep. I'm sure I'm going to be winding down soon too. Don't worry about it. Thank you, Dreamer. We, we, we shall see. It seems like it might be a possibility. Joe loves to travel. I don't want to hear that song, period. I do know that I was very happy for the Sucophon when we went through that area. It rained so much that he never brought out, he didn't even bring it out once because it raining so bad. We was lucky. If you get evicted, the door, the oilers can find you a new place. Shut up, Lithium. Don't start that. <laughs> we should call him Super Ted. Who remembers the cartoon Super Ted? Was anyone around in the UK for that? Super Ted? That was a great show. I used to watch that as a kid. Uh, glitchy, I was not on board for that. The first time I came on board for a journey across Japan was the Frozen Frontiers. Yeah, my childhood. Okay. Sadly, sadly, yes. What the hell? Sadly, Super Ted was awesome. And you had that guy that looked like a spotted dick that was his psychic, right? <laughs> oh, fuck. I would say, let me show you via my browser, but when I click the plus sign, it says nothing. Nothing can be done. I can't even fucking show you shit. What the fuck, bro? OBS man, let me down tonight. <clears throat> I grew up on stupid, super, super dead, super dead. Yeah, there we go. Button Moon, good damn Emma. Button Moon, all right. Bill and Ben, anyone around for Bill and Ben? Night, Fat Tan. Hope you had a good, good time. Uh, <coughs> I almost died. You can blame Lexi. It's her fault. Dang, Dangen Sango. Thank you so much for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Same for Atlas Panda. Timeless hero, so sorry that I didn't reach you guys sooner. Uh, thank you so much for the follow. I hope you're doing good. Penfold. Danger Mouse we're talking about here. If I had to pick, it would be any of the videos from 2022. Well, that's good to hear, Emadate. That's basically what I did. So <laughs> that's good to hear, most of them. That's right, Sam. The flower pot men. Bill and Ben, the flower pot men. Rolling rat. Fucking hell, Louie. There is a new Beetlejuice movie. Oh, movie. Movie. I'm a bit worried about that, Fabrizio, because um, there's only one little tiny shot of uh, Michael Keaton as Beetlejuice. It looks good, but I'm a little bit worried about that. It's not a remake. It's a sequel, but... I don't like it when they go back to old IPs. <clears throat> what the fuck is going on here? It's not a slash. Are you copying me, Lexi? Are you going for, for, for question mark names? <laughs> I'm glad you like that, Joe Loves. It's good to hear. That, that was um, a passion project for me. It's my first time editing a video for Chris as well, so that was a big, 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 big deal for me. Zoe Soon, hello. Thank you for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the stream. Same for Murgai. Murgai, thank you so much for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Let us know how your weekend's going. 
Banana Man, fucking hell, Blaze, buddy. I had the, the complete Banana Man box set, believe it or not. And then I looked at it, and I was like, these episodes are quite similar. <laughs> Nothing happens. People do naughty shit, and then he fucking turns into Banana Man and saves the day. It's almost like Captain Planet. Obsertia. Great name. Thank you for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the stream. We don't say Beetlejuice three times. No, no. We don't do that. A sequel 30 years later. But it is a sequel, technically, because it's it's not... You can't call it a remake because it's got the same actors that are older. So, therefore, it is a sequel, technically. Right? My favourite videos are when... Okay, you know what? I'm clipping that and I'm sending that to Connor. Let's see what he says about that, Sam. <laughs> he won't give a shit, don't worry. <laughs> so. Thank you, I'm proud of that name. <laughs> Saw you and recommended... Oh, hey! Thank you for coming in. Yeah, tuning in, man. Uh, so, for those that don't know that I hear, um, I'm a cameraman for some guys that film some stupid stuff that think they're Mr. Beast in Japan. And uh, we do our best to, to try and educate people on Japanese culture and, well, ed edutainment, we call it. So we ed educate them on certain things about Japan while also educating them. And uh, yeah, it's a good time, no alcohol required. Although I am drinking alcohol. I should probably stop, but yeah. Uh, I can't go back watch them. It destroys the magic from when they were younger. The bananas think I'm... <laughs> okay, well, yeah. You, you probably shouldn't. They're not as good as they used to be. We're not there yet, Emma. We're not there yet. We're nearly there, chat. Seven hours. What was my longest hour for my stream before? Does anyone know? I know it was seven, but seven hours on what? <coughs> John, it's my every day. It's the only chance I get to talk. Because if, if they're here with me, I don't get to say shit. You know that. Let's be real. Fatal, yeah, they did do that, didn't they? I didn't know them then. That was when around when Connor first came here, right? They did the whole speed run everything. Peanut, I do not have to fish with the bottle because, um, fucking hell, English is a language. Um, God bless him. He's gone to bed now. So Teddy's gone to bed, so we're good. Norway, that was the longest my stream was before. <coughs> okay, let's, let's, um, am I currently at what? You know what, why am I even looking at this? I know I, went to, I, know I, I started my stream at 10. No, I still have my stream at 6. 10, 11, 12. Okay, so we're coming up for 7 hours at 1 o'clock. It's now 12.52. Maybe 1.30, we'll try and wind down. So we've got about another half hour in me. Any video in Supper is amazing. It is amazing. You're right. 15 more minutes. There's a peasant numbers. What are you talking about? Already tired at 10. What the fuck, side? There's a grandma hour. What are you talking about? Although I will say, I was very disappointed in Giri. I think I can't. I think it was the last stream of the stream before. I sent you guys off to Onigiri. I was like, I bet she's gonna shit talk me. Be nice. What's the first thing she says? He, he left his stream at 10 o'clock. Oh, those are rookie numbers. I'm like, shut the fuck up. I literally said on my stream title, I'm finishing this at 10. She had the audacity to talk down to me. I was like, oh, can't believe it, man. I'm like, how fucking dare you? Here's me starting my streams early so that I don't overlap with you guys. And then 
I, I lead on the people to her. And then she says that. I couldn't believe it. Mm. What is a part of Japan that you still haven't gone to that you would like to travel to? Ooh. I'm quite blessed because I've, I've been able to go to a lot of Japan that I didn't expect to be able to. <coughs> I suppose it's somewhere in the middle, like the island. I never went to the, uh, sh sh is it the Shinami Kaido? The cycle, the cycle route that all the boys have done. I've never been to that area of Japan, the islands. I would love to go to there. Other than that, uh, I would love to go to uh, Palau. It's not Japan, I'm just going off topic. Uh, get me catching strays fucking side as if as if I'm not fucking being like ricocheted and catching all the bullets every time. Uh, but I would lo love to go to Palau. I know that Palau has one pool in it that has like massive amounts of jellyfish and you can swim within the jellyfish without getting stung. I'd love to go there one day, if possible. Giri is funny, yes, of course she is. Annoyingly so. Okinawa? Mm, I've been to Okinawa three times. I was married there, actually. And my ceremony was in Okinawa. Beautiful, beautiful place. If you want a Disney Disney wedding without paying the, the Hawaii prices, go to Okinawa. Shimanami. There we go, okay. You'll love it, Sam. It's basically the Hawaii of Japan, but very, very cheap. You've only been to Nagoya, Nagoya twice, and Kyoto? You've never been to Tokyo? Or do you mean Nagoya, Tokyo, and Kyoto? Hokkaido is definitely worth going to. Hokkaido's great. No, 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 natural. I was married. <coughs> Nine years. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. <clears throat> Tina, that's right. Sag, this poor little dude right here. Yeah, I was married. I was planning a top to bottom trip next winter. Oh, cool. Well, you should watch Cycle Form 1, 2, and 3 then, John. Because, like, you're going to get the whole stretch. Or watch Chris's two weeks in Japan. And then maybe if he does another one, another two weeks, that'd be cool. Now I'm married to the job, indeed. Pretty much. If my my uh, free time is dedicated to you, lovely, lovely people. Kevin, what the fuck? Oh, daddy's better than wife. <laughs> Depends on the wife. Hey, I don't. Look, I mean, would you guys be happy having a partner that's rich or not? Married to the sack. <laughs> Side, how dare you? Kind of true, though. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So you'd like a rich, rich partner. But bear in mind, rich people normally want someone that has the same drive as them. Choose love. Stick girl. Oh, bless you, stick girl. Hello. Eat all the soup curries. That's why I saw that earlier. Your Chris impersonation is pure evil. I let, what are you talking about? This is my normal voice. It shouldn't matter if they're rich or not blazed. My point is, if they are rich, how would you feel? Just say. You know, just say. Because money does change people, trust me. I know I've seen it firsthand. It, it can change people. I'm not talking about the boys because I met them when they was already fucking multi-millionaires. I mean other people, but yeah. <laughs> Don't fucking start. <laughs> Love and friendship is important. It fucking is, Emmy. You're right. 
You'd be surprised how much finances take a toll in a relationship, though. It really can be a struggle. Chris is just pulled in a YouTuber disguise. Well, this is it. I'm trying to like spread the Chris Chris sphere, the broad verse in Twitch form, I guess. <laughs> Boss Ruins, thank you so much for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the welcome to the stream. For however long it's gonna be. Who fucking knows at this point? But yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Money does help. It fucking does. Having a good partner with great qualities matters. What would you guys consider a partner with great qualities? What do you look for? And you can't say a stable job with good money because that doesn't matter now because money doesn't help money's not important well, money does help but money's not important so what would you say hey what the fuck stretch <laughs> <laughs> i agree with this 100 percent. i agree with that kids are expensive they fucking are the ballard first a cat fuck yeah love a cat i wish i could have a cat in this apartment i really wish i could didn't allow it where i live someone with a nice voice cat that's very very well, what do you consider a nice voice cat <clears throat> <laughs> okay sam someone that's suited to have a six pack is a good singer recently got a vintage <coughs> i might know a guy I think loving animals is a very important part. Communication. This is important. Communication skills. If you're ever in a, a relationship, make sure you can communicate well. Very hard if you're living in a foreign country with someone doesn't speak English. A voice that doesn't annoy me, so it's subjective. This is true. Overall, an all-round decent person. Funny, kind, intelligent, physically attractive. You're being too greedy here, Dream, and you can't have it all. Come on. Like one, two, three, four. You've, you can have two. That's it. <laughs> Orange spud. Food. Love of food. We fucking love a bit of good food, don't we, eh? I think that's important. Humor. I would say that's a really, really important point. People forget. Because let's be honest, when you're old, you're both going to be two old farts. You can't fucking put shit together. But if you can laugh together hugely important I think you can't communicate at all okay <laughs> no kidding kids are not cheap I am single dad oh my god sorry to hear that blaze buddy sorry to hear it didn't work out for you too but uh, hopefully things can turn around two boys maybe the boys can bring in some extra <laughs> Don't know what the fuck I'm saying there, but yeah. <laughs> a greedy cannibal? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Just a decent bloke, innit? What do you define as a decent bloke, Lexi? What's a decent bloke? A two massive humour sketch, not one massive humour? Best mate's important. My wife can cook and I can eat. I think it's been mate. He's just won the, the best deal of the century right there. Life lessons with Paul. Indeed. Well, you know what? As a 41 year old, and apparently my audience is like fucking 20 to 35, I feel like I'd like to pass on a bit of fucking knowledge that I wish I fucking knew growing up. But it's hard to do it. It's very hard to pass down knowledge when the people growing up have different fucking technology to you, you know what I mean? Personal time is important. One massive tomb. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about that. Jesus, that's just taking the piss out of me. Well, I'm sorry to hear that if that's the case. Then that's a really good sign. Tipsy pool lock. I 
I wonder why I went quiet. That's weird. I can see it. It's so weird. I've not done anything. But I can see on my stream it says I've gone quieter. And I shouldn't have. I've not touched anything. This is so weird. Maybe this is the ASMR stream. Maybe this is my equipment saying, bruh, it's time. <laughs> maybe, maybe my roadcaster is like, Paul, it's time to stop. It's time to end this stream. Um, how do we fix this right now? If I end my OBS and open it up again, I think my stream would would my stream stream still be running or would it close? Would it close? Do you guys know? My sliders are fine. No, my sliders are fine. I, I literally haven't touched my sliders. Sliders, sliders. It ends the stream. Well, fuck a duck. We don't want that, do we? Eh? Why on earth would it be doing? Oh, maybe if I unplug my mic and plug it back in, let's see what happens. Wait for the loud noise. Did that? No, it didn't fix it. How interesting. I wonder why I did that. Well, I know one thing I can do. I can raise my fader up. And make me louder because my fader is not as loud as possible. So I just raised it by a few dB. I'm sorry, Chad. <laughs> I did nothing. Um, one, two, one, two, one, two. You know what? There's a I, I should show you this. There's a oh, for fuck's sake. I can't show it in my browser. I'll do it on another stream, but I'll do it right now. I'll do it on my phone so you can watch it. There's a really great way to test your audio. Um, it's called Quoting Shakespeare. It's a really great way of testing someone's ability to do dynamic ranges when they're talking. And I learned this from Nick's wife, Angela. That's so weird, the mic went like that. Um, so if you look at this here, There's a whole bunch of phrases that are actually from Shakespeare. Type in quoting Shakespeare poster. And it's it's really cool because it, it teaches you like intonation and uh, dynamics by just listening to how people speak. So the black, the black text is meant to be lower and the red is higher. So I like to try to do that when I give whenever I give someone I don't know the mic, I'm not sure how they're gonna talk. It's a good way to just say, hey, can you can you read this? Normally, I would give them a song. And this is a great way to break the ice. But it's very, very handy to get to know how someone does stuff. What is going on? What the fuck? Why is my stream? What 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 what's going on? Going quiet again. Oh my god. It is going quiet again, isn't it? Is my mic dying? Why would my mic be dying? There's no reason for it to do this. By the way, uh, bear with me. I'm going to mute it this time so it doesn't fucking blow your ears. One, two, one, two, one, two. I wonder... Maybe it doesn't like it if I stream this long. Maybe that's why. Because I'm not touching anything besides that. Phantom power issue? Shouldn't be. Maybe it's my next door neighbors saying, fuck you, shut the fuck up. It will lower when I go back, yeah, because I'm not close to the stream. I'm trying to get as close as I can so I can see the, the audio levels going up. 
<laughs> critic even the mic. <coughs> Peanut, you can't say you can't blame me for this. You saw me literally standing here and it went quiet. That's not me. That's not on me. The background music is really loud, really. I think Lexi's trolling me because I can see the audio waves here. No way. The audio waves, like, the, the, the background audio is like, really? That's so weird. Because the audio waves say, all right, the audio waves say that the, uh, the music is like 25 and I'm at minus 15. I guess maybe it's a Rodecaster Pro issue. I wonder what happens if I plug it in and unplug it. Oh, I'm, I'm intrigued now. One sec. Let's, let's try this because I'm intrigued. Uh, we'll put the music on and then I will do something. Okay. No, okay, so the mic's still low. That's interesting. Okay, I'll have to I'll have to figure that out tomorrow. Maybe it might be just because I'm streaming too long. Go straight to Lawson's or you get two thousand three hundred and ten. That's interesting. Very interesting. Because I haven't I haven't I literally you saw me there, it changed on the fly. I didn't do anything and it changed. Um, I can probably bump it up on the Discord if need be. But it sounds weird because the Apple Music on my OBS says that it's lower than my volume. So when you're saying it's louder, there's literally nothing I can do to fix that. <laughs> there's nothing I can do. I'm sorry, guys. Um... I'll play it super low, see if that helps. OBS crashing might be sh screwing up. It probably is. Bearing in mind that it's been doing pretty well considering that the OBS crashed like three hours ago. There was a dono? What the fuck? What do you mean? I didn't, I didn't get a, a, an alert, no. Maybe add a limiter on the music at minus 25. Okay. Let's try. <laughs> no. <laughs> it won't. <laughs> All right, fuck it. No music. It won't even let me select. It won't. OBS now won't let me select filters. So I can't even add a filter to an audio channel. I can't even right click the sources on OBS. So it really fucked up. Yeah, it sucks. I can see, I can see, I can see the fader getting quieter and quieter. I'm sorry guys. I can see, I don't know why it's happening. I can see, <laughs> it's like, it's time to end the stream now. Yeah, I agree, Sam, I agree. I don't know why, it looks like my computer, my equipment is saying, my people need me now. <laughs> all right. So, all right, guys. Well, for whatever reason, the roadcaster has decided to die on me. It's been great hanging out, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for staying around as long as you have. And um, let's find a raid. Let's find a raid. Okay. Thank you so much, guys.